Hey, how is it going, everybody? Welcome, 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 welcome to Mana Lords. Today, we're going to be diving in with some gameplay. Oh, wrong one. Give me a second. This, why is it? Oh, give me a second. It wouldn't be a Jackie Fish stream without something messing up. I don't know why it's doing that. Desktop. Give me a second. Uh, let me just change it quickly to the primary monitor. Boom. There we go. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to some Mana Lords. Yo, James, thank you so much, my man, for becoming a brand new member, man. I really, really, really appreciate that. Welcome. How are you doing today? If you are a member as well, so by the way, um, if you guys haven't already checked it out, I have started a brand new Let's Play on this. You should 100% check out it's my full playthrough. Season. Um, we are going to be, uh, we are going to be uh, giving members early access to episode two of my Let's Play probably early tomorrow so i'll go a bit live a bit live earlier tomorrow for the members so it's a great way to become a member but i really do appreciate that james thank you so much and yo jake from state farms as well dropping five gifties thank you so much man i really appreciate that hell yeah thank you thank you thank you dude there's a lot of gifted members i really appreciate that so welcome everybody how's everybody doing today who's who's excited for some mana lord gameplay we're gonna dive in momentarily i'll let a few more people filter in before we do well and truly get stuck in how are you guys all doing today excited for some mana lords gameplay and once again i really do appreciate the membership james and of course jake with the five gifties you absolute monster my man thank you thank you thank you hope you're doing well so yeah, this is um, this is going to be basically the build that you guys are going to be able to play in a couple weeks' time when it comes out for everybody. Uh, this is the early access build, obviously minus uh, a, you know, a bunch of fixes and bug stuff. You know, the game will probably be a lot more uh, friendly when it comes to like bugs and any glitches and any problems. You know, that stuff's being fixed now. But the gameplay, I would imagine, is basically everything you see now is everything you're going to be able to play on the 26th when it does release. Um, and yeah, I mean, I can't review the game yet, so that's something I can't do. I can't be like, I give this game a something out of 10, you know? Uh, I can't do that until the 20th, I think, or, or somewhere closer towards release. Um, but I can talk about everything, say stuff I like, say stuff I don't like, uh, so just to let you guys know uh, exactly everything um, that I can do. And uh, let's just quickly jump into the game again. Cool, sorry. The music is amazing in this game as well, by the way. The music is really good. Um, but yeah, how's it going, everybody? How's it going, Eli? Welcome, Battle Spud. Saif, welcome, welcome, welcome. Powerful, welcome. How you doing? CWY, Vincent, Knight, welcome. Softbread, some G. How you guys all doing today? So yeah, it should, should be a good stream. I'm going to give it like a couple more minutes and then we're just going to dive in. We're going to start showing off some gameplay. And I think we're going to be able to do some, some pretty exciting stuff uh, today. Like, I, I feel like I have a very good grasp of the game. I can show you guys. Uh, we can kind of get through the early game, which is a bit like, you know, whatever. And get more into the harder stuff and more of the exciting stuff. Uh, yo, Josh, how's it going, man? God damn, Josh. Look at that banner, man. Every time I see the maid banner. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, yeah. Blown away by it. <laughs> How you doing, dude? Yeah, we've got early access to the early access. How's it going, sup as well? Ironhead, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, the music is like top notch in this. I might even turn it up a little bit. Uh, do let me know if the music does get a little bit too loud though. Turn it, turn it up, baby. Uh, no, there is no like choosing between like Vikings or anything. I think it is just like a set, set period. How's it going, Cry History? Welcome back, Softbread as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're going to start from the ground up. So I think, so we can go into this screen right now. Uh, I think what we're going to do is, turn the music up a little bit. Um, I think what we're going to do, so if I just quickly skip through this, I think we're just going to do a restoring the peace one. That's like the basics. So yeah, in in early access, there is currently only three scenario templates. We have the uh, Rise to Prosperity, which is very much just simply a uh, city building vibe. There's there's no combat. There's no one attacking you or anything, so you don't have to worry about that. You just build up your city. You sit back and you have a great time. Uh, the restoring the peace is like the mix of both. It's kind of like 
a pretty uh, basic kind of like you're building up and you're fighting and your objective is to conquer everything as you go. And then finally we have On the Edge, which is like very much uh, you basically have to survive and reach to the largest town and you'll be getting attacked constantly. So there's a little bit of a like a constant like upgrade in difficulty basically. And you can also change the template as well to make things harder or easier. I don't know. I, I, I kind of feel like I want to try on the challenging difficulty. I've been playing on default and it's been fine. Kind of easy, I would say. So we might end up going. Uh, yeah, we might end up going to challenging and seeing what that's like. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think we try challenging? Could be pretty interesting. But yeah, so I'm going to import my banner. Look at that juicy stuff. The, the importing of your own banner is actually really easy. You just need something like Photoshop and you can you can do it super easy. They give you a template. Sound is good. Music kicked in. Yeah, it's, it's probably just a little bit of a quiet period. How's it going, Overlord? Welcome back, my man. How you doing? Challenging the edge. Cool, so let's just pick up. Uh, in my let's play, I went with good old Baron Harkonnen. I think in this one. This guy looks pretty cool. Yeah, this guy looks cool enough for me. A solid Jackie Fish. Give me a name, guys. Give me a name. Give me a name for my character. Of course, members get priority. And what we can do as well is, yeah, you can, as Battlestod Sp mentions, um... You can actually name your retinue and stuff like that, which is cool. Oh, that's nice to hear, Scythe. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out when there's stuff when uh, when I'm when I'm back to Balan Lord. He's bald. What's wrong with being bald? Recently finished Dune, said Paul. <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean, I, I have to, I have to do what uh, Vincent Vincent came up with a good one, so I think it has to be Jackius von Fischius. That seems like a, a perfect time because the game is is like got a like a 15th century like Germanic drive, uh, Germanic vibe. There we go. Cool. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to be playing for restoring. Let's bring back the iron scales. There's always an iron price to pay. How's it going, Swedish as well? Hope you're doing well, man. Hope your week's been good. Okay, so we're going to be doing a restoring the peace uh, scenario, which is uh, two territories in the north are claimed by an illegitimate baron whose castle is located off the map. Bandit camps reside in the other's unclaimed regions, building and expanding your own, at your own pace. When ready, challenge the Baron for the Northern Territories and the victory conditions are conquer every region. So we will be, uh, so we'll be obviously building up, uh, making our village nice and strong. And then of course, taking on the Baron and his army when it comes to it. So it's a nice mix of like city building as well as just straight up combat. And yeah, I think we're going to go on the challenging preset. What's the difference? So, oh, you don't get any. Oh, oh that's big. Ooh. That is a massive change right there. So, yeah, from default. So on, on the default vanilla, you get an armory de delivery. Which is basically 23 shields, 23 spears, which basically makes up your militia in the early game. However, on challenging, you don't get that. Oh, that's brutal as well. That is it. No, God, that is insane. How are you ever going to get to tier two? What do we think? What do we think? Do we go? Do we go default or do we go challenging? And I'm, I'm saying this as well. Challenging seems like it's pretty... Pretty, yeah. There's some, there's some... Like, this is a big change as well. 
Yeah, we're going challenging. One in the chat if you think we should go challenging. Two in the chat if you think default. I was I was saying I was saying that I had a good grasp on the game, but I don't know now. Seeing seeing the, the differences, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, we'll do challenging. What's the worst that can happen? What is the worst that can happen? Alright, challenging it is. You guys have convinced me. Let's begin our journey. So, when you spawn in, you spawn in at one of the random things. The map is the same every time, but you have a chance of spawning in in any of the areas, any of the free areas on the map. So, right now, we don't know where we are, but here we are. This is going to be our village regardless of where we are. We get ourselves an ox, we get ourselves some supplies, and a handful of families who have traveled long and far to arrive. I'm going to hold off and showing you guys what region we are. So here we are. This is our victory condition. Build up your town, your manor, and when you're ready, press your claims towards the regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. So yeah, when you start claiming territory, other lords can say, no, you're not going to have it. So where have we spawned? Okay. Okay, this isn't the best region. But it's not the worst one either. Okay, so this is what we have. So this is what we have. So we have a rich iron deposit, which is amazing. We can sell iron. We can make weapons way more efficiently. And we can do some other really good stuff. So there's a lot of iron here. We have a little bit of stone. Yeah, not a lot of clay. So we're going to have to probably expand somewhere else to get that clay. Because that resource will is, is finite. It will run out. So we have to be a little bit careful there. And yeah, we have the same with everything else. Okay. Like, this isn't the best starting region, but it's not the worst. It's not the worst one. And we've got a corner spot, as you say, which isn't great. In my let's play, I spawned over here, which was really nice. Could we get... Oh, interesting. Okay. So not only... I didn't realize that. Okay. So not only are your is your spawning position different every time, so are the resources. Because in my playthrough up here, I spawned up here in my let's play. I was like, here... And all these resources are in different positions and they're different rich resources. I had a rich iron deposit and a rich clay deposit. And they were positioned like here and here. So that's all different. Interesting. That's a little bit fresh. Okay, so let's go down. Let's go down. So that's, that's nice. That's, that's nice that we're addition to keep things fresh. Because there is only one map at the moment. So, you know, it would be nice to obviously have more, but it's fine. So let's start planning things out. We have our berries down there. We have our wild animals there. Iron is all the way over here, which is fine. Stone and clay. Okay, cool. So I think we start like expanding out towards the berries. So the first thing we're gonna we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to get down a logging camp because this is very important as well. Because you can sometimes forget to stick down your logging camp and then run out of wood and then not have enough wood to build the logging camp so in turn you just lose the campaign. So always make sure you stick this bad boy down first. And one of the really really like cool things you can do with a logging camp as well is you can actually relocate it so you can take it down and then put it up somewhere else so you can constantly move as you deforest everything. When's it out? I believe it comes out in two weeks' time. So on the 26th, I believe, then it comes out in early access for everybody. A big thank you to Hooded Horse as well for letting me have early access to the game. I really do appreciate it. And if you are new to the channel, you're just coming in for the first time. I also have an entire Let's Play, but I'm starting to be uploading it daily with tips as well. I'm going to be doing tips and trick videos as well as shorts and other really cool stuff. So if you're looking forward to this game, you want to watch more of it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it as well if you could drop a like down below. That really helps out um, as well. So yeah, let's get our logging camp down. Um, so let's just put it down, I don't know, somewhere like, somewhere like that. It's going to be fine. And as I said, I think I really want to expand like downwards. Because that's where a lot of our resources are. So I think I'm going to end up like clearing out like all of this section. Another actually really important thing to take a look at before you get started is your fertility. And your water, of course. So it looks like our water is based over here. So again, clearing out this area is not going to be a bad, 
a bad plan of action either, right? Yeah, our water's a bit scarce. How's our... Oh, that's amazing. Okay, this is good, boys. This is juicy. I might try something. I might try something very cheeky. I don't know. Do we go for it? I think we might, like, immediately try and get some farms down. And try... And really try to get stuff um, farmed. Because we have a really good farming region. Yeah, like, everything is just, like, super fertile. In my other land, in my Let's Play over here, everything is, like, ultra unfertile. Yeah. Like, it, this is what I'm dealing with in my other Let's Play, in my Let's Play on the channel, is this. So may maybe we try it. Like, I tried it in my Let's Play, and it just didn't really get up and running in time. But I think if we rush it, we're going to be okay. Oh, there's a disabled windmill there as well. Interesting. Okay. So, logging camp down. Then we're going to need to get a storehouse. Yeah. Logging, logging camp down. We then need a, a, a saw... Uh, sorry. Yeah. Logging camp down. We then need a storehouse and a granary. Let's build some roads as well, I think. Something like that. Okay. Uh, again, we can move a lot of this stuff as we progress up because this is like an area that's really like densely packed with trees, but we're going to clear all of this, so it's not really a big deal. And what we can do as well is we can also just let the game play whilst we figure this out. They'll go and grab the ox. The, the ox will go and grab some supplies, and we'll start bringing them over towards the logging camp. We'll stick this up at high priority as well because we need it done ASAP. Yeah, a storehouse can probably just go like right here. That's not going to be a bad plan of action. Um, and then we obviously need a granary for our food. You want to try and get your granary down quickly? Because your granary is actually really important as it rains a lot. You know, we are in April, so it does, it does kind of pour down with rain or in March. And taking the granary near, like, the berry deposit is going to be a good idea as well. I'm just trying to, like, look where we get our farms down. I guess, like, up here. But this is so many trees. Out of interest, do we just, like, clear the trees? If we do this, does it just, like, get rid of the trees? It does. Okay, cool. Good to know. Interesting. That does mean, though, that you can't harvest them. So that is actually a little bit interesting. Yeah, okay. That's fine. So let's get our granary down as well. So that's another really important thing to do. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we'll get it down, like, here. And then, yeah, we'll make this all into farming. Can you fight in the game? Yes, you can. There, there are battles towards the end. Um, you'll find out very quickly that the bar the, the guy who owns the... Who owns these territories will send armies, you know. You only have about a year and a half to prepare until he does. And remember, we're playing on the super hard difficulty. So, that means no free weapons. It's too early to farm, I think. You have to pray everything other. I, I think we'll I think we'll be fine, you know. It's March. As long as we can get stuff built, I think it's gonna be okay. We have five families. I'm also immediately um gonna get another ox as well. I'm gonna go up to two oxes. I'm gonna spend my money right away and get up to two oxes. Um it does only have one space, so we are gonna build another hitching post. But I think that's going to allow us to Um that's gonna allow us to really like kind of build up. Um, and we're going to build farms up here. So let's get another hitching post like there. That's our granary there. That hitching post can be pretty important to do. The logging camp is almost built. So we'll get that. So that's high priority. That's very high. We're going to get another rock so we can build stuff quicker. That's going to be our biggest thing is how quickly we can build. Our storehouse is down. Yeah, so now we just need five houses for our five families. Um, so let, let's deal with that. So let's just go like something like this. We don't have enough wood for that. Okay, good to know. Okay, we don't have enough. Uh, our other ox is coming, which is good. By the time he arrives, I'm hoping this other hitching post will be done, which it will be. Nice. Uh, we are going to take a family on cutting wood because we are a little bit short. Realistically, we could probably set two down if we wanted to. Yeah, we could probably set two down. So nice. The logging camp is now done. They will start going ham 
on the these trees. But the resources we start with, we're actually in a pretty good spot. So yeah, that second hitching post is done. That means we now have two oxes to start building everything, transporting goods. We only have a little bit of supplies left and yeah, we need to get this wood out as well. So yeah, sticking two families there, I think is actually not a bad idea. Um, I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my right and my honor against those who would do me wrong. Uh, my friend, these are not your legal lands. You have no rightful claim to sell bits. Good, sir. No legal claim. Yeah, we won't be attacking anytime soon. Don't worry. We'll, there'll be a little bit of time to that we'll need to set up. Can I destroy this as well? Upgrade to a work camp. Providing cool inside families. What happens if you upgrade it? It says it can't be upgraded or expanded. I don't really know why. Best suited for work. Yeah, that's like an outpost. I want to build houses here, so I think I'm, I'm going to... Granary's almost done, which is good. Yeah, we definitely need to get this woods wood in, but they'll, they'll work pretty fast. Then we obviously need houses, but we have no wood yet. Could we got everything else down. Yeah, the hitching post did, of course, cost us a little bit more, like wood, to get down. But yeah, having two oxes, being able to transport early is really nice. The storehouse will be built. And uh, the granary's almost built as well. So the sooner we get that... So the sooner we get the food inside the granary, the better, because then none of it will spoil. Will be at least one battle this stream? I, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how long we'll be streaming for. Uh, yeah, I will be Ak Akiva. I will be playing some more Ultimate General America Revolution, but probably when the new patch is a bit more, um, a bit more updated. Nice. The granary is done. So we are going to probably assign someone to the granary. So that he can go and collect all the, or they can go and collect all the supplies and bring it to said, gar uh, to said granary. A really big tip for this game is never, like, never just leave your family members on jobs. There's, like, a lot of the time people will, like, kind of complete a job and it's, like, then you can take them off and go and get them to work on something else. So don't just, like, feel like you have to leave them on a certain thing. Okay, we can get our, ourselves our first house down. Make it a little bit bigger. Something like that. Yeah, we, we still need a marketplace as well. I really want to get rid of this, but I feel like as soon as we do, everyone's going to get really annoyed at me because they'll be homeless. Yeah, we can make them a bit bigger, though, because getting up gardens is actually really important. Yeah. There you go. Boom. Two houses. Boom, boom. That's a lot of our wood. Yeah. May maybe we don't go for farms. It's already March. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we just chill on farms. What do you guys think? Do you think it's worth, like, rushing them? I feel like it has to be, like, the first thing we do. And then we plow the fields and stuff. There's just too much other stuff to kind of set up before that. So maybe let's just not waste our resources. Because you kind of want to have a field like done. I am, like, very, very much wanting to get that stuff, like, completed but early if I can. The storehouse is almost done as well. Most of the supplies are now being traveled in, so that's good. So, yeah, we've got quite a lot of the supplies now being moved into the granary. There's a family on that, getting our bread nice and safe, which is good. Nice, the storehouse is now done. Now, the problem is, it's not really a problem, but I kind of, like, it, we kind of need to leave someone on the storehouse, but then that leaves us less people for building. 
So if you guys don't know how building works in this game is you assign a family. So an entire family will work in the logging camp. An entire family will work in the storehouse. An entire family will work in the granary, etc. So when you, uh, yeah, when so you only have a limited amount of them right now, we have five in total. The, if we get our approval up high enough, we'll start getting more, which is something we want to focus on quite quickly. But the, the people that you have not assigned will automatically go to building. So you kind of want, uh, you kind of want like a bunch of free people so they can all build at the same time. So that's another really good reason why when you get to like, yeah, like this right now, there's no more supplies in the granary. So you want to kind of just take this family off of it now. There will be points that will leave people on because we want them to set up market stalls and stuff. But for now, not really something we have to worry about too much. An entire family work on your army. Yeah, the, the, the militia is a little bit different. It is a little bit different. Okay, so I guess, yeah, I guess we're just not doing a farm then. Berries will suffice. So we'll do something like that. And we will go out and we'll grab the berries, I guess. So let's get a forager's hut out here. To be fair, though, this is going to, like, really look at, like, you guys will be surprised how deforest this is going to get. It's going to start, like, we're going to be chopping down a lot of trees. Our wild animals are really far away as well, which is super annoying. These houses are going to be next priority. So yeah, we're not we're not we're not going to focus in. We're not going to focus in on getting that farm up ASAP, okay? So nice. One house is already done. And one of the really nice things is we can do quite quickly is actually start um, assigning this. So you have to spend this thing called regional wealth, which you get through like taxes and you get through um, other other things like upgrading to tier two settlements and stuff. So it's quite important to like actually start working in on this. So we're actually going to probably, yeah, let's get a vegetable garden. Because what we can do is we can get two vegetable gardens with our, with our regional wealth. We won't get more of this for a little while. So we're going to basically make them make vegetables in their back garden. And then that will help feed everybody and help get them another food status as well, which is really good. When you get them to tier two, you can then upgrade them to make stuff like weapons. You can upgrade them to make ale, um, shields, shoes. You can basically give them a workshop in their back garden and they really help. Cool, so let's get our second house down. We need to build another three houses, which shouldn't be too difficult. I am, can I not delete this either? Yeah, I want to get rid of these homeless. Oh, it's because because they're homeless. So once we build them houses, that will go away. Good to know. So we have the timber now. Oh, we only have one bit of timber still. Do we take another family on this? No, it's fine. Can you form alliances with other towns? So as of right now, um, and I, I was honestly a little bit like disappointed by this, is there is actually no other AI on the map. The There's no like no one else building on the map. So the AI owns these territories and they will send forces from outside the map. But there is no other AI on the campaign map that's like building settlements like you are. Um, yeah, there's no one else there that's, that's doing that. Which is a bit unfortunate. Okay, so where are we? We're down here in the bottom left. So the next thing we're going to have to probably set up is going to be our marketplace. Yeah, we're going to need a marketplace for sure. So let's grab it. Let's probably like stick it out a little bit like over here. I'm going to probably end up moving this hitching post as well once this goes. I kind of want to move that hitching post now, you know, because you can click this relocate button and move it, which is a pretty cool system. So let's go stick it like right by our storehouse. So yeah, we're actually going to move this hitching post. Again, it's going to be like it's going to take time. That's kind of like your biggest enemy is like the amount of time stuff takes. I, I assume, though, as the game does get more and more developed, they are going to want to add that stuff. Um, so let's get our second vegetable slot down. That's really nice, actually. We've got two oxes, two vegetables being uh, being set in the garden. You can actually see their plots as well. So these guys are going to be growing that, which is going to be really good. Let's move over this ox. We need to also move the supply as well. We don't need anybody in the granary. One person is moving all the supplies there, which is good. Nice. And they've completely cleared out this camp now, which is good. So 
So the reason I've created this little enclave here is because we're going to sit down a marketplace. Marketplaces are pretty interesting. That's, that's going to be a pretty small one. We can kind of do two, though. Yeah. So this marketplace can have only three stalls in it. Okay. Not the biggest. We can actually maybe make it a little bit bigger then. So let's actually maybe demolish this. So marketplaces are how all, all of your people in the village get their supplies. They come to a market and they buy, buy you know, fuel. They buy, yeah, they basically buy whatever they can. Um, yeah, so let's go like, make it, I guess we'll make it a little bit bigger. Kind of like having it like next to the granary. Um, so this is quite a big area. There's no way we're going to fill it, right? But yeah, that allows 13. So that should be a great marketplace here. And we're going to build a lot of our, our stuff around this. So yeah, it's going to be really nice. Yeah, there's a skill tree on, on the thing. So this is per village. Per village have this. So you can really specify certain places to do certain things, which is pretty cool. Hey, how's it going, Remy? Welcome. Sorry, it's a bit harder to keep up with chat because obviously I'm trying to get into the game and everything. But feel free to keep on asking the questions and I'll try my best. So yeah, there's a there's a skill tree and we'll be, we'll be unlocking the perk pretty soon. We just need five more houses. Uh, there's a policy screen and I'm not sure what the production is all about. I actually haven't got that far yet. Uh, is our... Yeah, sorry, our forager hut is now up so we're going to have to assign a family there. How much wood do we have? We have four timbers. So we have enough for two more houses. Okay. Let's maybe... So we've got a hitching post there, which is fine. Let's maybe have a couple houses over here now. We don't... These, these ones don't mean it need to be too crazy. Oh, I like that idea. I like that, though. But then we have nothing to go in there. So maybe not. Maybe we do something like... How many houses can we fit in here? We don't have enough wood for that, but I kind of like that idea. That's going to be our five houses. So let's get, wait until we get two more bits of log, uh, two, much, two, much, two more bits of timber, and we'll do something like this. So this is really nice. So these are going to be two basic houses, and this is going to be a house that we can expand to have double the, the amount of families in, which I think will be really good. Sorry, let me catch up and chat a little bit now as well. Um, yeah, so there's a tech tree in the game and we'll be unlocking our first park with it pretty quickly. So come on, we got our wood yet? So we're wait waiting on six wood right now, which is fine. Come back to that when we have it. A little bit more. The rain is coming down as well. People are the... Uh, the, the villagers are making us our vegetables, which is good. It's going to really help out. And our berry deposit, yeah, is now collecting the, the berries as well. Our biggest thing, though, this early on is 100% going to be uh, construction. Hey, just during the stream, is this a version that we'll be seeing? Uh, basically, I, I would assume so. I imagine, Alex, the only thing that will be different is there'll be less, like, problems with, like, bugs, bug fixes. This build was probably finalized, like, three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago. Um, so there'll be a lot more... Oh, God, we forgot to put down a goddamn well. Oh, my God, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Okay, we need to get this water down. Uh, we could stick it up here or over here. It's a bit far away, though, isn't it? Oh, that's fine, because we, we can expand, like... Yeah, we can expand, like, over here and have more houses, like, back here. Okay, so it's not actually that crazy. Something like that. Um, yeah, so this build would have been finalized, like, a month ago, probably. Something like that? Yeah, let's do something like that. So, I imagine all the gameplay will be very much the same, the content. But the, like, actual game, like, running and bug fixes, performance stuff will be way fixed. However, the game, I haven't had any performance issues. I am, of course, running an i9 a 4090, so it's not your average PC. But yeah, I've had, I've had no, uh, no crashes. I haven't crashed once in my 11 hours. The game has been, you know, running well for me. So yeah, we definitely need to get these houses up. How are we looking timber-wise? We have, we need one more bit of timber and we can make these three houses. 
We obviously need to get this well up and running as well. I completely forgot that, yeah, my people might need clean water, you know? That's probably pretty important. But you can already see, like, how much we've deforested this. Like, our village is really starting to take shape all of a sudden, right? Yeah, no, the, phys the physics are great. Like, the game just looks beautiful, right? I think that's one of the biggest selling points is you can just kind of just go at any point and, like, the game looks great, you know? Like, regardless of where you, where you go, where you look, it's just a very chill game. Okay, our well's going to be built soon enough. And that's going to start giving our people running water, which I'm sure they're going to be very happy with. Cool, yes. Now, boom, they now got a well. That should be in range to reach these guys, I would imagine. Yeah, water access, good. We still need a food store, but we just don't have the people to do it. Even though you should be doing it, right? Yeah, you're, you're doing the food store. You just haven't set it up yet. Cool. I say that. No, they have... Oh, they haven't moved it, maybe. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's get our houses down now. Boom. Cool. So we can get our houses down now. Oh, can we just get rid of this? Like that? Maybe? Not enough wood? I thought we had six wood. We do. Oh, but that's in the way. Yeah. It's really annoying me that that's in the way. We can't get rid of it until we have the houses. Can we just build our houses over here then? No, because I like this being more industry focused. So maybe let's just get some more houses on this side. Something like that maybe? We don't need anything crazy, but it's good to have some that can upgrade. Yeah, let's do something like that. So then these two can upgrade to have more families, so we don't have to actually spend, like, loads of wood to, to upgrade them. How's the FPS? You can actually see my FPS in the top left-hand corner if you zoom in. I'm currently at 161 FPS. Yeah, currently at 164 now. And that's with, like, rain and everything going on. Uh, why are people unhappy? Homelessness, right? Not enough food variation. I mean, they just need to go and grab the, the bread and the berries, basically. And we'll be good. Hey, sup. Thank you so much for the donation, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, it's a city builder, right? Uh, it's a city bu bu builder piece. I wouldn't be too, like, worried about... Um, I wouldn't be too worried about seeing spoilers. Right, so that's growing as well, which is good. We need more berries out for sure. But yeah, I definitely do. You don't want, like, you don't want to basically see everything the game has to offer. And then when you get it, it's a little bit boring. I, I, I fully get that. I fully get that. Oh, something you can do as well is you can, uh, can go down and look at your village... Watch the people work. Good day, sir. Get to work. Get to work. Which is pretty nice. Watch the people on the fields. Selling the goods. I need to do... I haven't actually done this in my Let's Play yet. And we've got a decent village in our Let's Play. The sooner we get rid of these camps, the better. Yeah, we really... I have been kind of slow, I'm not going to lie. I've been too busy chatting. But we've been kind of slow to get our houses up. But to be fair, we've actually only just got enough timber to do it. So it's not that slow. And this is what I love as well. Like, whilst people are building, because we have two oxes, they're, like, able to get loads of wood over here and everything. It's really good. Yo, Pierce, thank you so much for the five. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. The game looks stunning. Is disease a thing yet? Been thinking about uh, a new kind of warfare. Um, yeah, so people can get sick and die. That is in the game. But it's not really... I wouldn't say it's really like a fleshed out feature yet. Like, I'll try and find some people when they get sick. And you'll be able to know. Uh, you'll be able to see them. Um, they kind of like stumble around and they stay home so they don't work. But there's not like anything like major you have to really worry about too much. I would say. 
So we're getting a lot of timber. The houses are all being built. That's almost harvesting season. There you go. Thank you so much, Pierce. I really appreciate the five. Thank you so much. Yeah, a lot of people have wishlisted this on Steam for sure. I think it's definitely a very hyped game. Do keep in mind, though, it is a game that is coming to early access. It's not going to have all the content in it that you may hope that it does. You know, the game is coming in early access. So just keep that in mind. But, you know, it's much better that things are done right. Development is done right. And I, I think we've seen from the way that the, the main developer interacts with people on Twitter, puts out content and stuff, you know, like... This game isn't going to be abandoned. It's not going to, like, half ass it. You know, it will... It might take time. But the content will be there. And, you know, it'll be done the right way. Which is, you know, all we can ask for. As long as there's, like, regular content upgrade updates and stuff, it's going to be great. Oh, something we actually need to probably... Oh, we've got seven months worth of firewood. Yeah. We need to probably get our firewood down. Yeah, we probably need to get something down to start making off firewood, I would say. Once again, big thank you to uh to Pierce and Sup for the uh the donations and also to the 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 five gifties and the new membership from James and Jake earlier. I really appreciate that. Speaking of which, I can actually just gift five members to the chat. I still have five left over from YouTube, I believe. Um how do I do that? Give me a second. Whilst our settlement is building, why not set that up? And whilst you guys are hanging out, please do drop a like down below. It really does help out the channel. And I'm, I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's five gifted for the chat from your boy. That's almost harvesting season. It is almost harvesting season. So actually what I might do for the members, how much do the members want to see the next episode two? of my Manor Lords series because I could post like it's upload it's not like fully uh, it's not fully done yet though like it's uploaded but I haven't done all the the timestamps and stuff yet I guess I could do that after the stream how much do the members would, would they want to see episode 2 of the series because I could make that I could make that live for the members uh, we're getting a lot of wood now. So, yeah, we're currently at, like, what, seven timber? Yeah, we're currently at seven timber outside of our projects. So, I'm actually going to go down to one family now so we have more builders. So, we can get our people out of the rain, out of these tents and into houses. Yeah, of course, Steve. So, I'll give everybody a little bit of a catch-up on what we've done so far on in our, in, our, in our village. So, by the way, we are playing on the hardest difficulty on the, I don't know what it's called, Nightmare Challenging. So that means we don't get the free weapon shipment, which means we don't get a free 20 spears and, and shields, which is really useful. I, it basically gives you a militia in the early game. Our civilians require way more to upgrade. Uh, winters are harsher. We get attacked more regularly. So we're going to have to be a little bit quicker on that stuff. Uh, and winters are harsher, like uh, weather events are basically just more likely for, to cause thunderstorms and droughts and stuff like that. So just the overall generalness of the game is, yeah, pretty... Uh, this is a little bit more difficult, but yeah, so far we basically just started off. We have our logging camp down, we have our storehouse, we have our granary, so all the basics are down. We're just finishing off our five houses for our five families. We have our granary, which is... Sorry, we have our forager hut out here, which is getting these berries as I... I was really debating getting our farm up this year, but I think it's just not going to happen. So I think we're going to basically prepare in winter to have like a mega farm because this region is really fertile. Unlike my other YouTube Let's Play, which you guys can watch on the channel. Um, yeah, which is this one. And you guys can see, yeah, it is a whole different ballpark. Like it's a whole different ballpark playing in this region because just nothing grows here. And I, I've really had to struggle. Rye does, but you don't start off with rye. Um, and even still, it's not really... Like, this fertility is still not good. Whereas you compare it to over here, and it's like, yeah, what do you want grown? It all grows. No need, no need to worry about anything. It, everything grows. So I think what we do is we set up the year... after When we get back to... Uh, basically, the end of, end of winter, we're going to set up a mega farm for the crops. Can we have war? Yeah, there will be bandits on the screen. Normally, you get about a year to prepare until, like, 
other factions start making their move and start claiming territory. However, there are bandit camps on the map. Uh, let me try and find one. Or maybe none have spawned yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's one over here. So there is a bandit camp, if I can zoom in, right here. And you can see, there, so there is like a bandits here. And sometimes they'll raid you, sometimes they won't. A lot of the time they'll just come and like steal your supplies. And it's just kind of like, it just happens. They don't come and actually fight you. But they can. And luckily as well, uh, they're quite far away. Do only streamers have early access? Like as in like YouTubers and press. Yeah, YouTubers and press have early access to the game. Nice. Our last two houses are being built. That's going to level us up uh, and get everybody out the uh, out the cold. We're going to probably have to build another house fairly quickly, though, because we want to start gaining. We want to start gaining more people in, in our village. The more families you have, the more buildings you can do, the more like basically the more of everything you can do. So you want to try and get more of a workforce as quickly as possible. Yeah, modding's going to be really exciting. I think, unfortunately... Um, yeah, so you can see this guy is sick. This guy is sick right now. The person for... Uh, I think it was Chief asking about sickness. Yo, he's up. Thank you so much for another 69, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, so he's sick. He just basically goes home and rests. It's not, not much else really happens. Cool. Well, our first little bit of a village is done. That does now give us our first policy. Uh, and these can be a bit of anything, really. Um, so you've got kind of like your farming up here in the north. You kind of have your husbandry, uh, like hunting, berries, and other things over here. Um, double like capacity of berries is pretty good. The trapping isn't bad either. Down here, you've got like charcoal burners and your military stuff. Uh, a lot of this stuff is also uh, locked behind early access as well. So not everything here you can actually do. I mean, over on my right-hand side is a bit more trade. So you don't really want to get this stuff yet. I generally like to go for this stuff or this stuff first. So let's take a look. Child labor, let's go. Yeah, so we don't have a rich deposit on wild animals or berries at the moment. But doubling that to like 100 berries, like 128 berries is pretty nice. And that basically will feed us for a, a while. However, I don't think they're going to be growing for much longer. Yeah, the deposits stopped growing this month, so I don't know how great that's going to be. God, people are so unhappy as well. God damn it. People are so unhappy. Yeah, locked to early access. Oh, I assume, I assume none of these will be added in. Yeah, locked in early access, work in progress. Uh, we could also make apples as well. Apples are a nice bit of food. I normally love to get the heavy plow because it allows you to use an ox to, to start plowing your fields. But we're not doing farms. We've really turned off of that. Let's do trapping. Trapping's not bad. Double the amount of meat harvested in hunters and butcheries from farm goat pens. That's pretty nice as well. Berry deposit. Honey wouldn't be bad. I don't really know what one to pick. We could just not pick anything right now, like... Because the thing is, a lot of this stuff just won't help us until next year. Like, if I was going to grab something, it'd probably be trapping, because that's, like, an immediate thing that can help us. I don't think anything else, like, really helps us right away. So I might just save this and see see what we need. Does remind me, though, we're probably going to want to stick down a, a hunting pen in a bit, because that will give us leather and a bunch of other stuff. So we might as well do that whilst we don't have anyone really building anything. And we can actually stick this lodge, like, basically just on the road. Or maybe a bit closer, like here. And we can expand out this road here. We have a road going out to there, so we can do something like that. And we're going to expand out all here at some point as well, you know. So they can start hunting uh, there. It, probably not going to take a family on it right away, whilst we have berries to harvest. But not going to be a bad plan of action. Okay, so why are people unhappy? We need to get this above 50%. As soon as we get this above 50%, we'll then be able to start gaining more families into our into our little village. So we need a church. That's something we can work on. And not enough cloth. Okay. 
Is our food variety still not good enough? Yeah, people are a bit pissy as well because we're playing on the super hard difficulty. So we need firewood for sure. Winter is not fast approaching, but you know, will be coming. Um, so let's get um, let's get a wood chopper down here. He can start um, cutting up the wood as well. And then to get a church down. So a church is a really important building. That kind of booms how happy people are. And to do that, we basically need planks. So which basically means we need more wood. Thing is, though, we need more families as well to make all of this happen. So I think we need another house down for sure. So that we can have... There's no point having another family, right? Because... We, we can stick it down and then just stick it on low priority. Because you don't grow unless you have the houses, but we're not growing anyway because we're not happy at the moment. So we'll wait for the, the this to be built and then we're immediately going to be going and working on our, our saw pit as well. Can we get the saw pit the other side? I'd like it like in here. That'd be, oh, that was a really cool position there. Yeah, we'll have the saw pit here as well. So it's like next to this wood cutting. Yeah, that looks cool. I'm not too fussed about our uh, hunting thing here. That's being built though, yeah. God, it's so amazing having two oxes this early on. They just get the job done, man. Yo, Squiddy, how's it going, man? Thank you so much for 26 months. I hope you're doing well. I do indeed have more than one family. Yeah, five right now. Hopefully a few more. They're a little bit unhappy with us, though. Um, yeah, I actually don't know how much they're charging for this game. I have no idea. I have no idea how, how expensive this game is going to be. Um, so we'll have to see. Um, and again, I can't review the game. So again, I can't give it a score or anything. But I would say it is a lot of fun. But do keep in mind the game is going into early access, you know. So don't expect it to have like, you know. Does my wife know about this? <laughs> Hey, I mean, my wife is part of one of the five families, right? So. It is confirmed that it won't be a triple A price. Yeah. If this game came out at like £30, £40, I'd be like, yeah, decent price. Are the there palisade walls? So, yes. So, you can actually build like a fort, which is really cool. And actually has some good mechanics with it. So, once you stick down a manor house or a manor, you're going to then be able to upgrade it. And you can basically... Like you do with like, um, like you do with like houses, you can then like build walls like this and it will like spawn gates and build towers to expand the influence, tax offices and stuff. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the way they, they've done it. Of course, if the Woodcutter's Lodge is going to be done soon, we have a house that needs to be built and our, of course, over here as well, this needs to be built. So this is being built, which is good. So what we're going to basically do is when we have enough berries and once we've kind of harvested these berries enough, we're then going to switch over, over, yeah, when we're going to switch over to the hunting camp. I'm still a bit unsure of where we stick our farms. Like maybe we, yeah. What do you guys think? Like on the map, do we go like, this is more like farming. This is more like industry. So I guess our farms can go like here, maybe? It's like on a main road as well. So we're going to want to put our trading post like out here. Because like everywhere is good here for fertility. We have more water out here as well if we wanted to expand more houses like here. I kind of want to put my church like out here as well. Have like the church like here and then the fields and the farms behind it. I think it would be cool. And I think the carrots are going to be really helping with our food types as well. So yeah, right now we actually really need supplies. So I think what I'm going to actually do is I'm actually going to stick a hunter here. Because the hunter provides you with leather, which allows people to make clothes. So we're actually going to stick someone on there. It's going to put us down to one family working, but I think it's worth it. We also can't cut down. We also kind of need someone on timber, on wood cutting as well. And we need someone on building. So as soon as we're done with building this saw pit, we're going to immediately put someone on, on this because we're actually going to be running out of what, fuel. Yeah, fuel very soon. Uh, we actually have a decent amount of timber as well, so we could actually turn someone off of this. Yeah, turn a family off of that. We need to start making fuel ASAP. We'll leave one family on, on that. And I want to keep on harvesting these berries because they're going to stop growing soon. Once they've stopped growing, we can maybe then take this family off. 
yeah, as I mentioned, like, this is a really important thing of, like, constantly micromanaging your, your families. You don't need people on, on certain places all the time. I think it would be really cool, though, to have it so that... Yeah, I think it would be really cool to have it so that families, like, gain proficiency the longer they stay in a certain job. And they could, like, maybe after a certain amount of time master it just to do it better. I think that would be, a, like, a nice way of doing it. Because right now, like, you're just switching families off of jobs all the time, moving them around, which isn't, like, too crazy. But I think it would be cool to have, like, a specific... Like, have, like, a, a proficiency bonus for longer they stay in that job. I think. Um, yeah, so the woodcut is there. We're going to be a little bit low on timber, but I think, yeah, right now, we need to get this population growth up, because as you can see, it's not looking good. Um... Yeah, the harder difficulty is brutal, man. And we, of course, need more fuel as well. If we run out of fuel, that's not going to be good. Um, do we... Yeah, we need... basically, once we get the church up and running, we'll be in a really good spot. But yeah, I think we need way more wood soon. So we're going to see basically everybody there now. Yeah, we'll stick everybody there. We need to, yeah, really unassigned families need for construction. What, to build that house? I don't need that house right now, so we're fine. We just really need to get this approval rating up. Yeah, start getting way more fuel up and running again. We should be good. We'll be able to go down to one family very soon uh, on this job. I just want to make sure that we don't run out. We should be okay with food very soon as well, because this person will start making meat and leather. So we'll start gaining a lot more stuff here. Oh, sorry, that's as high as we need someone else on this. God, oh my god. Challenging is insanely difficult, by the way. We need the church up for sure. We just don't have clothes is the problem. So we basically need a family here. What do we have people on? I feel like we have enough berries right now, so we'll do that. Um, and we need someone on the saw pick. We need planks. We need to get the church up like ASAP. Yeah, that is kind of crazy, actually, how difficult this is. Yeah, I don't care about building this at the moment. That's fine. We basically need planks. We need 20 planks, and then we can get our church up and running. Yeah, so there's no other villages in early access on the map right now. The, the, the enemy lords do own extra land. Um, and we will go fight them for it. They'll be able to bring soldiers from off the map, from their keep off the map is how they call it. But as of right now, there is no one building on the map. Yeah. God, I can't, yeah. I, I can't believe, like, the difficulty level here, because you're basically stuck on five families to kind of get everything working. And that's pretty difficult, honestly. Um, because what we need as well is we need a tannery to start getting people clothes. I think the church is like number one priority. We took you off of that. A really good tool as well as pressing tab. Tab allows you to basically see um, to see where everyone is assigned. Oh, we have someone on the storehouse as well. But they're on the shop. That's the problem. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get them off of the storehouse because we need the extra person. Because we need to make a tannery. So where's the tannery going to go? Go like up here. And we do like a little follow through. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make this a priority. We don't need that extra house yet. Go back. That's on low. Good. The tannery will give us leather. Because we're, we're, we're pretty much at this point just waiting for the saw pit to make enough planks for us. And we can automatically assign them an ox as well. So an ox will always go and bring trees here. If no one on the forager hut, which is fine. I mean, as soon as we get that church, we'll be great. We'll, we'll be golden. But yeah, actually getting people into your village is... Because I've been, I've been playing on the default difficulty, and yeah, it's been like difficult, but it's not been like impossible, you know? We have a good amount of storage there. We have some firewood there as well. This guy's working that. The problem is now... I don't know, I should be fine. Because this guy's working the, the firewood, the fuel stand, and this guy should be working the food stand, but might not be. Uh, yeah, and just hunt, hunt, hunt these these animals to like exhaustion. Is this a full new game? Yeah. So this is the early access version of the game we'll be releasing in 
in two weeks' time. How much does it cost? I, I don't know yet, True. They've said that, I think Cinematic said that they don't, they haven't said that they're charging like a full AAA price for it, so it's not going to be $60. I think around 40 would be reasonable. I have no idea what they're planning. Okay, we have one family back to doing that. We have fuel. We have food being made, which will bring us leather. That'll get rid of the not enough. We have homelessness as well? No, we don't. Don't know why that's there. And yeah, we just need our we just need some we just need our dude making planks ASAP, man. We need someone making planks ASAP. This is connected to the He's coming over as well, right? Where is he? Where is where are people here working? Over here. He's going home. Don't go home. Get to work. We need them planks like beyond yesterday, man. Uh, no, we have battles in early access. You can fight. You can fight. Jackie was given a key because he... <laughs> a professional gamer. Yeah, YouTubers got the game a little bit early. That's what, how I'm able to play it. Yeah, so that's actually a thing, Steve, in the game. is There is actually smell. I don't think it's fully working yet. Yeah, it says work in progress. But yeah, there is actually a smell filter, I guess, to see how bad things smell. So yeah, you're not wrong. Maybe we, we should have pushed this a bit further out, you know? The tannery. But we can relocate it at a later date, I guess. How's our hut going? Yeah, good food, which is nice. And yeah, he's running. He's now running the food store, which is awesome. We have good food variety. We have three types of food. Our, I guess our vegetables haven't grown yet either, which is interesting. We need we need cloves though. We need linen and leather, like ASAP. Cool. The planks are being made. This is very big. Oh, there you go. The first army has been sighted. Are we just going to die? Again, this difficulty could just be, like, not easy whatsoever. Yeah, these guys are, like, brigands for hire. So these are just mercenaries. They're not going to attack us, I don't believe. Um, Yeah, I don't think we're going to be attacked yet. But we have to be a little bit careful. Because these brigands... Could... They're luckily, they're the other side of the map as well. Yeah, we are we are well and truly um in the uh in, in the thick of it, I will say. Okay, our approval is now going up a little bit more. Ho I don't know. Oh, previously there's homelessness. Okay, so it's new months, so nothing's that crazy is happening. Tannery's gonna be built soon, which is gonna be awesome. As soon as the tannery's done, we're gonna be in a really good spot. Cause then we can start getting clothes to the people. The hunting lodge is producing us leather. Which is then, you know, going to give everybody else a lot of their needs. And then, then it's just simply that church. As soon as the church is up, we're going to be booming. In the default, in the, like, middling difficulty, you you normally are getting families way before this. So you're, you're just, like, pumping. You're pumping people in jobs, you know. I would say at this point, before building my farm, I was at, like, 10 families. So that's five extra people to be in jobs, gathering new resources and stuff. So, yeah, the challenging difficulty definitely does make it harder because of that. But as soon as we get that, as soon as we get that, that farm up, we're going to be laughing all the way to the bank, that is for sure. Yeah, they're lacking clothes in the church. Clothes in the church. We sort that out, we're going to be killing it. It's also not maybe a bad idea if we ever do get enough to get some hides going, so that way we can just constantly, when we're not, even when we're not, like, harvesting animals, we're still, like, kicking ass. How many planks are we at in total, did we say? Do we see? We've got five there. Yeah, just five at the moment. Okay. That's fine. Cool. Tannery's going to be built any second now, which is good. Not that we have a family to get on it, but we're going to have to just figure something out, I guess. Yeah, he's making more. We just need 20. 20 and we're good. I'll finish this house off. You know, it's probably good. We don't need to actually spend any more wood. Also, remember, like, we're logging as well. So we're actually going to probably need to go back to logging before building this church. 
Riker, we need five words as well. So we'll get this house done. And then we'll reevaluate where our families are at and where we need them to be. Okay, cool. So that house is now done. It looks really cool as well. You can see we can actually expand it if we wanted to. So how are we looking? So we've got eight months of food, eight months of fuel. Perfect. Oh, we have two people on this still? Okay, definitely take one person off. One person on the tannery so we can start getting some cloves. And I think we're going to have to go back to logging as well. The saw pit is still working hard. Yeah, then we need someone else back on, on that. I would love to have, like, yeah, got more berries. But we can harvest this in, in the summer still. The berries aren't going anywhere. Yeah, then we need someone obviously making this lever as well. Carcass is in transition. Nice. Where does it go? Do we have a lot of that already? Does it go here? Hey, I appreciate that, Ralph. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Average British weather? Yeah, literally. It's actually really sunny in the UK at the moment. Like, today's the first day. <laughs> Surprisingly. But yeah, so, so far, we've been streaming for, what, an hour and ten minutes? What do you guys think of the game so far? What are your opinions? Also, if you want to watch more of, like, an edited series, I also have a Let's Play on the channel. So, you know, make sure afterwards, drop a subscription to the channel. Um, and just go check it out. It's, it's on the front page of the channel. I'd really appreciate it. It's going to be a really fun series. And I'm going to be uploading that series daily as well. So, it's definitely worth checking out. Meat so tender, it practically melts in your mouth. Come and see for yourself. Uh, where do you see uh, unassigned villagers? So up here. So you have unassigned families. And it says families without an assignment will work on construction, including guiding the, the ox to transport timber. Over here, you have your assigned families. Again, it would be nice if this was expanded a bit so you could see where everyone's working. But you do get you do get quite a lot. Also see the types of families you have. The tier 1s, tier 2s, tier 3s. Your approval, uh, your public order, your, your regional wealth, your livestock. And then finally, the amount of supplies that you have. Okay, so as soon as we hit, I think, 20 planks, we then take this guy off of the saw pit. Getting more planks will be nice, but I, I do honestly just, I think, need the workers. We just need to, we just need to start generating people. Luckily, we, we've now got enough market variety food, which is good. So people are happy because we have, a, we have berries, meat, and bread, and we're soon to get vegetables. I imagine these vegetables will be grown and, and ready for harvesting soon. So that's going to give them basically food, four types of food, which will make them really happy. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. And then, yeah, we just need cloves. We just need the tannery to start pumping. Who I imagine he's like, yeah, he's currently, yeah, transporting, reassigning family to a different workplace. So I think he's, or she, sorry, she's working the tannery. She's going to be the one working hard there, which is good. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, the game is a little bit kind of like chill. We're just kind of waiting for the planks now to build our church. So if you guys have any questions, now's the perfect time to ask. We're closing in, right? We can't need much more. And yeah, I think we think we do stick our like our church like here, maybe. That'd be a really cool spot for it, I think. We'll have like the farms behind it. Yeah, we'll have like the church here, farms behind it. We'll have like a bit more of like a circular road, like that maybe see like another house in there have this kind of come off to it yeah that would be that would look really cool <laughs> sorry it's saying that our requirements are met for six houses but how can they be so unhappy because there's only five people here how are six people so unhappy eh tell me that okay 20 planks 20 planks are now done perfect get off of that job I'm afraid we can no longer have you there. So now we just need people on the on wood. Oh, we can do it. Nice. Get our church down. That's huge. So I think I want it like... Yeah, where where do we stick it? Like, like here? We, we could uproot some trees as well. I want it like overlooking the, uh, the village and we'll build like loads of stuff around it. Yeah, like there. That'll be perfect. Thank you. We'll connect up with the roads. Uh, and then, yeah, then we can, like, build all, like, out here and stuff, you know? Yeah, that's gonna be great. 
Cool. Nice. Okay. Number one priority. Get that church up and running ASAP. Because we need goddamn approval and the church is hurting us so much. We also need that tannery up and running ASAP. Um, so I can actually... Fire... Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to take the family off of firewood now as well, I think. Yeah, we'll leave people on the hunting for now. Because we need more hides, we need more meat. And they're working the shop as well. We'll let people gather more timber because we're going to need more timber. Yeah, I and mean, we literally just have people doing... Yeah, just people doing the tannery and everything else. Nice. Oh, boy. Squiddy has dropped down the gauntlet right there. If we get to 100 likes, I don't know how many likes we're off of that, but if we get to 100 likes, he'll give 10 subs in the channel. That's pretty cool. If you guys uh, want to get gifted a membership, make sure to drop a like on the stream. Thank you so much, Squiddy, for the, uh, the challenge. Start an army to enforce labor? <laughs> That'd be cool if he could. Can you raid other lords for resources? No, there's no other lords on the campaign map in early access, or at least in this version of early access. Yeah, okay, cool. So we have the 20 planks there, which is good. Get this farm up and running ASAP, please. We got 100 likes? God damn. I think you just got scammed, Squiddy. I think you just got straight up scammed. <laughs> Absolutely scammed. <laughs> Question is, does anything here help me right now, you know? Like, maybe, I, I kind of want to just save it because I would love to go down to, like, Irrigation or, or Rye. Rye would be really good to unlock. But actually, to be fair, we don't really need it because we're so fertile everywhere else. Charcoal burners are good. The deep mining is really good as well. That's almost harvesting season. Yeah, that's really good as well. Yo, Squiddy, thank you so much for the 10 gifted members. Bringing us closer to that 400 mark. Once again, I really appreciate it, honestly, Squiddy. It helps out the channel so much. That's um, almost I'm really grateful. Season. And Carl comes in with another 10 as well. Holy, we are closing in on 400 like it's nobody's business. God damn. Carl says, make it double trouble. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate the gifted members. It helps the channel so much. Um, honestly, it goes such a long way. Especially with my wedding only a couple months away. So I really appreciate the support. Double, as Cole says, the double trouble. Thank you so much, Squiddy and Cole. You guys are amazing. Really appreciate the support. Hope you guys are having a good time. Yeah, can we get some, some, some hearts? Spam the little thing on the side of the chat where you can just spam the emote heart, the heart emote. Cool, so we're just waiting for this church to get down. Uh, that should really sort out a lot of our... Um, yeah, a lot of our unhappiness should should boost up from that. Then we still just need the cloth, but the tannery should be working now. Yeah, the tannery is now working. I believe... Is it this marketplace? Yeah. Yeah, we're starting to get leather now. Good. So we're starting to get leather here. That should sort out. So I think next month, as we go into... As we go into June, we'll then start gaining, like, uh, we'll start gaining families. It's been brutal, though, honestly. It's been super brutal, this difficulty. So, yeah, if you guys don't know, we're playing on the, the challenging difficulty. And it just, it just tanks your approval so much. Nice little glimpse of them working hard. The tannery is needed. Everybody grabbing the planks and bringing them over. I like how it's a family effort right there. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll definitely be posting uh, some wedding photos. For sure, for sure. And you can see the beginning of the church happening. That's good. The outline of the church is now down. The highest of all priorities. Yeah, honestly, we really need to get that going. 
Uh, we also don't need that animal assigned here anymore. Yeah, we don't need this ox assigned permanently to the saw pit for now. We're going to need more planks going forward. Don't get me wrong, but... Oh, yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll be sure to post pictures. Don't you guys worry. Uh, I and mean, we have no one else here with a guard. Oh, you have a garden. We don't have any regional wealth right now. It's fine. We don't get that until we hit tier two, I think. Okay, so June is approaching us now, which is nice. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we're going to have this church up and running by the end of June. Because that will then boost our, that will then boost our, uh, our appeal so that we can start gaining extra bonuses. Also, how far away? Yeah, and as soon as we do that, we can then start getting some tier twos up in this scissor up as well. The tier twos are going to be huge when we can start making weapons. I think we need to make weapons early because we don't get them otherwise. The animals are being hunted, but that's fine. The more we need as much hide as possible, right? Yeah, and it's literally just the church. As soon as the church is done, we've now got clothes. We've now got we now got food. We've got um, we've got firewood. It is literally just that church holding us back. Because normally, even without the church, on the easier difficulties, you'll start getting people. Your approval will be above 50 and you'll start getting them. Yeah, we should be at what three hundred and did it add on? Did it add on both of your guys' members to the to the goal, or is it not updated yet? I think I think we're on like a three hundred and sixty seventy two. Sorry, pretty nice. A <laughs> bucks party gaming session. <laughs> That'd be funny. Good old bucks, eh? In, in the UK, we call it a stag party, not a bucks party. You goddamn Australians. Where are the children? <laughs> That's actually a good point. I actually don't know if there are any children. I don't think there are. Oh, well, there's a son. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's a child. I mean, he looks like he's on, like, Tren or something, you know? A little bit of steroids, but there he is. The children yearn for the, the, the fields, okay? The children yearn for the fields. It might not be a bad idea as well to move up this uh, this logging camp as well. Probably like somewhere down here, maybe. Uh, start carving down a lot more of this wood here. Or we could put it up here and start carving away for our fields so we don't waste this wood. Because like, yeah, as you can see, we basically cleared out a lot of these trees. And what you can do as well, if you want to just kind of get rid of the foliage... You can go over here, do this, and you can start erasing like a lot of the foliage. So you can actually see like how much you actually do kind of have cut down, you know? Like we've done quite a bit here. Uh, at what point do armies come into play? I've never seen them that uh, seen that in these early access videos. Um, so I would say, I would say you about an hour in. So if you're playing on the normal difficulty, you, you'd already have a, a, a walking militia and you can go and fight bandits. So, you know, literally like 45 minutes into an hour, you can get like a very small group of soldiers and go and clear some bandit camps if you want to. Because we're playing on the harder difficulty, we don't get any free weapons, so we don't have any free militia. Which is, you know, pretty, pretty depressing. Um, but yeah, pretty early on if you want to. And you can obviously make it, you know, more difficult. You can make aggressions. There's a difficulty level where you're basically, like, immediately under pressure by the AI. And you have to immediately get your soldiers up. And it's like a rush to get your forces. This is a little bit of a middle ground between the pure base building and the military side of things. This kind of campaign. But yeah, you can kind of choose how, how quickly you get stuck into the military stuff things. And there's a few, I think, strat gaming. I mean, don't don't leave this video and go and watch that video, you know. Of course. But uh, yeah, I think strat gaming uploaded like a big battle on his channel. So definitely go check that out. And I think a few other YouTubers have also just uploaded like pure battles. So you guys can see that. Nova, thank you so much for the, the membership, man. Yeah, boom, look at that. We're only 19 away from 400. 
Hell yeah. Yo, and need to no basis coming in as well. Thank you so much, Nova and need to need to. I really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for becoming members. Can you personally fight? No, you do. When you build your mana house, though, you do get um, you do get something called a retinue, which is like elite soldiers. So there's like not they're not gonna be like militia, and there's there's much less of them, but they're really strong. You can name them. You can choose their equipment and stuff. If you guys want, I can. Sh mm, do I show you? I could. If you guys want, you can see a little bit more ahead of my my YouTube let's play and kind of see. Where we're at there, but I don't know. That, that could be spoiling. I feel like that's spoiling, so we're, we're maybe not going to do that. You're actually his favorite YouTuber? Hell yeah, Nova. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, is this church built yet, yeah, man? We need, yeah, we just need a little bit more stone. And then we'll be done. Because, yeah, the church, church is the only thing holding us back now. Oh, we need fuel now as well? No, we have plenty of fuel. Just there. Okay, cool. Let me just save it. I'll save this and I'll do it, right? Let, let's do it. Uh, this is YouTube stream hard. Uh, and I, 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 oh god, I almost clicked over overwritten. Yeah, I, I'll just quickly show you. I'm not gonna like spoil anything. I just want to show you guys what the retinue and the customization looks like. Oh my god, what a beautiful village. What a mastermind of, uh, of beautiful ingenuity. Um, yeah, so the manor house is this. Um, and you can. this is basically how you build. We've got a tax office up. You can, like, build gates and stuff. You can see how we're, like, doing it. You can even do, like, a, another, like, mini castle. So, like, look at that. That looks really cool, right? You can have, like, multiple, which is really dope. There's, like, garrison towers and stuff like that. You can then also go to your retinue. Um, and you can, oh, but, sorry, my retinue is currently out right now, so I can't customize it. They're going to go clear some stuff. But yeah, you have all your army. Uh, so you have your soldiers you can rally and move these guys around. Can I, like, oh, I'm so far away, right? Hold on, let's just, let's just speed these guys home so I can, I can show you guys the, um. Clickbait? I don't think it is clickbait, my friend. It's here for me. It's not my fault, but it's not here for you, man. Spend 13 of your 13 years of your life making YouTube videos, and then maybe you have access to the game. So let's just bring these guys back so I can just ban them quickly, and I'll show you guys. The customization is really cool. Yeah, so it's all individual. Um, so just ban, customize. No, it's rally, sorry. Customize. So yeah, here you go. You have five people. And for example, as I said, you can, you can give them different weapons. You can see the different weapons. Different shields if you want bucklers. Different helmets. Uh, and accessories. And you can even upgrade them as well to give you, like, uh, better armor. And I think it changes the armor. Same over here as well. So, yeah, this guy, again, is sword and shield. And then you have dudes again. So, they're, like, they're, like, set in the way of, like, what weapons they're using. Like, this guy is just a... A two-hander. Um, helmet and obviously body as well. And you don't get many of these. Like, you'll get 12 when you upgrade. So, these are like your elite forces, but they kick ass. You can also change their name as well. So, you can change their name. Uh, they cost you upkeep, though, as well. Uh, and, yeah, you can improve their armors. You can. Even, I think this is a work in progress, but you're going to be able to, like upgrade all of their stats as well so you're going to be able to upgrade like give them perks as they get kills you also see who they kill so you're going to be yeah you're going to be able to do all of that and see what they're capable of you know nice i actually might put in a youtube title but we're playing impossible difficulty you know impossible Difficulty. Just let people know that we're playing on the hard, the hard version of the game. <laughs> I will say it has been a very slow start. Like normally, you're at like 10, 10 villages and everything. 
Um, but yeah, no, I, I like the challenge. I feel like I feel like the vanilla gameplay is a little bit easy. I'll say it. I, I said it. Okay, I said it. I think I think the, the default is it's just a little bit easier. You know, if you're good at gaming, like it's not going to be hard to hard to be too hard. But yeah, I think definitely play default for your first like little run for him. And I think this is a really nice challenge afterwards. I mean, you can even play the the scenario that makes it even harder as well. Cool, the church is so almost done, boys. The church is so almost done. And then we can start getting more workers in. Uh, how are we looking at everything else? Yeah, food and fuel is fine. Do we actually have someone working on fuel? Yeah, we don't. We don't need to, though. Berries could be a good idea to start getting more of. Um, yeah, hunting is going down, but we need the resources. Come on, church. Holy, the church is now finally done. So I think it's going to still take us like a month. Yeah, I still think it's going to take like a month to sort out. But we can now start getting extra families, which is big. How are we looking wood-wise? Still got eight there. I might move this. Yeah, as I said, I might move this like out here, you know. Like out here for now. Start just carving away all of this. Because I think what I want to do... Where's the, the, the King's Road is here. So, like, our, our other stuff is there. So, I, I guess the fields want to go, like, here then. So, yeah. Let, let's maybe... Let's relocate... Whilst we have people working here. Let's relocate this up here. I think that's going to be a cool idea. Um, so, we'll relocate this up here. Start clearing all of this for our farmland. Which we'll be doing soon enough. People are unhappy. Why are you guys unhappy? No fuel? Is it because I have no one working the fuel? Probably. So, let's stick someone else there. I think it's because maybe I don't have anyone on the fuel. And that's the problem. So let's do that, yeah. I can, I guess, also put someone on the storage, but I think I'd rather just make fuel rather than anything else. Cool. As far as you can say, what are the biggest changes, additions to the previous open beta? Uh, definitely the, there's combat, obviously, in the game. Uh, you can go a bit further. Um, there's a lot more of like these upgrades in here as well uh, and just like managing your resources and a lot more higher tier buildings like getting people to tier two and stuff is pretty important speaking of which we should probably upgrade these i don't know we have two people not doing anything i definitely probably want someone back on the berries for now because this camp is going to be out very soon as well yeah the camp is down to its limit so probably want to get rid of you um and probably have someone on the storehouse to go and collect that for now. We have one family still left remaining. So I think I'm going to probably maybe build a few more houses. The wood is moving. Oh, we need someone to build the wood, actually. Okay, that's fine. We'll leave it at that for now. We'll leave it at that for now. And then, yeah, this should be going up. Yeah, so now that we've finished June, we should now start getting a lot more happiness. I don't know why they're all so unhappy, though. They can't get fuel. But why? We have... We have so much. Again, maybe it's... Oh, because no, yeah, no one transported it there. Okay, completely my fault. Are there revolts? I don't know. Um, You do have public order, so I would assume. But I actually don't know. Because I've never got public order that low. So I couldn't tell you. you uh, yeah, you have two assigned. Yeah, so we have one unassigned right now, Squiddy. So that's mainly... But we still need someone for building, right? We still need someone to actually build stuff. Also... Um, yeah, we want to get that logging camp up and running. That should be going up. As soon as the fuel sorted, that'll be going up and we'll be getting a new family in. Can't believe it's taking me to June. We've literally played... Well, to be fair, we've only played three months. To be fair. If anything, I'm the opposite to that, Squiddy, you know? I'm the best lord. So yeah, let's just speed things up now. We're just kind of waiting for things to fire off. Everybody should be happy now. You're still a bit unhappy, but you've got your fuel now. Oh my god, look at that. It's beautiful, boys. The first time. It took us four months almost, but we're here. Approval is now above 50%, which means we now have population growth, which now means more families will be moving in. Yeah, then I guess that's challenging for you, right? That is challenging for you. 
It's kind of nice, though, because we can, like, immediately upgrade as well. Um, so, logging camp is now back up and running. We have a decent stockpile. And we have 10 timber, so we actually don't have to worry too much. So, let's just leave that for now. Probably want to get, like, another house in. Um, something like that as well. That's kind of cool. Have, like, a plot set up like that. Cool. Another house in, because we're going to probably get one soon enough. Uh, yeah, everything's set up. Like so. Another house in. And these can be expanded as well if we need to. New mercenaries available. Where are them? Oh, where are them forces moving as well? There were armies on the map. I don't know where they're going. Oh, they, I think they killed that bandit camp that was there. Nice. Good on them. Yeah, nice. No bandit camps is good for me. Yeah, cool. So the person in the granary is transporting all the meat back as well. Okay, uh, so I guess our next objective is to upgrade our uh, art to tier 2. We already have everything. So that we might as well get some of these settlements to tier 2. I also want to build more houses as well. We just we just simply need more families, which we should now be getting. Oh my god, it went down? Why did it go down? Yeah, you're full, but there's not really much I can do about that for now. Why did it go down? Because a new month, I guess, new month, I guess, so it resets it. I wonder who's floating away today. Hasn't stopped since the fall. Well, your thoughts on the building? In what sense? Like, as in, like, your freedom to be able to build, as in, like, how it looks? Yeah, I don't know why this place doesn't have access to that stuff. Our vegetables should be growing soon and coming into season both very soon, which will be good. Cool. We got we got two free houses now. There you go. Approval is back up. Boom, Bosh, we're here. We're so back, boys. So back. And we can basically fill in houses all here as well. Nice. The logging camp is going. We actually don't have anyone working it, though. We really need that next family to come in ASAP. Because if that, that, that next family comes in, then we can immediately put someone on the logging. But until then, we can't. Is there anything else I would want to build? I guess we could actually just get our farm down. What else, what else are we going to be building now? We don't have any regional wealth, so that's not a problem. I don't want to upgrade these houses yet because I need a few more families. And upgrading the houses will tank that. So we don't want to do any of that. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, we don't have another region yet, so that's all fine. We'll do it in churches. Not doing anything there. Not doing anything there. Yeah, I think we're just we're just good. It's just it's just simply families now. Just simply need we just need population growth. Which hopefully won't take too long, because it is going up. Apparently, we don't have enough fuel. I don't really know how we don't have enough fuel. Should be plenty, honestly. As, considering we have a full storage right here. Maybe it's something to do with, like, the... I mean, they have lots of storage there as well. Yeah, we have so much food and, and, and fuel. Cool. We're about to also finish up picking all the, the berries as well. So, once the berries are done, that frees up another family. And that's basically our food done for the winter. We can maybe go back to hunting in the winter. Uh, like how the big moving is that similar? Does it feel like other games? Yeah, I would say the buildings are. It's very like Anoe, right? Like it's kind of like most building games. Like you, people need amenities to upgrade them. The higher tier allows you them to pay you taxes and give you stuff and upgrade, and you can like do more of these artisan tasks and stuff. Like, yeah, I would say it's it's kind of you know like very much Anoe-esque, really, with like your building chains and stuff. Which is you know, it's just because it's like another game doesn't mean that's a bad thing, you know? I say it's quite a good thing. Because Anno has a great building system. Also, we need to decide on our bell. That's an important task that we have upon ourselves. Definitely this bell, right? Definitely that bell. Has to be. Has to be, right? 
Oh my god, our population, man. Come on. Why? Oh, because it's August now. We just need to goddamn grow. Workspace empty. Yeah, cool. So we don't need a family here anymore. Good. And boom, we got another family. Good. So we'll stick one, one straight on the timber for sure. Finally, another family, man. I think we're fine for food for now. Yeah, we're fine for food. So we don't need anybody on that. So what, what is our next goal? Is, is our setting up a farm is going to be important? Um, Collecting this stone could be good. Not that we're going to need it for anything. Producing like weapons early is going to be pretty important because obviously we don't get them free ones. But we don't have the families for that now. No, yeah, we definitely don't have the families for that. Um, maybe like, like, we have a regional wealth. Yeah, so it's just upgrading our settlement. Yeah, upgrading our settlements for sure. Upgrading the settlements. We could make dyes. I don't actually know what dyes do. Yeah, it's, it's basically just trying to get more people here. So let's maybe... We're not building anything right now, right? Yeah. Let's maybe get someone on the saw pit. And we'll leave someone on the granary for now. Because, yeah, lots of berries. Hopefully that's enough to last us throughout the winter. Have you collected all of them? No, still not yet. And you've collected everything from here as well? Yeah, you have. Cool. So we can actually get a family off the granary soon. Nice. I think, yeah, now now that we're above that, we should start getting some good bonuses. Um, and we'll be making planks again, which are really useful for the higher tier buildings. Dyes equal better clothes. Okay, good to know. Do it, is, like, is it immediate? Like, is, is it just because if I have dyes, I get loads of bonuses? Or is it like a... I, like, it's basically like a, a resource to then make the, like, to make the shoes or whatever. I assume so, right? Yeah, I assume. Okay, I think we also want to probably make some more houses as well. Um, yeah, I think so. So let's maybe make some big houses with, like, gardens here. Is that big enough? Mm, it's one garden. Probably not right. So we'd want to go, like, do enough wood for that? Oh, that's, like, these are, like, mansions, man. These are, like, mega houses. Because they have gardens and they have expandable spaces as well if we need to. Yeah, I like that. So that's, ba that's basically our housing done for the foreseeable future with that. And then, yeah, then it's getting up to tier two. So we start getting more regional wealth, which then allows us to then start gaining more of this. And then as we get more families, I think we want to meet. So I think our next maybe our next couple families, we want to then start working on industry stuff, like start working on the mines, for example. So as of right now, so as of right now, I think the only way to make weapons is through the like workshops in people's back gardens. The smithy only makes iron tools, which I was surprised about because you can like um, in I'll show you when we do finally get one. But you can like choose what type of weapons people are making. There's like a uh, thing for it. So I was really surprised. Um, I was really just surprised that the smithy didn't have the ability to make weapons. It's just iron tools. Maybe I'm missing something. Like maybe there's a... An armor workshop. Armor is workshop. Converts all... Yeah, maybe like you have to... Mm, yeah, I don't know. Enables blacksmith to crop. A blacksmith is this, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure. Well, I guess we'll we'll find out together. Okay, autumn is approaching. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Actually, then we wanna probably get our farm down now then, because it says autumn, we harvest, we plow, and we sow. So we're going to want some people to actually start manning the fields. Okay. Let's uh let let's get a little bit of a road off then here. Cool. So we will have our farm. We can put it down like we don't necessarily have to rush it, but yeah, it's not a bad idea to have this. We're basically setting up for next season. 
Um, and yeah, basically all of this can be farmland. So let's have a, a little bit of farmland. Do, how, do I want it that close to the church? Well, I guess it's not actually that close to the church. Yeah, that's not like that close to the church. Could have it on this side, really. Just kind of cover all of this. We start getting poorer fertility back there, though. Barley's good out there. Yeah. Okay, so barley can go down there. Barley's pretty important to get up and running. Because that's how you make your alcohol, and that's how you make your people happy. Flax is also obviously good for different types of cloves. Okay, we could have it, like, out here, then. Yeah, like, there. Cool. So we'll have our farmland out there. Connect it up, like so. Uh, and then let's do our fields, because the fields, I think, just insta-build regardless. So... Uh, let's do our... Let's do our, 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 our... I guess we'll do our special ones first, actually. Yeah, cool. So this can be a flax field. Sorry. I want to make it a bit bigger, like so. Cool. That's a really cool field. I like, I like the shape of it. And we can like do something like that just to kind of clean it up a little bit, you know. Uh, then where is our other field? So then, so that's gonna be flax, right? Yeah, that's flax and barley. Barley's gonna kind of be out here. Good, good to know. So then, um, cool. So then barley, yeah, barley can take up all of this room. So let's actually maybe just like bring this right across, like so. Again, this doesn't have to be the biggest field in the world. I'd like to like it to look cool, you know. Again, I think that's going to be big enough. Again, we have to be careful with how many families we can actually like physically assign to this as well. You know, we're going to have to like plow these fields constantly, so we need to be a little bit cautious. Yeah, cool. Boom. That's going to be barley, so we'll go... Oh, oh, God, it's so insane how good this stuff is, man. This actually doesn't really matter, you know? Um, barley, and we'll have our two wheat fields. I think we'll go with four fields. You know? So let's just kind of, like, rotate around, you know? Like, something like that. Connect up to the main road. And then this can also go. Alcohol week was happy. Yo, how's it going, Marcellus, as well? Sorry if I missed you um, earlier. I'm not sure if you said hey. So, yeah, and I think the rest of these farms are just, like, big wheat fields, you know? And um, this is probably quite a lot of, like, land to actually um, to deal with, you know? And something, actually, I think would look really cool here is having, like, a road in between here as well. Be cool if we could get a road in between here, but I think I kind of messed it up. Uh, so maybe we just destroy this. Yeah, let's destroy it, whatever. Like, let's just let's just do this right, you know? Let's do this right. I think it's kind of cool to have these separated by, like, a road. Uh, and I guess here as well. Have, like, the feel just, like, a little bit different. Cool, let's do that. So I think with this, I, it basically guarantees what I need to do with my, my perk. Is that too big? That's a big field, actually. Okay. That's maybe a bit too big for us. That's, yeah, that's probably a bit too big. That's what she said, though. Yeah, that's going to be two minor fields. Cool. I can't believe how good the fertility is in these regions. Like, is is in, in my Let's Play, but it's on for YouTube right now. You can watch that after this stream. It's literally, like... 30% on everything. And barley and flax is like 10%. Cool. Nice. I like that. Hopefully we'll get another family in soon as well. We are we are actually edging closer. Shout out to all my edges. Um, 275%, which is where you get mega population growth. 
And I think now we definitely go with the plowing the field. For sure. Nice. Um, okay, sorry. That took a while. So what are we lacking? We, we need timber. It's fine. We have, so, we have enough berries to last us the winter for sure. Fuel's a little bit of a problem. We have someone on it, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, so the game comes out in two weeks' time uh, for everybody. And this is like basically the build that you'll be playing minus some, some bonuses. It's actually crazy. I know I keep on mentioning this, but I've like it really is. If, if you're looking for a hard experience, definitely play this on the challenging difficulty. Because, yeah, the difficulty level has just been ramped up of how slowly you expand. It's been good, though. It's definitely been very enjoyable. And look how beautiful our fields look. I can't wait. Hopefully, we can get a bit of plowing in. Yeah, we're going to be able to... Yeah, we're going to be able to... As soon as we hit autumn, we're going to be able to plow these fields. Oh, it's going to be such good timing, I think. I'm just hoping we can get, like, maybe one more family in. Also, what's the unassigned family doing out of interest? Yeah, okay, they're bringing over resources now. Good. Nice, nice, nice. And yeah, we just need to clear all of this. Uh, what do you guys think on, like, clearing the, the shrubbery away? You know, I kind of like doing this just to make things a little bit, like, cleaner. But do you guys prefer it, like, with a bit of, a, like, a messy look? What do you guys think? But it really does look like that we are... We are not big whatsoever. Um, yo, Liam, how's it going? Welcome. Yeah, how's it going, bro? Welcome, welcome, yeah. How you doing today? Uh, we just upgraded construction finished. Yeah, because we just, well, we're finishing these houses still, okay. I actually don't need these houses, so I'm going to stick these on low priority. And then stick the farm up, because I want the farm operational, and we don't need more houses. We already have eight. These are just additional ones, right? Okay, cool. I think that's, that's going to be our, our next plan of of action is we get the farm up. Um, we'll hopefully get another family or two in. And then, then we look to upgrading settlements. Berger plot is losing approval because, yeah, it's only just started. So it hasn't got his resources yet. Uh, you need someone to get things out of the storage in the market. Uh, which is where people get things themselves. Yeah, I know. So we have people. So this guy's doing the fire. This guy's doing the wood cutting. This guy's doing the clothing. Um, and then... Oh, yeah. I guess we don't have anybody on food at the moment. Oh, no. This guy's on food. The guy's on granaries on food. So we're good. Thank you for the suggestion, though. If I did miss it, yeah, it would be bad. Um, yeah, this place is just unhappy because it hasn't like got its stuff yet. Yeah, and you can see, so we're, we're current. We're so close. I don't really have anything else to push this over. I mean, maybe if my vegetables get get harvested. Yeah, actually, so these are going to be harvested now. I think that might stick us up over the seventy-five threshold because that's like a fourth type of food. I don't know how we're lacking fuel, though. You know. Is it because we don't have anybody on our storage? Oh, he's transporting it now. Yeah, he should be, like, transporting it. Yeah, he is transporting it. Do it faster. <laughs> These people need their fuel. Their, their gamer subs. Hashtag use code Jackie Fish. Save yourself 10% and unlock some beautifully tasting sugar-free energy drinks. <laughs> oh, a bandit camp. A bandit camp has been sighted. Is this close? I can't do it. Oh, yes. No, it's, uh, yeah, it's close. It's touching me. Okay. Okay. Everybody chill. Everybody chill. Cool. So we're going to have to deal with that. So, I mean, we have, we have so much to do. In the winter, I think we're going to go and start mining. Start mining, upgrading to tier two, start getting some weapons and shields. I think what we focus on is we're getting, we're getting spears and shields, and we focus on getting bows. But to do that, we need regional wealth. Or we could import them, but we also need regional wealth for that as well. Cool. This is almost built as well. Oh. 
Oh, is this our first? Oh my god, that's my first crash in 10 hours. Can't complain. Uh, cool. Hopefully the autosave isn't too far back. And um, we'll, we'll just load back up. Yeah, cool. That, that is literally my first crash in 10 hours. Uh, autosave was when... Of course, it was only six minutes ago. Uh, hello? <laughs> no! What has happened? Oh no! Not run into this before? Um, maybe if I load... I really want to go back an extra 20 minutes here. It's because you joined, it is. It's because we're not up to 400 members yet, that's why. So this save works fine. How far back is this? This is like as the church is being built, oh no. We don't want that. That's a while back, man. Um, come on, just, just work autosave, just work. Cool, nice. I'm gonna quickly save over, I'm gonna quickly make another save as well. We're so back, boys, don't worry, it was never Jova. We so back, boys. <laughs> Early access revoked. I said too much. <laughs> I think they said they, they have planned for multiplayer, but it's not something that's going to be a priority for them right away. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, oh, it's before this has been built. Yeah, sorry. Set that to very high. I don't really care about these Berger plots. I actually might demolish this one, to be honest. I'm actually going to demolish that one. We don't need both of these. Come on, lady. Come on. Um, you have the resources made. You need someone transporting them. But people do it. The people, look, you can see. Log is in transport. The guy, the family owns a market stall. If you want to sign them, the market will have to be taken over by someone else. They are literally transporting them over here. To it. Slowly, but they are doing it. Uh, something we could do is we could unassign this family and put someone on the storage. Uh, I don't know if I don't know maybe if the storage job does it a little bit faster because these guys are busy cutting, but they should now that they're full. Really, like everybody should be working on bringing it over. So you can literally see the person with the logs transporting them over. Maybe having someone on the storehouse does do it faster. But yeah, you can literally see them doing it. That's now done as well. Oh uh, yeah, and get 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 that get that big boy done. Get the farmhouse done. I want that farmhouse done and ready to go. What does on the fence mean? Uh, but you're in. You're unsure if you like the game. You're like, ah, oh, it looks good, but also bad. I'm unsure. Yeah, the berries are gonna really see us through the winter. People are going to consume more in the winter, but it's fine. Like, that should be, be fine. We can obviously go back to hunting as well. We need more leather, if we need more leather. Uh, yeah, and the, all the fields are set up as well. Cool. And the vegetables are going to be harvested very soon as well. The farmhouse is now built. Hoping we'll get one more family in before autumn. Because if we get one more family in before autumn, we can then stick someone on the farmhouse and make them plow all of this. I will probably make the wheat a priority, though. You can do that somewhere, I think. I swear, yeah, field priority. No, sorry. So, this one's going to be the highest. Then we want to go barley, I think, next. And then these two can be just like medium, whatever. Yeah, definitely. So definitely plow and sow this field first. Yeah, for sure. Because, you know, it, like getting the bread up and running is just huge. The barley will be second and we'll, we'll get it done for sure. But it might just take a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. Make sure we get the heavy plow as well. I feel like that's just the best. The best perk to pick. 
Uh, the tech is done, or did you get erased in the crash? Yeah, it got erased. Thank you for letting me know. Um, I did just did just literally do that. Maybe I saw it in the corner of my eyes, and I was like, oh, yeah, subconsciously. I mean, I think you can definitely have criticism of a game if it's in early access, 100%. I think mean, you got to be understanding that the game is in early access and you have to have faith in the developers to then improve it and continue to update it. But if you, if they're charging money for a game, 100% you can criticize it. I think. Uh, we can all, does this merge the road? No, it looks, that looks horrible, man. Ooh, that looks horrible. Let's get rid of that road quickly. Yeah, like if you're charging, if you're charging money for a game, then yeah, hundred percent you can get criticised for it. Uh, nice. So we're still chopping down wood. We have the farms up and running. Uh, okay, so it is now autumn. Uh, oh, we're at a plow station, and we just got another family. Perfect timing. September has arrived. Um, so let's quickly, yeah, quickly build up this farmhouse, get the plow station going, and then we'll start plowing the fields. We don't sow them though, right? We just, we just simply, yeah, plow and, oh, you do so, okay. Nice, cool. Yeah, hopefully we can get that done in autumn. Nice, big nice. Obviously, though, the bigger we get, the more fuel and more food we consume as well. So you have to be kind of cautious there as well. Should we, uh, should we go down into first person mode? Take a look at our new village. It's come a long way, right? It's come a long way since we started. The boys are constructing a new a new house. So I think I think now that we have seven seven families here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably upgrade some settlements now. Let's upgrade to the next tier. So we'll probably upgrade two of our settlements to tier two, and in them settlements we'll make uh we'll make we'll try and start making weapons and shields. Is our church as well. We can go into the church, the the courtyard. Uh, yeah, I mean, Ori, I I like don't don't go into this game expecting it to be total war, man. Like, I think that's that's something that people need to get out of their head. It isn't total war. It's a city builder game with combat mechanics. The best city builder combat mechanics we've ever had in a game, a hundred percent. But it's not Total War, you know. This is made by one main developer and a bunch of other people. I think he's taken on, like, in the past year, he's taken on other people to help him. But for the most part, this game has been made by one person. Not a, a AAA studio with 750 employees. Not that CA have 750 employees working on one game at one time. But you know what I mean, right? <coughs> with, like, unlimited funding. So just, just keep that in mind, you know. Like... <laughs> It's a big difference. As hyped as people are, you know, it is a big difference. Cool. So we need to get we need to get that plowing station up and running. One thing as well we can do, which just looks cool. Not that we're going to be able to use it because we're not going to get any sheep or anything for a little while. We have a little bit of a pasture field here as well. Just because it looks cool, right? I have a nice little pasture field out there for, like, other stuff to graze. Other things you can do as well. So when, because as you farm, so this is a really cool thing about farming. As you farm, the fertility of the land goes down because of the pesticides and other stuff that you're putting on, you know, on the field to, to grow. It's going to suck the nutrients out, right? But one thing you can do is if you get the upgrade, you can actually, uh, when you fell over fields, put... Um, animals on them, which will obviously you know, pull all over the fields and actually fertilize them and bring up the fertility again. So it's kind of a cool way of doing that. Hey, how's it going, uh, BRE? How you doing? Shout out to the BRE clan. Nice. So what are we focusing on, though? We have two unassigned families, which are great. Um, I might stick someone in the storehouse for a little bit. You know, just collect up the firewood so we can keep on making more. 
Oh, no, we need to upgrade houses. Yeah, cool. So let's find... I think we just maybe upgrade house and we upgrade uh, another house like over here. Because, yeah, both of these can have like uh, plots. Yeah, these are just people houses. Yeah, cool. So nice. Let's do that. That's going to upgrade us to the next tier. It's going to put us to tier... Uh, yeah, it's going to put us to, to uh, medium village. Our farm is almost done. Good. Taking us a little bit while to get this ox up and running, but still fine nonetheless. So cool. So let's immediately assign a family here, and I'm immediately going to assign an ox here so we can start plowing the fields in September. Oh, Jake from State Farm said get the thumbs up to 200 and he has a gift for us. Nice. If you guys haven't already, make sure you drop a like on the stream. Jake has said if we hit 200, uh, there'll be a gift in it for us. So if you guys haven't already, drop a, dro drop a like down below. It really helps out the channel and I really appreciate it. We need another, what, 40? We can easily do that. We can easily do that. Also, as well, for anybody interested, I have also started a YouTube Let's Play on, on this series. It's a different village, but, you know, I'll be uploading that every single day. So um, after the stream is done, make sure you go and check it out. I'll make sure to link it at the end. Um, to be fair, I should probably pin it as well. I actually might do that now really quickly. Uh, just pin my Let's Play so people can kind of save it for later. Uh, you can either hit the watch later or just stick it in another tab. Um, but you guys can uh, check it out with. Because I'd really appreciate it if, you, again, you could go over on that video and drop a like as well. That'd really help out. Because obviously there's so many people, um, you know, playing the game at the moment. Um, but it's kind of hard to get good in the algorithm. Let me just pin that. You guys go, go check it out. Go, go show that some love. Um, sorry. And then let's just get back to it. Uh, yeah, how's it going, Jens? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So yeah, the two places I've just upgraded are going to be pretty unhappy for now. But they'll, they'll, they'll sort themselves out. We're then going to finish up our building. So yeah, I think how we kind of flesh out this last bit of land. Um, I must have that well. I just, just cut it off. Yeah, I think we can maybe do something like that to finish off this area when we need the housing. And that looked pretty good. Our logging camp is doing a nice little job of clearing this. Now, are we going to see people in the fields is the question, as we do have a family working there. We're looking good on resources, yeah. We still maybe need a bit more fuel, but that's fine for now. I sort of like this. Uh, I wish the devs would incorporate this in the official update. <laughs> what are you talking about? You think of this is like a Bannerlord mod? <laughs> it is, it's not. Uh, yeah, there is fighting in it. You do engage bandits and other things. Unfortunately, because we're playing on impossible difficulty, uh, it, we don't get the free weapon, so I can't show you guys the combat. There's like a brigand camp right here. But that's going to be our next goal. As soon as the farms are up and running, it's immediately on to sorting out our, our industry for, for combat. Uh, the tech tree? Yeah, I can show off the tech tree. So it's pretty simple, and a handful of, like, I'd say half of the tech tree is done. Half of the tech tree is locked behind early access. But you have, like, a farming section, like a husbandry and, like, beekeeping and stuff section here uh this is more like industry weaponry and then this is trade and this is individual to each city so you could have you could have one city that's solely focused in on on your farming and then another another village so solely focusing on building weapons Anything's impossible, Crisis, with the uh, with the right attitude. Oh my god, as well, you got your, your member back as well. Look at that beautiful membership, Crisis. It makes me happy every time I see it grow. Much like my village. Yeah, nice. So we, oh, we're plowing, baby. Look at us go. We're sowing the fields. Look at us go. Hell yeah. 
Get to work, god damn it. We need these done. We need these fields sowed by the end of autumn. And uh, obviously planted as well. So I might need to stick some more people on this. I don't know why this one isn't... Oh, they're... Yeah, that's medium. That's... Yeah, I don't know why they're doing this field first. The, uh, the ox should make it way quicker, though. Yeah, the ox should make it way quicker. Uh, and our tier 2 settlements are... Not done yet, no. Currently being constructed. Okay, cool. Yeah, the tier 2 settlements are being constructed. Uh, they're doing this one first. So one of the cool things about the game is they actually, like, deconstruct it. They actually, like, de deconstruct the lower tier one. And then upgrade it with the uh, the bigger one. So you actually see them, like, take away, like, the housing parts and, and building parts to upgrade it. But this will be really big because once this upgrades, we'll then start getting a little bit of regional wealth every month. The more regional wealth we have, the more stuff we can do, like, you know, have vegetables. Speaking of which, have they, like, been harvested yet? They must be getting harvested soon, no? Yeah, slowly starting to get harvested now. Good. Good, good, good. Our logging camp is doing a good job as well. Still keeping that timber up and running. Always going to need timber for sure. Do we have anyone making planks? We do still have someone making planks. And we're actually losing stocks here because we're not being... Okay, I think we just don't need any more planks for now. So we're going to get rid of a family there. And we're going to stick one on the storehouse to get more of our supplies, I think. First, family on the storehouse can start collecting more of this and also getting it to market a little bit quicker. We are, we are so close, man. Lack of entertainment, yeah. Because they're tier two now, probably. We need, we need the inn. If we had barley, we'd be able to get the inn going and then be really happy, but we just don't. Feels level one entertainment requirements for the verge pots. Like many of the citizens, it needs ale, yeah. We just don't have any barley right now is the problem. Cool. The storehouse is filling up everything, which is good. Uh, oh, nice. We've got another family as well. Good. So a new family uh, moved in. Perfect. So we're up there. Eight families now. And our second tier two Berger plot is about to upgrade. So we're, gonna, we're about to go up to a medium village. I'm a little bit scared that we're not going to get this stuff done in time. So I might have to stick another family on this. Yeah, I'm going to stick another family on this. Because, what, it's already October. We have only October and November to, to sort these fields out. To be fair, though, we have done one out of the four. But then we also need to sow them as well. Yeah, okay. We definitely need more family on that. Yeah, we definitely need more families. Uh, our food is still fine. And we'll, we'll probably hunt in the winter. When we hit winter, we'll probably go back out hunting. Because the, the level of, has gone up there. You can see we're slowly starting to get regional wealth now. And boom, we are now a medium village. Huzzah! So we now have another point. What, like, what do we even want, though, is the question. The charcoal burner is actually really nice. Because you get, like, really efficient fuel. I'm tempted to, like... I kind of feel like this has to be, like, our... This is, like, our farming region. And then we, we expand out elsewhere. Yeah, we don't need better equipment right now. We can make, like, more of a military base somewhere else. Um, fence up would be nice, but we just don't have any livestock now anyway, so that doesn't really matter. The extra bread would be kind of cool, but I feel like we're just not going to need it. Yeah, I mean, we, we can... What we can do as well. So I'm going to leave that point for now, I think. Yeah, we'll leave that point for now. And you can see these guys are a bit unhappy because they want more clothes and a tavern. Can't help you guys with a tavern. We could get a, a trading uh, trader out to start getting some ale in whilst we need. And there you go. Bandit stealing some of my food. Goddamn brigands, man. We could get a trader down uh, to try... Yeah, and, and start getting some ale shipped in. Sorry, some meat. Sorry, some barley shipped in to make ale from. 
Because we can get the tavern down, of course. The tavern can get down. So we have a tavern right next to the, the inn. I feel like the tavern should go, like, over here somewhere, maybe. Not fit there, really? Not even like that. I feel like the tavern should be, like, you know, like, on the main road, almost. So weary travelers can come over. Love it, like, here, honestly. Raid the neighbors. I don't have any soldiers. We don't, we didn't, we didn't get the free shipment like everybody else gets. Um, yeah, it is, it is all aboard as well, the, the farming train now. Okay, I mean, I think that's a good idea. Like, getting the tavern down would be huge. But to get the tavern down, are we building anything right now? We're not, right? No, we're not. Um, yeah, we still have plenty of food as well. We have we have enough food to last us. Not the best food variety, but the vegetables, yeah, the vegetables will help us out massively as well, actually. We have plenty more to harvest. Uh, can you move the road that was on, in the way? Uh, we could try. I don't think I can move this one, but maybe, actually. Uh, let's see. Oh, click. Uh, no. Oh, you can move that one. Maybe, then. Okay, I could move that one, but when I cross, okay. Yeah, and then we just have it here. Nice. Thank you for the, the suggestion. And we can get it like here. I think that's a kind of cool idea. Or like there. Yeah, like something like that. I think it'd be cool. I mean, to be fair as well, it's pointless because we can't we can't fuel it. So we, we don't have the stuff to fuel it, but it's just cool to have down, I guess. And we have the resources to do it, so it's not the end of the world. And we're not building any more houses or anything at the moment. Hey guys, if you haven't already, please do drop a like down below on the channel. If we get to 200, Jake says he has a gift for us. So if you guys want to see what that magical gift is, then make sure you drop a like. Uh, no, no battles yet. No battles. We're playing on the impossible difficulty, the challenging difficulty, sorry, crisis. The challenging difficulty. Uh, so we didn't get the free weapons that you get normally. So we, we don't have a militia. We don't have any weapons to outfit our militia, um, which is a real shame. Um, yeah, so I mean, we can click it. But we're not going to get anybody to go in these go go in these roles because we don't have the weapons. The farms are doing good. Yeah, we're literally being fourth in right now. We are li we we have no enemies. Okay. Yeah. So I think during the winter. So during the when the winter hits, we don't need anybody on farming because basically all that's happening is is the the, the stuff is growing. So then I think we then shift to iron deposits. The thing is as well, right now, we can't even produce weapons even if we wanted to. We don't have enough regional wealth. So to produce, so to actually make, um, to actually make these. Oh, we can make, okay, actually. Okay, we can, cool. And this doesn't cost us anything? Okay, these cost us something, but these don't. Cool. So we can actually might start making some bows, get some archer militia up and running. That would be... Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we can start making some shields as well, which we need. Cool. So let's, th let's do that now. Um, let's do that now, then. So we have a couple plots, right, that can be uh, tier two and can. Don't know why you haven't got your... Yeah, you want church level up as well. I can't do that, though, because you need... You need a lot of stone and clay, and we, we haven't even got to mining that yet. Tier two is hard on challenging. It really is. Uh, cool. Well, let's start making some bows then. Nice. He'll he'll go out into his back garden and he'll start making some some bows for us. You guys are all. None of you guys are like yeah. Okay, cool. And I guess you are. You, yeah, you can't go up to tier two yet, but you can. You can start making some shields. Why not? Uh, oh, we just. What did we just uh, assign? We've now lost someone. Who have we lost? Yeah, we don't have anybody to produce. Did we just lose someone? Or did, like, assigning them to work that give them a job, maybe? Yeah, maybe assigning them that job gave them something there. Uh, we now no longer need anybody... Yeah, we don't need anybody on the storage now, I don't think. So we can get you off of that. Get our family back. 
Uh, you best make an army fast, else the neighbors will see you weak and an easy target. I'm trying. I'm trying my best, okay? We're making archers now. Come on, guys. We're only eight away. Eight likes away from 200. Let's do it. Let's wrap this up. How are we looking resource-wise? So we are running out of planks, but it's obviously because we've just started producing them. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, we're, we're basically waiting for the fields to be plowed. As soon as all the fields are plowed, and look, look how much faster this is as well. I'm so glad I took this. If, if you're in a good place with fertility, I think taking the, the, the ox plow is just so much better. Because we, like, by the, ti the, the time in which they've done that, this ox is basically plowed one and a half fields. And I think without it, like, we're in October now. We're about to go into November. We still actually have to sow the fields as well. I'm scared we're not going to be able to, to get the fields sorted. Because we want maximum growth. Not that they really grow over winter much, but we still want, like, maximum growth. Cool. Let's get the inn up and running. The inn's not going to really help us out massively, right? But... We're at 207. We did it. Hell yeah. I appreciate it, boys. And also, girl, if there is a girl watching this. I doubt it, but you never know. Uh, nice. Our Fletcher shop is now done. Good. Cool. So now this guy, you actually see it as well. You actually see the shop get added to the to the building, which is kind of cool. Um, so if we clear the shrubbery, you guys can see it. That's almost harvesting more. season. And you actually see it. Oh, there you go. Yo, Jake. Holy... F word, man. Coming in with a 20 gifted. Yo, come get some hearts in chat for Jake. That is a huge amount to gift the channel. Absolute chad. On top of Cole's uh, membership, uh, 10 gifted. On top of uh, Squiddy's 10 gifted. On top of, I think, like four or five other people have just become members themselves. Hell yeah, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the 20 gifted. It goes such a long way. And I, I am really grateful. So thank you for the 20 gifted. That boosts us above 400 as well. Hell yeah. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Absolute chad. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to fell over this second field. I think we don't have enough fields to, to, to plow and sow in time because it's already October. Um, and it, I think it's very much going to be November like any second now. On top of that, we are now at 77% approval, which now gives us, as you guys can see, high population growth. Come along, lad. Uh, yeah, it gives us high population growth. So that's going to hopefully start giving us way more families, which again is just amazing in turn. More more building, more resource production, etc, etc. Yeah, no, seriously, really do appreciate it. 20 gifted, man. Thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying the content. And thank you very much for the kind words as well. Really do appreciate it. But yeah, as I mentioned, like the memberships do go such a long way. But also, you know, if you can't gift members, if you can't, um, you know, be a member yourself, don't worry, you know. Uh, the best way to support the channel is just by watching the content the whole way through. Even if you just have it on on your second monitor or on in the background, the watch time really helps out. Um, dropping likes, talking in chat, commenting on my videos, all that stuff is a massive help. So I really do appreciate it. And all that stuff is completely free. Cool. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared the farms. I'm hoping, because once this field is done, we're fellowing this one. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fellow this field, so then it's just this one left, and then make yeah, it's November now as well, so we only have one month to sort this out. Nice, a new family just joined as well. Good, good, good. But uh, I I'm curious I don't know. I think. I think when I, I think these shops do take up a job or a family. Because we have one building, then we have one, two, 
Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I think these, these burrows and stuff take up an entire job slot. Okay, good to know. I didn't know that. But yeah, these people are now making bows. And these guys are now making shields. I'm going to go with the, uh, the large shields, I think. So that means we need more planks. Okay. Which means we're going to need someone back in the saw pit, I guess. Okay, yeah. We need more jobs. <laughs> we need more jobs. Luckily, we have a handful of planks. So we should be okay to make some. We already have two bows as well. Nice. Child labor. The children yearn. Yes, look at that. We're, we're, we're sowing the seeds. I mean, I'd rather you guys sowed the wheat rather than the barley, but that's fine. I mean, but the whole, the whole it's point. Almost harvesting season. Yo, ho, leash it, Swedish. Coming in with the 50 gifted members out of nowhere. Swedish, my man. Holy. Fuck. <laughs> that is an insane amount of gifted. We had so many gifted today. Yo, Swedish. I appreciate that beyond belief. Holy fuck, man. Absolute Chad. Seeing Squiddy, Cole gifting their members, seeing Jake gift his members. They were like, hey, I can't be left out here. Thank you so much, man. Honestly, it helps out the channel so much. And that's boosts us to 450 members. Yo, 450 members. That's crazy. We're actually not that far off my highest member count of all time, which is pretty wild to say when we're not like a new Battle Lord releasing or anything, you know? I'm not really known for city builders, so. That is crazy. Thank you so much, Swedish. I appreciate that so much. Don't worry as well. As soon as we get our manor house up, which we're not actually that far away from, we'll be sure to uh, we'll be sure to name the retinue after you guys who have gifted today. Holy. And I mean, for that sweet, for 50 gifted members, if you want Swedish, you can name the village. Let, give me, give me, give me a good name for the, the village. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. 50 is a lot of members. How has Jake not got one? Maybe he hasn't turned on... Uh, maybe he hasn't turned on gifting. And that's why he hasn't been gifted one, maybe. <laughs> make sure you guys... If you want to claim any of these gifted members, make sure you turn on gifting by clicking on the membership gifted. Cool, so our tavern's about to be completed. I don't think it's going to be functional because we don't have any alcohol, right? Yeah, it's not going to be functional, but we have a tavern there, which I think just looks cool, right? Helps, like, build out the village a little bit. Oh, no. God. Oh, God. Why did no one tell me? Oh, my God. I'm so bad at this game. So, something you need to make sure that you're on top of is the amount of houses you have. So, as you guys can see, we're currently at nine. We have nine living spaces and we have nine families. That basically means that we now don't get any population growth because we don't have any spare houses. So, that has to be number one priority is getting these houses down. Um, like, like now. Um, so let's do that. I think this entire slot can be like, I don't know, like four houses maybe? Like that? No. Sorry, I need to do like this, I think. Something like that could be kind of cool. We don't have any gardens, though, as a problem. That's like one massive mansion. That has a garden. Okay, cool. I'm an expansion if we need to. Okay, these need to be number one priority, I think, now. Yeah, let's stick these to high. I don't know what else I'm building. I don't think I'm actually building anything now. Yeah, holy. Thank you so much, Swedish. I really do appreciate the, the 50. Uh, I really appreciate the two tens as well from Squiddy. Um, actually, I think Squiddy gifted... 15? 20? I think he also dropped a 5 bomb as well. Um, Cole for the 10. And everybody else who's just been supporting the stream. All the other, the, the, all the other gifted members as well. Um, yeah, Squiddy membered up as well. Sup for the donations. Pierce for the 5 as well. I really appreciate it. 
And everybody else who's just become a member as well this stream. You guys are, are the MVPs, man. Glad you're enjoying the content. Okay, so yeah, we need another house up. Because every second that you don't have a population growth, you're just missing out. So we need these houses up and running, like, now. Uh, what we could even do as well afterwards is we could even expand the living space here as well to add some extra houses. That actually might be the quicker thing we do. So they build a little bit quicker. Um, yeah, like upgrading the, the living space on a few of these houses might not be a bad idea. Is there cavalry? No, I've not seen any horse combat in early access. Yeah, you just need that tavern and cl more clothing as well. Yeah, so our approval is getting hit because we just don't have ale. So yeah, let's, let's do a massive expansion. Yeah, cool. We're up to 11 now. Good. Uh, they expanded quickly. Cool. We have our population growth back. Big. Yeah, man. I actually can't believe how many gifted you guys have just given. That's insane. Uh, 450. I mean, let's uh, let's shoot for the stars. Why not? Let's take that bad boy up to 500. I'm not. There you go. Cool. Yeah, I imagine cavalry will be coming at some point. Because right now you can only have battles up to six. Um, yeah, you can only have battles up to six units. So six full units, which is a big battle, right? You're like 250 men. That's about it. Uh, cool. How are we looking here now as well? So we are sowing. Yeah, I'm just very... Oh, not, I haven't plowed that field yet. I don't think we're sowing these fields in time, you know? I think this has to be like the... Oh, the yeah, we need the wheat. Like, the barley's okay. We'll, we've sowed a decent amount of that. We need to really focus in on that now. Do I, I don't even have another family to put over here. Um, yeah, we, we need people in the tannery still. How's our clothing looking as well? We still have nine leather. Okay, so we're still fine there. These houses are all being completed, which is really nice. Our food. How's our food? Yeah, so the vegetables we got from our, our farms here are doing a good job. Yeah, oh man. The barley is going to be bussing. Don't get me wrong. The barley is going to be straight out bussing, bussing. But yeah, okay, cool. They're sowing this field now as well. They yeah, they're, they're fully sowing. Okay, cool. We're doing, we're doing this now. That's big. That's really... Okay, it's December now. They're still sowing in December, or have they given up? No! They gave, I think they sow in December. That's so bad. Oh, why did I do this field first? Do they honestly just not bother in December? Like, straight up? So unfortunate if that's the case. So, I guess the whole point is that the ground gets a bit too hard. I mean, it's fine. We'll get some crops because you, you could go back to sowing in spring. So it's not the end of the world. You go back to sowing in spring. But I, I would love to have had these ready to grow like midway through, you know. Oh, that would have been so nice. Okay, so I think... So, yeah. So I think now we'll go down to one family. In case they go back, we'll go down to one family there. Um, we desperately do need some more planks. So we'll stick someone back on this as we do need someone here. Um, yeah, brigand camp there. We saw that already. So, yeah, hunting is back up as well. So, ideally, we'd want to have another family on hunting. Buildings are still important. Seeing where else we have people doing. How much timber do we have? We only have 11. It's not really like a lot, right? Oh, so. Oh, I can't believe that, man. I even started like pretty early. You have to be like really on it, I think. Yeah, December. The ground's too hard to sow. That's fine. How are our weapons coming along? So we are producing shields, right? I believe. These houses are all being built. These houses are all being upgraded. We have okay population growth. We have enough food and fuel for a while. And there you go. Look at that. The seasons have changed. Winter has come. Our poor fields. At least we got the barley down, I guess. Wait, what? What's happened here? Is that just it? 
fucking bandit stole my bread as well. I don't think we have enough dudes until we get start getting some weapons. Okay, cool. So we've just finished up our housing now. Our housing should be good for a while. I could definitely do with some more people here. For sure. Um, yeah, I could definitely do with some more families. Because I want to get this iron deposit up. We can build it though, right? So let's let's maybe just like get the, uh, the industry going. So let's get a mining pit out here. You know? Let's do that. Also, out of interest, how many shields do we actually have? Does it show us anywhere? I guess it would be here. We have two shields. Yeah, not a lot. Uh, we probably also have to automatically assign an animal here to help out with the wooding. We don't need anybody on that yet either. Uh, yeah, they, they said battle that there will be multiplayer in this game, I think. Well, someone in chat said that the dev said that multiplayer will be a thing in the game. You heading out now, Carl? Right, like, all right, see you later, man. I'll see you in a bit. We'll be streaming for a while yet, so don't you guys worry. Uh, we still got a bit, a uh, bit more stuff to, to go. Um, yeah. So our next goals. Okay, cool. So let, let's take a let's take a chill moment, right? Let's take a chill moment to kind of evaluate where we are. We are currently um, in a medium village. We'll be looking to upgrade to a large village soon enough. Uh, what was that? No free ox. To work? Where's our... Oh, because our other ox is assigned to the... Okay, cool. Let's make sure we unassign that then. Our other ox is assigned to the farming. So we're going to want to unassign that. So they can help out with construction. Yeah, a lot of... Uh, this is falling, yeah. Just all the tier twos. Apparently we don't have fuel as well. I don't really know why. We have, like, so much firewood. Maybe it's like the firewood guy is just really bad at his job. So what if we do that? Maybe that would help. And I think he takes over. Yeah, then he takes over the, the stall. And I think maybe that will help out a bit more. Like, I think maybe the, the guy in the storehouse can really help supply. And I don't think we need more fuel immediately. Like, we're going to probably have to go back at some point. But, yeah. Yeah, winter has really come and hit us hard. Thanks for uh, the sub, whatever you got given it. Yeah, I mean, we've been gifted so many members this stream. Um, we really have. I think we've been literally gifted over 100 members so far. So big shout out to everybody who's gifted. You guys are insane. Very much do appreciate it. Okay, the saw is, so the saw is important because that is used for uh, the bowery. Which is, which is this, right? No? This one? Yeah, the Fletcher Workshop. Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. So this whole thing is just a Fletcher Workshop now. So you're not necessarily... Oh, okay, it makes so much more sense now. So you're not just like... You know, it's not like a garden. It's not like a garden where you're... Where you're like having vegetables and it's just part of the house. You're literally changing the building into a shop. Okay. Makes sense. I get it now. And then this is a joiner's shop. I get it. So when you upgrade one into a blacksmith, they become a, a blacksmith. Yeah, okay, cool. I get it now. I just thought they had like something in their garden to do it. I kind of don't like the idea though that this is now like here. Like this is like in the middle. But now I know that I can start placing certain houses in certain areas to then kind of go along with that, you know? Good to know. I guess it is still their house, but they don't have capacity either, though. Right? It's not like there's people who live here. So that's probably why we ran out of houses. Because these transformed, removed the housing, and forced another people to a another house. Okay. Cool. Makes sense. Yeah, something like this would be like a great, uh, like, cobbler's workshop or something. Or a, a tailor. Yeah, that'd be good. Our regional wealth is slowly going up as well. Nice. So we're producing more bows. So how many soldiers? We're up to eight soldiers now. Okay, that's good. Still not going to be enough. We're going to still need some spears. So we're going to still need a blacksmith, I think. Yeah, we're going to still definitely need a blacksmith to go and um, get us some spear infantry before we can go clear out this camp. Because this has... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have about 20 dudes. 
Um, I wonder what this would give us, though, if we took this. That'd be nice to look. You get some big bonuses, though. When you clear these camps, you get, like, 200 regional wealth. So you can immediately start doing some crazy stuff. It's very useful. Okay, our mine is now done, which is good. Yeah, I like the idea that our mine is now done. Do we have, like, anything else to, like, build is the question. Oh, we should probably connect up these roads as well again. Like a little bit of a crossroads there. There you go. Roads are connected. We didn't even have, like, a little bit of a marketplace here as well if we wanted. So, cool. So, we, do we just need families now. Not enough cloth. Okay, cool. So we're actually going to probably start running out of clothes. Yeah, so we need to go back to the hunting for more leather, I guess. Uh, and then, yeah, we ri literally don't need another person on this because they're not doing anything in the winter, which is fine, which is fine. Logging camp could probably be relocated as well at some point. We have plenty of houses. We just need families. Yeah, I think we're actually out of leather. But yeah, I mean, getting more meat as well. So we basically want to be like harvesting these wild animals in winter when we don't have any berries. And then as stuff starts to come back, like as we get these back in um, the berries back, then we can obviously utilize that a bit more. I probably wouldn't have built the, the, the join maker if I realized we would have needed more stuff. Is there anything else I want here right now? Like the charcoal burner, we just don't have a family for it. Rise just not that important because we already have perfect fertility. So I don't think we need that. Yeah, I don't think we need anything up here. I think it's going to be the charcoal burner. Like all this stuff is nice. Like the trapper is nice. Like, don't get me wrong. That is pretty nice. You just get passive meat constantly. It's both a house and a job. No longer do anything, but do the job for the workshop. Okay, so it still counts as a, a house. I, okay, yeah. Okay, it's, oh, sorry. Yeah, I must have been on something else then. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, it still is a, is a residence. Sorry, it's because I was on this. So it's still a house, but that is just kind of where they live and work. They're basically a work from home, right? They're basically a, they're basically a work from home family. Beautiful stuff right there. We're up to 10 people now. Okay, 10 extra people. So, we have an extra person. We start getting some iron? Do we need anything right now? Fuel and food is fine. We're going to easily make it through the winter without any trouble. We should. No, we just say that. We should. Uh, we have some bows, which are good. We have some hides still. and We have plenty of leather as well. Uh, we definitely want to keep on making planks for sure. Yeah, 100% still making planks. So what's our next goal? We got our mining pit down. So I think, I think we, yeah, we definitely stick someone over here to mine. We start, we start getting iron in. Iron can be used for all sorts of things, which is really good. And then I guess we look to get a manor house, which does mean we also need stone though. We are out of stones. We're gonna have to come down and collect this, which is pretty easy to do. So if we get our building done, uh, where is it? Is this one right? Yeah. We get a stone cutter's camp. Like here. Get the road out. Cool. And what we can even do is we can then expand off to the clay deposit as well. As we need clay for the tier threes. The tier three buildings require clay uh, tiles. And you also need clay tiles for the upgraded stone church as well. But yeah. This is going to be a priority to get this up and running. But as you can see, we only have... We only have 180 stone here. Once that stone is gone, once we've collected the 180 stone, that's it. It's gone forever. Um, so we're going to have to expand out. Yeah, we'll get the iron. Um, we'll get the iron ore. I mean, I, I don't know what we need to actually make weapons, though. Like, I know, obviously... I know, obviously, we need the blacksmith shop. Which is this. Produce, production of tools... So do we need the iron slabs for this? Or do we just... Yeah, I'm not 100% sure.
Uh, you can add you can add a dedicated livestock to quite a lot of things. Yeah, like. Oh, you can't do it here. Yeah, you can. Like, you can add pretty much anything that requires an ox. You can add a dedicated one to it. Like, anything that, that requires an ox, you can basically set it up for it. Yeah, we're already farming these animals down to extinction. <laughs> You'd love to see it. Uh, you can probably add, like, a little road off here as well, you know, to join in there. Yeah, okay, cool. So, sorry. I think I interrupted myself when I was talking about what our plans are next. So, here is our village. Doesn't look massive right now, but it's going to get there for sure. I think our plans for the next stage of the campaign is we get our iron up, we start making some weapons. And after that, our tavern. Can't find a storage of excess weapon storage? Are we maxed out on our, our storehouse? I think we're fine. Should be fine. Yeah, so get, get, a, get a merchant station up. I think that's going to be pretty important to get the merchants up and running because then we could maybe start getting some ale in to start getting the tavern up and running. And that's going to send our approval through the roof. So, 100%. We get this stone down. Um, we get our iron up and running so we can start making weapons. And we get the, we get the, uh, we get the merchant down and we get our manor house down. So, we might as well just stick these down now anyway. So let's get a trading post. I kind of like the trading post. It's a bit far away, right? But I kind of like that being there. It's kind of like a cool position, even if it does take a while to transport anything. We'll set that there. Uh, and then, yeah, then it's just simply same for our manor house. Question is, where is our manor house going to be? Ooh, I like it up there. I think the manor house being up here, and we have like a little Mott and Bailey going. That sounds bloody beautiful, if you ask me. Yeah, what do we think about that? And we, like, build a nice little, like, uh, Mott and Bailey around it. That's, like, really nicely elevated. At least from our village, right? It's not, like... I mean, even over here, it's perfectly elevated. Yeah. And it can be a bit further away. So, we could, like, build it, like... Again, we can, like, expand this out, like so. I and mean, then have it, like, going up there like that. Be really cool, I think. Like, up on the hill sounds perfect, honestly. And we just have, like, like, we'll build loads more houses down here when we need to. I think that sounds really, really good. We've got a lot of firewood. Could do with some more planks. Yeah, exactly. Imagine not building the manor or a castle on a hilltop. Wouldn't be me, man. Wouldn't be me. Uh, we could also, like... I like connecting these roads out as well, you know. Yeah, we could even build, like, a bunch of housing here. Like, we've got a lot of room to expand. I guess I kind of need to, under, uh, like, decide where a lot of my industry is going. Because I haven't really put down, like, my heavy industry yet. I think food industry can go over here. Like, we'll have, like, our mill... Our mill can maybe be, like, back here, maybe... Too far to defend the corner of your map? I think that's fine. Like, what am I trying to defend, you know? Like, if anything, it's actually not that far away, right? Because the only thing it's far away from is the iron. But wherever I put it, right, it's going to be away from something. And at least here, we defend our village and we defend our, our clay deposit. I guess the iron deposit is a little bit more important, but... I think it looked cooler on the hill. Yeah, you can build a barracks, but I think it has to be near the manor house. There is, like, a garrison post. Uh, cool. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, just more families is what we need. We just need more families right now. Uh, we're busy building the stone, right? Yeah, the stone is number one priority right now. It's January, so we're going we're gonna to have to actually probably end up losing some more people soon as well. As in, like, more people will have to go back to farming soon. That's going to be a necessity soon enough. Cool, we're at 75. Oh, we're like so close to the, the tip. But there's nothing I can really do to boost this. Like at all. We actually have some shields now as well, which is cool. It says we don't have enough like place to put them, but I think that's fine, right? Yeah, I think they're busy working. Uh, beautiful stuff. T 
tier seven now. I think we're getting vegetable. Yeah, we have a lot of food variety, right? Yeah, we have berries, meat, bread, and vegetables. Get your meat here. So fresh, it's practically still mooey. <laughs> Cool, and the trader is down here, gonna get built afterwards as well. Nice. So we should see another family pop in very soon. Because we've we've currently got the high population growth. And it hopefully it stays at Oh, I just went. God damn it. Oh, is it still there for a second? It's like very back and forth. And we lost. Oh, we got no, we got one? Did we get one? No. Yeah, we did, we did. Nice. Up to eleven now. Perfect, cool. We'll let the two families do their thing now. I think I want to get this trader built quickly so we can maybe start importing some barley. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, until we get, like, the, the fields. Like, our first harvest is going to be a massive boon, honestly. As soon as we get our first harvest, that's going to be huge. How's our mining going as well? Yeah, pretty good. Six iron ore so far. Out of interest, we do have enough as well, right? Yeah, we just need planks. Okay, so we can actually start making some weapons soon. Cool. Uh, what about Life of Legion? Yeah, I finished Life of Legion yesterday. Completed it up yesterday. Yeah, a lot. The logging camp. This logging camp is gonna probably move now as well. So I think what we do is we set up a smithy. So I think the smithy can go like here. Just one house with a garden, basically. Yeah, one house with a garden. And this can be the smithy. Is that too big for it? Because I want to put like a... I want to put like the, the other industry buildings around here. Okay, let's just make a, let's just make a separate bit for it. The tannery is going to be here, which is fine. So we can do like that. More houses here. Probably more houses in here. These can be all houses, I think, around the church, maybe. So then, yeah. So then maybe what we do is we have like... Sorry, this is a road, not a house. <laughs> Hmm. I'm really like contemplating where to put it now because this logging camp isn't going to be here We could honestly move the logging camp now like further up here, you know We'll do that. So yeah, let's stick it down here then. Let's stick it down here Oh god, I did not mean to do that. Sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. Demolish. Demolish just a prank. It's just a prank. Kind of like the idea of it being like out here though. Yeah, and that's just one house. Cool. Yeah, let's just... And yeah, we'll upgrade that. So that'll be our next upgrade then. Oh, we're up to 12 people. No, we're up to 11 still. Just someone lost a job because I moved the logging. Yeah. But I don't think we really need... We have like plenty of timber for now as well. So we actually don't need someone on that. We do need someone on the stone cutting camp though, because the sooner we get someone working on this and collecting all this stone, the sooner uh, and we transporting it back, obviously, the sooner we then get our manor house up. <clears throat> Supply is looking good. Happiness is looking good. Um, our, uh, yeah, I, we're getting a lot of iron ore now. They're working hard or hardly working, eh? The children yearn for the mines. So the game live now. Um, it's live for all the YouTubers and press, but it comes out for everybody else in two weeks. Two weeks today, I believe. 26th, if you want to put it down in your calendar. Yeah, the doggy. <laughs> Barking away, someone's at the door. Trust me, she's not a vicious dog at all. Beautiful stuff. 
Cool. I feel like the village is going really well. What do you guys think of the village so far? I feel like it looks way smaller. Like we need more like dense housing or something, you know? I feel like it looks quite small. But we also desperately need like a house here as well. Cool. So some more houses being built. We have plenty of wood. The uh, lumber is being brought. Sorry, the logging camp is being rebuilt over there. Just to kind of free up all this space for industry. That's going to be our smithy. And then we'll have like... Uh, yeah, we'll have more of an industry area over here. You know, the game really is ultra relaxing. Especially when you're like just kind of just, you know, hanging down. I imagine sitting down, smoking a blunt. And just like doing this. You could literally get lost forever, you know. Go in everybody's back garden. Do you even, can you jump? No, you can't jump. What happens if you can you just not, you not get over this, I wonder? Yeah, okay, you just get stuck. Ah, uh, look at our miner reporting his goods. Good on you, sir. Oh, where's the ox? Sorry, sir. Out of the way, out of the way. Am I friends with Apollo? Yeah, of course. Dude working on the tannery with the leather. Ooh, we actually might need to get someone off the, the hunting as well now. New house being built as well. The marketplace looking nice, looking nice. Oh my god, you guys see that? Look at that. There's a sinkhole under the under the marketplace. <laughs> yeah, got some good setup right here. Hello, my lady. Oh, sorry. Making more bows for the war effort. How's our army looking now? Eleven bows. We also have eleven shields. Okay, we need to get this smithy up and running. I'm not sure, though, if the iron ore needs to be made into... Does anybody know? I mean, it's obviously I have the game and you guys don't, but... Do we need to make iron slabs to make weapons? I assume so, right? I assume we'll need iron slabs for, for that. So that's where it's going to be. So where are we having this? I guess we could go, like... Like, do something like that, and then, like, have this kind of, like, break off. Kind of go, like, around. And then have our industry here. Yeah, I like that. So then we'll make our, some, our sorry, our bloomery. And then, like, pop in this corner. I kind of want it further away, because obviously it's going to stink. Something like that. Cool. Again, it's a little bit further away from the storehouse, but I think it'll be fine. It should say what you need to craft the spear. I don't think it does because you have to make a blacksmith. I guess you could... Yeah, and there's no way to, like, keep that. They, the game has a really good encyclopedia. Can't remember how you get there like this. Yeah, the game has an amazing encyclopedia of everything. So I guess we can look, right? Um, military. Is it, like, a weapon? Armor? Range attacks? No. I guess it would be... Upgrades? Um, yeah, this is really nice, by the way. Am I blind? So I imagine this tells you, right? I'm just looking for, like... The blacksmith, but I can't find him. Oh, blacksmith is probably here? Oh, it's not alphabetical either. God damn it. Um, blacksmith, 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 blacksmith. We'll find out. <laughs> it's fine. I probably went through it. It's fine. We'll find out together. I'm getting too old. I know my eyes. My eyes are dropping. It's fine. To be fair, we just need this Berger plot built, upgraded, and then we'll be good. We actually have quite a few buildings on the go now. 
So we'll let them finish up. Also, we are we have someone down here working. Nice. Cool. So they're collecting stone now. Once they collect enough stone, we can get our manor house down, which is gonna be really big. That's gonna allow us to start gaining some influence, which will then in turn allow us to maybe start claiming some more territory. Fucking bandits, man. Hate them. Are we up to our oh, we're almost okay? We've almost hunted this to extinction again. So I'll, I'll basically let them chill for a bit. And yeah. We're at very good approval again, which is nice. As soon as we get the tavern up, our approval is going to go up to like 100. It's going to be beautiful. And I think we have the food and everything else to really chill. Did the winter kill my thing? I think it might have. Another bandit camp as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's two bandit camps here. Okay, we got some scrapping ahead of us, boys. It's fine. I appreciate you guys telling me. We'll figure it out just the old-fashioned way, okay? Who needs pre-planning when you can just just send it, you know? How much wood do we have? We only have seven timber left as well. Yeah, we need to make sure we get this logging camp up and running again. Okay, so that burger plot is done. We're going to need to upgrade it. But we don't actually have enough. We actually don't have enough wood. Wow. Or oh, no, it's because they haven't filled up on this yet. Okay. A new message has arrived for us. We've received reports of a band of raiders roaming nearby land. Should we track them? I guess we will. So we have to prepare. This, this is it. Prepare for the attack. We have 365 days. We have a year left in the game, which is basically what we've just played to prepare for an attack. Check upgrade tab. Yeah, I know we have one. I just don't know what we spend it on, you know? I mean, I feel like charcoal burners would be good. We just don't really have the jobs for it, but we're going too soon, I think. As soon as we get the ale up and running. The trade route one is really nice as well, though. Food cart, and that's actually really nice on markets as well. That's just basically like unlimited fuel. Is that bad? Sounds bad. No, the trade logistics is great. Cause so, do we actually have it unlocked yet? Has it been built? Uh, is it built? No, no, it hasn't been built yet. Almost been built. Okay, yeah. So you'll you'll see once this is built. I'll, I'll, I'll wait until to show you guys. It might be a good way to do it. How long does the game last? Um, uh, how long have I been playing my Let's Play? I don't know. I think you're gonna get like a good 15, 15 hours, like twenty hours out of each game, out of each run through. I think. Oh, we got another family as well. Good, we're up to 15 as well. We're waiting for this to be upgraded. Yeah, we definitely need this to be done. Is the game out yet? Beta testing or something? Yeah, so it comes out in two weeks time for everybody else. I have it a bit earlier because I'm a YouTuber. So, perks of a job, I guess. So I'm able to bring you guys content. Obviously. Okay, cool. So I think now, can we afford? Do we have enough planks as a is a thing as well? Oh god, we're, we're like pumping families now as well. Yeah, cool. We're pumping families. I love to see it. It's gonna hurt my food and my fuel. Yeah, I have to be a little bit careful there. Cool. So with regards to our manor house, do we we don't have enough planks yet? Okay. What are we else be spending our planks on though? And we have a permanent thing here, so they should be working hard. What are you doing? You're waiting. Waiting for what? No, I just want you to. Uh, I just want you to work here. I'm waiting for a guide to come. Okay, he's transporting wood. Okay, cool. So we need planks now. We get. We need 20 planks, and then we'll be able to. Do it. We're getting lots of stone, which is good. Yeah, I, I want to make sure that this is being worked because it's really important that it is. That's now been done. So let's get some more logs and we'll go. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Everybody chill. Yeah, so it literally did reset all of my progress here. I feel like, yeah, that's annoying. I guess crops shouldn't last for winter, but you know, I don't know. Okay, let's let's resort this out. We have plenty of food, right? We only have five months worth of food? Fuck. We're basically at the end of this now as well. Yeah, we have no more wild animals, so... 
Get you off of that. We have someone on the granary working the shop, which is fine. Storage is fine there. We have nobody making fuel either right now. We have actually have several months worth of fuel. What else do we have people working on as well? Yeah, logging. And that's it? Really? Oh, yeah, I mean, two people here, yeah. And I'll work on the wheat first. So, yeah, work on the wheat first. I want that field beautifully done. We're at 10 wealth as well. So as soon as this is upgraded, we can then make it into a blacksmith. We just need a little bit more, a uh, little bit of a higher level. Yeah, we need more food from this place. Shouldn't be too difficult. I'm also just going to clear all these shrubs. I feel like it makes my, my place look really messy. There you go. Clean it up nicely. Give us some good areas to build. Adds a little bit of extra flavor, I guess, but... I want to be able to see what I'm making. Trade for food? Yeah, we could do that as well. Our trade post is being built. It is being built. I just need more people on that farm. Oh, we also probably don't need anybody on the iron anymore. Because honestly, we've got plenty of iron here now. That's going to sort us for a while. So we can bring that family back. And the stone? Like, how much stone do we have now? Yeah, we have like 30 stones. We could probably... Bring that back as well. You finally found where you turn on gifted subs. You you click, sorry, you hear, uh, maybe you asked and I missed it, my bad. Uh, you can click the, the gifted members in, in the top of chat and click allow gifting. It might not work. Um, it might not work when, if you have, if you're on mobile, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, cool, so now we've got a trade route going. Uh, disconnected from major trade routes. Oh, this, really? Where's its... No? There you go. Sorted. Cool. Connected. Yeah, so now we can do a trade route. We have a little bit of regional wealth. Um, and you can actually, like, import stuff. So, for example, I'd like to import barley. Um, and that would cost me 12. I don't really have 12, so I can't do that yet. I want to save my money. And you can also establish a trade route, which means it will happen frequently. So, this, this is more of just like a, oh, yeah, I would like 10 barley, for example. And that would sort it out. Um, whereas if you wanted this to be a regular thing that happened constantly, you'd want to then establish a trade route, which also costs you more money. Yeah, barley is expensive right now, man. Do we have anything that we could sell to gain a little bit of money? I mean, I guess iron ore wouldn't be the worst thing to sell a little bit, you know of? Uh, that's onto materials, right? Like, we have a lot of it, and it's selling for free, like... So maybe try and export a little bit of it. Uh, my desired surplus is like, I don't know, like 20? Let's see if we can make some money. Hey, how's it going, Tengil? Welcome. Welcome back, Cole, as well. Black Wolf, how you doing? Welcome, 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 Zio. How's it going, Alex, as well? I should check out Nordland. That's like the uh, Nordland's, uh, the other game published by Hooded Horse, right? That's like Rimworld, but medieval. Collect. Uh, oh, God, as well. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, assign. we need an ox assigned immediately there. God, we just need too much stuff. We also need another ox, honestly. How's our army looking? We have 12 shields. We just need that blacksmith going. Which means we just need this upgraded so we can get the blacksmith. Hopefully, we'll start seeing our regional wealth bump in. Four families now. Good. Cool. We're up to... Uh, we might need some more houses soon as well. I'm literally going to probably go up to four people on our farm. I do not want to miss out on this farm at all. Nice, you found it. Awesome. Yeah, normally you should be able to just click the, uh, the gifted membership and allow there. But yeah, it's always worth checking out. Our berries are growing back as well, which is good. So that's more food. Yeah, we don't need anybody on stone now. Cool, we're up to 13 families. So we can have two more living spaces. Uh, before we need to kind of sort that out. Boom. Okay. Upgrade this and then this is going to be our blacksmith. We're going to start making weapons like immediately. Because we have, we have a good amount of bows. Like 13 bows is nice. If I just get like 10 infantry, I think we then go and get stuck into some combat. We might lose some people, but I think it'll be funny. Also, we do only have 348 days as well. So we do need to get on it a little bit. 
But yeah, that would give us lots of regional wealth, which would then allow us to really build up. You did manage to find it? Awesome. Now you just need someone to gift some members and then you have a good chance of doing it. So how the gifted members work on YouTube as well, if you're just interested in general, is the more that you're in the channel, the more likely you are to be at the top of the list to be gifted a membership is basically how it works. So it basically rewards the people who are, you know, active in the channel and talking and stuff, which is which is a cool way of doing it. Though we already have 450 members, so chances are, regardless of if you're just popping in, you might actually just get gifted a membership. <laughs> nice, our planks are pumping still. Our planks are pumping. I'm a little bit scared, actually, that we don't have... Um... Yeah, you're coming over to help plow. I'm a little bit nervous that we actually won't have enough... Um, that we actually won't have enough oxes to kind of build still as well, you know? Not that we actually have anything that we need to build right now, but... Yeah, what do we actually have that's building? Nothing, right? Yeah, nothing on these. A trade post is non-existent. Um, we're up great. Oh, we're building this, which is important, yeah. Building that, which is important, okay. Oh, okay. I also, I guess, kind of guess why you'd want to have a bigger settlement when you upgrade them. So, for example, you'd probably want something like this, which is my Fletcher shop, to be a tier two, like be a settlement that can actually expand to more people. Because by doing that, then you have, I assume you have two families working on bows instead of having to build another bowery, you know? But that's actually quite a cool way of, of, of looking at it. I like that. That's interesting. That's actually a really good tip as well. Hey, thank you so much for the 15 months, Black Wolf. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Really helps out the channel. Thank you so much, man. Says I'm lying. I've been here every stream and I totally didn't gift all of those. <laughs> Well, I said Swedish could gift this, and I don't think he said anything. If you're still here, Swedish, you're more than welcome to gift this uh, name this town. If Swedish isn't here, then Jake can... I think Jake's the next biggest gifter, so Jake can name it if Swedish isn't here anymore. We have a lot of bows in surplus as well. Yeah, we have a lot of bows just hiding. Of course, the Berger plot is expanding, and then we're going to get our smithy up and running. I'm looking forward to that. We have someone... Yeah, that's going to be a nice... Our plowing is going. They're sowing that sealed nice as well. Are we still fellowing this? Yeah, we're still fellowing this. I need a barley as well really badly. How do you get more oxes? You buy them. Um, you buy them with regional wealth. So, yeah, you basically go over here. You need 20 and then you can do that. You can also upgrade them to have more, more capacity as well. We just desperately need more planks, man. I don't understand how it's taken so long, but I guess we are spending a lot of the planks to upgrade as well. Um, yeah, let's do that, and then immediately let's get rid of that so they can help, because I don't think we're able to build right now because we don't have the oxes. Why are you guys lacking approval because of fuel? I don't understand what's happening with the fuel, man. Like, I have 92%. You guys should be fine. Food is fine. Clothing's a little bit because some places require more clothing. It's the only problem. Cool, yeah. Now the ox is back there. Hey, Gambino. He's also a six months, man. Half a year. That's beautiful. I'm doing great, thank you. Chilling, enjoying Man Lords, having a blast. Fuckers! Leather and also tools. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with these bandits, man. We need to we need to get this blacksmith up and running, and we need to go and okay. Also, as well, the rest of you is gonna be a real big help. We just need the planks. We just need the planks. Are you guys selling any? Do I need someone here? Does anybody know if we need anyone here? To like actually commit this export that we're trying to do. Or do we actually need someone like a trader here? I mean, we'll have a look. I'll stick someone there and we'll see if that helps. Uh, we could also obviously get these berries as well. It's probably a good idea. Yeah. I think mean, getting these berries is probably pretty important. 
Uh, yeah, it's fine. If Swedish isn't here and Jake wants to give it to someone, he's more than welcome to. But it better be a good name, otherwise... Whoa. Yeah, we could really do with an addition to our settlement. Cool, so the blacksmith is going to be done very soon, which is going to be great. And yeah, we just need planks. Just need planks. Okay, you've got all your stuff now, so we will assign the ball to that. We're plowing the fields like nobody's business, and they're sowing as well. The good thing is they're sowing early, so that the crops can grow in summer. I'm kind of fine that we have this many, this many families doing this, because I think we need it. It's a shame, really, we can't have two. Like, two people here, you know? Yeah, you guys are producing planks. We just need planks. When it be called Jackie Fish Bamenberg. Sure thing. I will honor your words, Alex. There you go. Boom. Done. <laughs> the glorious town. Uh, yeah, we're actually running a little bit low on fuel as well. I need more families, goddammit. Uh, I say that. We have 74 there. Lots of iron, lots of stone. Shields, bows. Plow the fields like a wench. Literally, a wench is plowing the fields right now. She's going to be getting that dress filthy. I'm not going to lie. I can't imagine it was easy back in the day to... I can't imagine back in the day it was easy to, to wash your clothes. Do it the old-fashioned way. So at least, at least this is going to be fully sewed and growing. I'm hoping we're going to get both of these done, and this is still being fellowed. Our trade made money perfect. We're up to 15 now. That's awesome. So yeah, we sold a little bit of iron, I guess. Where is our iron under? Yeah, 33. And we, we can still sell some more as well. Cool. So yeah, I wonder, I wonder if we do need someone here to, to facilitate the trade, I wonder. That would make sense, right? Okay, we're aiming for this to be done, and then we can get our blacksmith up. Cool. So, yeah, let's make this into a blacksmith. Can we not? Oh, we need more planks. God damn it. Planks, planks, planks. They literally have, like, an assigned thing as well, so you'd assume they'd do it quite quickly. Wash clothes in the river. Yeah, I mean, I know what else they put in the river, so it's going to be pretty stinky. Come on, give us another family, please. Another family would be great right now. Uh, so whilst we're not building anything right now, right? There's no upgrades needed. Not building anything. We have enough houses. So let's take another person on the saw pit. Because we just need planks. No assigned axe. What's the other orcs doing? Oh, because he doesn't have anybody doing it? Nobody's, like, moving the ox, so it's, like, lost. Okay, so it does need someone on it. Interesting. So even though I want two people here... Yeah, we're going to need that. Okay. Go and grab the ox. We need someone on the ox to bring it here. And then take it back. Okay. We have another point here as well. Uh, let's maybe get a charcoal burner. I like the idea of that. Okay, make us some more wood, please. How's our logging going as well? How is our timber? Yeah, we have 19 timber back here. We don't need someone, we don't need a family on this anymore. Uh, and nice, we just got another one as well. So we're actually, oh, god damn it, we're at our limit again. We can upgrade this for sure. Upgrade that. Two people on the saw pit to just make it go quicker. Upgrade that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I feel like two families just, like, arrived out of nowhere there. I'm not, not going to complain, right? I feel like we went up to our limit, like, really quickly. How's our fields looking? Okay, the barley is almost done. This is almost fully sowed as well. And it's May. Oh, nice. I saw another plus three, boys. Oh, my God. We're at 50 gold. Boys. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Well, it is ox o'clock, I think. Um, let's get a little stable down here, then. It's going to cost us planks, which we're trying to save up for, but... Let's get another ox, and then let's uh, upgrade back to a stable so we can hold it. Let's also start importing a little bit of... Uh, let's import a little bit of barley, right? Import, and I guess it's two? It's going to cost us a lot of money, right, to import that barley, but... That, that just lets us obviously get the ale house up and running. And these battles yet? Yeah, no, we're, we're very close, though, I think. We're going to go smash the bandit camps pretty soon. I just need to get a blacksmith up and running so we can produce some spears. We have shields. We have bows. We just need spears now. So I think we'll be fighting very, very soon. Yeah, very close to making spears now, I think. Uh, how are we doing on the granary? Cool. The berries are being harvested, which is good. Our iron. We need to make sure that we don't run out of iron either. Yeah, we might need to stick someone back on iron soon as well. Uh, the thing is, though, as soon as all these fields are, like, sorted, we're going to be, like, really nice on on resources. That's, that's my ox turning up as well. Beautiful, my new ox. Okay, that means we can have one dedicated to building, one dedicated to plowing, like your boy dedicated to plowing. <laughs> and one dedicated to building. Because right now, I don't think we can build because we literally have not... We don't have an ox free. Planks are popping off now, though. Yeah, small stable is now built. Good, good, good. It actually looks really cool as well. Like, fully upgraded. So it goes from, like, a hitching post to now an actual stable. And then as soon as this is upgraded, to have more families... Yeah, and we've got high population growth as well. Like, people are bussing. I'm not sure if there's like a population growth above this, but yeah, we're, we're going we're to start to really explode now, I think. Like, pe people are unhappy, but again, it's not really my fault. I can't really help the tier twos. Uh, no, we want to save some money, right? I mean, to be fair, though, getting like hides passively coming in wouldn't be bad. Getting eggs coming in is a different food type. Because having goats would be would be quite nice for just like in general. We have the money. Like thanks, thankfully selling all of that iron made us a lot of cash. And we'd still have enough for our we still have enough. We just need five, right, for Yeah, for the the uh, the, the the spear maker. And obviously the planks. Yeah, so let's Maybe start getting some goats. Do we have another spare plot? We do here. Uh, or oh, eggs. Chicken, eggs, eggs. Egg. I think, I feel like our clove, our leather is fine, though. Yeah, we have a lot of leather. Not many hides, but plenty of leather. Let's get some chickens in. It's a little bit cheaper as well. Uh, nice. So this is like our food plot. Yeah, cool. I mean, you're about to upgrade that to have more people here, which is going to be perfect. How are we looking at the logs? Only 10 timber now. So that expansion that we just did really did hamper us a little because uh, we're, we're we're soaring like crazy here yeah with our planks yeah so cool we, we i think we're very close to fighting some battles now so the next kind of goal um as they upgrade as well right yeah they've upgraded here which is cool and we can get a smithy a blacksmith workshop boom beautiful stuff here i'm gonna make that a priority as well so they're gonna make that into a, a thing and then the next set of planks we get the next 20 planks we get we then make into a manor house immediately and then that gives us a retinue. And then by the time we, the time that's built, we should have it like at least like, I don't know, 10 spears. So we'll have 15 archers, 10 spears, and some really good actual proper infantry. And we'll be ready to kick some ass, I think. Our regional wealth's looking good. It's not a bad idea as well. Um, yeah, we need to make sure we get these built also, the, the upgrades, because families, we're, we're lacking buildings again. We need some more houses then, ASAP. Uh, just some cheap houses will be fine, I think. Not enough room? I don't think. Yeah, not enough room, I think. Get some two houses more built to help us out with population. 
God damn, we need to deal with them bandits, man. They're stealing all my goods. I think as well we're going to be running a little bit low on on supplies as well. Yeah, we need we need a family back on the logging now. How's the sewing? That's fully sewed. That's fully sewed. Oh baby, I mean it's summer now. That's fully sewed as well, boys. Yeah, that's is fully sewed. Basically, ninety-seven percent. Yes, our harvest is going to be bussing. Look at that, 127 grain. Oh, that is going to be insane. That is going to be juicy. Um, did we get some barley as well out of interest? Sorry, did I get my barley? Um, I haven't. No, I haven't. Oh, because we don't have any money now. I spent all my money, yeah. What did I spend my money on? So we built uh, we built a blacksmith here, who is now able to start making us some spears. Okay, so we need iron slabs and we need planks. God damn planks, man. Swords, though, is a little bit cheaper. Yeah, but we have someone in the bloom. We don't. Have, okay, so we need someone in the bloomery now as well. Where can we take someone off? Um, two people here is probably a bit too much. Yeah, because I don't. Oh, we need someone there though. Food is important. But also, we're gonna need more fuel as well as always we just need more families oh but we don't need as many people here now yeah boom, 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 boom. i'll leave one family on just in case that gives us bu a bunch more okay cool we can take someone back on this now uh one person back on logging storehouses busting yeah we have 33 bows in, in in reserve as well we're gonna probably need to upgrade this soon saw pit needs to pop off a bit more um and I guess someone back on iron, or like iron mining, because that made us good money, right? That made us so much money. And yeah, we sorry, we also built the chicken as well for more eggs. And I think we're gonna, we're, I think we're honestly gonna need someone back on wood cutting, because now the bloomery is gonna start producing us. Um, is gonna is gonna need fuel for that, so I think we're gonna need someone else back on wood cutting. So we'll do that. Luckily, we literally just got another family member as well. Oh, yeah. And we also got an ox as well. Yeah, that's a good... Yeah, thank you. I forgot about that. We also got an ox. I feel like we also need more houses, like, already. Oh, we, we are building more houses. Okay, cool. Because, yeah, we had... Oh, we, we also now don't need an ox on this anymore. We're not plowing anymore. We're not harvesting. So we don't need an ox dedicated to this yet either. So we can bring that one back. Um... Fire still finished. Nice. So that's more wood. Yeah, we've got lots of food variety. More buildings done for more families. Uh, we honestly just... Oh, we got a barley. Okay, we got barley. Boys, everybody chill. We got some barley. Everybody chill out. So we can get the malt house now. We need wood. We can get the malt house now. We just spent so much. We literally just spent like half of our money on this. On one barley. But it's going to allow the boys to start getting cooked. So everybody chill. We're now going to be able to get the... Yeah, we're now going to be able to get... Uh, hopefully some stuff in the tavern. We just need enough, uh, enough wood now. Yeah, we need a little bit more wood. So I guess I could just put two people on that for now. I know we are building still, right? Yeah, we are still building. Okay, I mean, I feel like we're in a good spot right now. Like, we have, you know, we have people doing what we have people doing. Our regional wealth is good. The happiness is, is up there enough. We're making our, our houses. We've got three more houses now, which is good. Like, the village is looking good, I feel like. We're a little marketplace. I want to mine some more houses, like, here. The blacksmith is up and running, right? Hopefully, he can produce what he needs to produce as well. More money as well. Cool, we actually have it now. Cool. So let's give a mole house down. Where is the mole house going to go? What type of building is that, right? I mean, I guess it should go, like, next to the... I guess it should go next to the pub, right? That's where it should go? Uh, you should take out one of the bandit camps before they attack you when time runs out. We are. That is literally our plan. We just need to get... We, we are now... Because we're, we're playing on the hard difficulty, J-Dubs, um, we didn't get the free 20 weapons... The 20 spears and the 20 shields. You don't get that in the hard difficulty. 
So we're having to rely on producing it ourselves. So we've, we've got our archers going. We have we have enough bows to chill for now. Um, yeah, we have enough bows. Oh, I wonder... Okay, can we, like, cease production on this, by the way? Is there any way we can tell these guys to stop? Because these guys are eating all of my... Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah, pause this building. That! God damn it! Thank you, J-Dubs, for making me think about this. The reason we have no goddamn planks is because they keep on making, like, a million bows with them. That's why. And obviously, they use it for the shields as well. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now for the reason why we can't keep up with demand. So we'll pause this. We don't need any more bows. We don't need any more bows. Um, because we have, we have, like, so many in stockpile. Right, yeah, we have 20. And to be fair, we probably don't need many shields. And look at that, our militia, our spears are starting to be made! In our, in our smithy, do we see him smithing? Uh, we don't see him in there at the moment. I guess he's doing something, maybe. That's dope. Uh, cool, do we have enough wood, um... For our mole house, we do. Did we say we wanted it by the... I kind of feel like it's kind of cool to have it, like... You know. By 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 the brewery. It's fresh. Let's do something like that. Something like that. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get that built. Um, and then we'll use our one barley that we... Oh, did we just get another one? Oh, good. I think we just got another one, right? Okay, that's, an, that's enough trading barley, I think. Because we're going we're gonna to get a lot. This should be enough to make enough beer... Cool, no more trading there. Um, do we have an excess of anything else that we'd want to sell? Just iron, really, right? Um, how are we looking fuel-wise? We are running out of firewood as well. But that's the reason why we put someone back here to work on that. Okay, I bet you we get so... Now that we're no longer... Yeah, now that we're no longer making like every all the, all the stuff from the planks, I bet you we go up so quickly. And to be fair, we could probably pause this as well. The joiner shop. Because that's just going to, yeah, save so many planks. Yeah, God. That makes so much more sense now, man. Can we see the big map on the walk through the town? I'll show you the big map first. So this is obviously everything. Uh, we're going to go clear out these, these brigands, I think, pretty soon. That is our literal next goal. I think when I have my retinue and I have about 20 militia with my bowmen, we'll have more than enough to kill them. We have to be careful, though, because raiders are near. You know, we only have 200 days. Yeah, we're harvesting this season as well, for sure. Um, it hasn't fully grown yet. So our crops over here have. Uh, yeah, we should we should at least get some of this. I, I assume. Yeah, we need to get to 15% and then we can harvest whatever we get. So the reason why it doesn't show any yield yet is because... It, you can't harvest below 15%, which is actually a really good tip of why just not bothering the first year, actually. Yeah, that's a really good point. Uh, but yeah, these are going to get above 15% in the, in the rest of the months, right? We've got July and August, so there's still two more months for these to grow. So we'll get something from these. Maybe these, maybe like three things are a bit too ambitious at the beginning. Can the map get bigger? I don't believe so, no. Do not believe so. Um, how are you guys looking as well? Yeah, making your spears, which is good. I want to see him. Like, there he is. He's going to his, his, his workshop. Oh, no, he's not. He's walking for it. Okay. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. Working away, making us spears, weapons for the, the cause. Oh, my God. We have 54 war bows and 34 large shields in stockpile. We could maybe sell. Oh, we could sell some. That's a good way to make money. No. Uh, can we sell these weapons? And then... They don't sell for a lot. Route needed. Ah, okay. So we actually ha we actually need a route for these because what, they're major trades, not minor. Okay. Which is why that's be a good reason to pick up the, the cheaper trades. Okay, good to know though. But I think we'll try and maybe sell... I think maybe we'll try and sell some of that. Because that'll make us a lot of money. Um, that'll make us a lot of money. How's the bloomery doing as well? Busy just way making iron slabs, right? Yeah. Iron slabs, fuel. Just need them planks, man. But yeah, we've now paused. Yeah, God, I, I'm so glad I realized that, man. Pause. Temporary hold all construction and work-related tasks. Is that That's not just for family. Yeah, they're just waiting. Cool. 
It's sad that I just don't get these families back, but it's fine. Cool. Yeah, the map's pretty big. And, and the thing is as well, so one of the credits is it does, like, all these resources change. Uh, whenever you start a new game, you spawn somewhere different whenever you start a new game. And, like, the rich quality of certain resources also change when you start a new game. So all of that stuff is different. I would still like more maps, though, you know? Like, another another map would be really nice. Um, another couple maps would be really nice for sure. I imagine modders will probably dive into it. You know, I doubt mod tools will be out anytime soon, but I imagine modders will really dive into it um, and get stuck in. Come on, this better grow enough. Yeah, it's saying we're not going to get any barley from this yield. Estimated left. I don't know why. Maybe maybe this takes longer to, to work? Yeah, maybe this takes longer to work. I don't know. As long as I get my grain, I don't care. Is the malt house built yet? Yeah, it's not. Okay, get this malt house built, please. Yeah, they're building it now. Because then we can start getting some alcohol. I don't want to have to rely on just, like, spawning in stuff. Because, yeah, we have enough food, but we don't have a lot of fuel. I mean, they are chopping away, so... Uh, a new family as well has just arrived. It's good. They're, they're literally perfect timing to work for Malt House. Yeah, it'd be nice if there was like a random generated map tool. That'd be really cool, honestly. And as soon as these berries are up, we can then switch over from that. The hunting camp is also back up and running as well. So if we need hunting from there, the mines are being harvested nicely. And I think we're constantly setting stuff on the mines as well. The weapons are being produced. How's our army looking? Up to seven, yeah. So I think a little bit longer, and then we then we march to war. We will 100% fight some battles before the stream's up. That is for sure. We've got our stalls as well, popping off. We've got a lot. I don't know why this store doesn't get any of its, like, fuel. Enough fuel on the marketplace store, but we do. We do. <laughs> I promise you, we do. Uh, more families as well. Cool, cool, cool. Let's finish up the malt house. Nice. Big nice. It's really nice. Cool. So that's upgraded now. So we'll stick a family on there. Immediately start using that barley. Uh, yeah, immediately go get the barley from the trader. Have we lost it? Where, where did it go? Oh my god, did getting rid of that trade get rid of it? No, it better not have. I assume someone just took it. To my granary. No? Oh my god. Did we just lose that? Please say you have it. For the love of god, we need alcohol. They are, okay, yeah, they do have it. Oh, it's probably my storehouse, maybe? And then... Do we just need... It? We just need that, right? We don't need anything else to make... To make the booze. And then the tavern just... How do we make ale, then? Oh, yeah, the... Oh, we need someone... Okay, we need someone's garden to do that. Yeah, we need to make someone into a brewery. Okay, makes sense. Got it on it. Yeah, a manor house needs to go up. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to get a manor house down so we can fight some battles, but it's planks, man. Planks are really, like, holding me back. I have two people on it. Maybe we need, like, another saw pit. We have two carpenters working hard, waiting for more stuff to arrive. I need, like, a constant train of... Of resources here. The berries are almost done as well. Yeah, I think this, this family has already done everything it can. Okay, and then we can upgrade. Yeah, we basically need to make a ale house, which means we need more planks, which means we can't get a manor house. But I think doing this, like having people able to drink would make them really happy. Yeah, one house if a family arrives. We should probably build some more as well. Let me know. Something like that. Just like basic housing. Nothing crazy. That's all they need. We'll get them down as well. Cool. That should, that should help out a little bit. Um, and also it gives me more soldiers as well. Right, yeah. Is that 18? That is 18. Nice. So we can actually stop production on our, on our uh, blacksmith soon as well. 
And I think, honestly, we save up a bit of money and we start selling these bows. Like, we have a lot of bows sitting. And also, that is also consuming our planks as well. Yeah, family literally did just join in there as you said that. So, hopefully, they'll get to work. That's so funny. We literally just used our barley that quickly. How's our harvesting looking? Yeah, I mean, that's a decent... Yeah, okay, there you go. Cool, we got some growth now. We're going to get enough barley. Yeah, this is fine. The flax could be better, but it's fine, I think. Cool, so all our, far our farms are popping off. I do probably recommend probably not going for all three things, though. I think on your first year, you probably just go with, like, wheat and barley, and that's enough. People are a bit pissed because they don't have entertainment. Don't worry, boys. The beer is coming. I tr trust me, the beer is coming. We'll be partying soon enough. We'll be partying soon enough. Uh, cool, we can get someone off of that now. And realistically, though, we should go back on the hunting. I don't like letting the animals... The animals linger for too long. Um, what do we do? What do you guys think? Do, would we... What's better for us right now? I'll let you guys decide in chat. Do we... Get, spend our planks to get the brewery down first? Or do we rush towards the manor so we can fight some battles? What do you guys think? Why can't these guys recruit? Oh, we're literally missing people as well. That's also something we're missing is like actual having like people. And how much is it? Yeah, it's really expensive to sell the war bows, right? That would give us so much money. Trading would be juicy. Do we have any uh, any iron left around now as well? No, iron's, iron's being used by a lot of things. Okay. You guys want the mana so we can see a battle? Okay, cool. I mean, to be fair, though, like, as soon as the mana's up, we have nothing else to really spend our planks on. Okay, so on because of that as well, I'll also pause the blacksmith as well. I'll pause the blacksmith so there is nothing. There should be nothing, right? There should be nothing consuming my planks now. And that should allow us to get there a little bit quicker. And we'll get our mana house up here. It's like a perfect position on this hill. It is quite far away, though. Like here, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, the bandits have stole my... I stole 10 iron ore! Fuckers. Oh my god, yeah, we need to deal with them. To be fair, we could probably go now. Kind of feel like I'm a little bit scared. Like, there's just no reason not to wait for the manor house. I don't want to lose people, and then we obviously need to then start. There you go, up to uh, that should be another person on either side. Yeah, up to 2020. But to be fair, I could probably go now, but let's just better safe than sorry, right? We're, we're very close to now that we have no one stealing our planks 24 7. We're actually producing very quickly. Uh, is there anywhere, anything else we need? Yeah, we probably need some more tools. I, mean, I don't know what tools are used for, really. Don't need anybody on this anymore? No. So let's make sure we get some more iron on the go. Oh, we also need clay. Yeah, let's get the rest of these stones uh, taken up. And it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to build another mine down here and start getting some clay in. Because that is going to be something we need. Uh, it is also almost harvesting season as well, so we're going to have to kind of cancel some jobs soon as well. Um, so we'll get that being built as well. We'll get a road. Uh, off there, yeah. Um, cool. Har we, we kill the animals so quickly, man. We really do. But we need it. Yeah, I need a three months worth of fuel. Do I need to pluck another person on this? Maybe. Maybe we do. Our storehouse is looking pretty full as well. Look at all the, the war bows we have, man. We have, we have so many firewood stalls. I need people working here rather than selling. 20 families now, which is good. Are we there yet? Okay, almost. I think our next, our next delivery of... Uh, yeah, okay, we actually have enough, so we just need these guys to arrive. Um, yeah, they're here to work. Another bandit camp as well. Oh, damn it. Okay, that should be it, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Let's place this mana hat. Let's place this mana down and let's get in some battles. So, lay mana camp. Uh, I kind of want to just, like, here. Like, is that fine, do you guys think? I think so. Like, I, I, would, I would actually probably prefer it, like, further up the hill, but that's, like, on the... On the top of it, so like here. Yeah, 
boom. Okay, cool. So we uh, we now have our house down, which is good. We're going to commit to it. So what you can do is you can so we'll commit to that just so it's down and people start moving. But yeah, okay. We have to wait for it to be built. Uh, we'll make this our, our number one priority as well because it's going to take quite a few families to do. We can build like a bit of a road going down. Off the hill. And connect in there. And we can even end up building like some more like buildings as well. Like we'll do something like that. Or we can even build some like more houses in here and stuff like that. That'd be cool, I think. Cool. So our next, so what we'll also do is we'll probably just go into one person on the saw pit now. We still need the planks. But it's not the, you know, it's not the most important thing right now. Okay, we have two people on the iron now, which we could go down to one, honestly, just to, like, produce more. Uh, the animals are still there. Yeah, we've got someone on the stone, because more stone. It's just collect it's like, once we collect all this stone, it's just collected, which is nice. Yeah, just collect, like, 50 more, and then we can leave it for now. Um... Do that. That's fine. You're fine. We have two families now. So two families will be building up this manor house. Uh, which is kind of like in the forest right now. So we're going to need to chop that down. Cool. This is going to be juicy, right? This is going to be really good when we have this. We'll then have, yeah, a lot of stuff. And our regional wealth is getting up there as well. Now the family immediately gets stuck on the... Yeah, immediately gets stuck into producing that. Problem is though, like the thing to keep in mind is like the more... Oh yeah, we need to get the charcoal burners down as well. Let's do that because... As you can see, fuel is actually kind of a problem, and we are coming into winter. Uh, okay, cool. So this one family has come out here to harvest. It's not really the best yield, but it's good enough. I think what we'll do... Okay, cool. Interesting. So are they harvesting this? They are, right? Yeah, they're harvesting what they can. I think what we might do is... Yeah, they are harvesting. Cool. That's really nice. Let's take another family on har helping to harvest, and we're going to have to sow as well. So, yeah, they'll take the yield, I guess. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what else happens, like, elsewhere. So, you guys taking them back to the... Are you taking the yield back to the store? Because I imagine the storehouse, the granary, is going to get overrun. Yeah, we'll take another family there. How's our manor house looking? Yeah, the manor house takes a long time to build up just because there's a lot of resources, right? All the planks, all the stone. Um, but we probably do have enough right now. Yeah, we have enough to get our brewery up as well, so we'll do that. I still want the planks to pump him. So where's our brewery going to go? I guess one of these houses. Can any of these houses have it? Yeah, I guess you. Oh, but you're not a tier 2, so you can't. Okay. We can make you a tier 2? Yeah, we can't. Apparently, why not? Because you don't have enough food? There's so many, there's so much food. There's actually not that much food anymore. Oh, God. Okay, do we have a tier two that we can make into a brewery? Yeah, this one. Maybe this one. This isn't a tier two. Where are our tier two? Sorry. I think this, yeah, this is, this is a joiner. And this, yeah, this level one, sorry. We don't. Could we? Could we fit one in here? Maybe. Because this would be a really cool one to have. I doubt this is going to be enough to have a workshop in. No, I don't know. We'll do that. Uh, I guess we could do like a bigger one here. No, I need a garden. That gives us a garden. The house is the other side, which is a bit weird, right? Uh, let's just do it. Let's just stick back down as well. We have the wood. I guess we just need something that's just leveled up, right? How many level twos do we have? We only have three level twos. I mean, I'm actually using them all. Okay, we need to level up some of these houses, man. Um, but none of my houses can go up. Why? Oh, yeah, you can. But you already upgraded, right? You can as well, but you don't have a background. You can go up, but you're not level two. You don't have a garden. Yeah, it's weird that we don't have more more stuff here. Uh, yeah, so you can get off of this part hunting now as well. You're already hunted to extinction. How's the big boy going? Nice. Uh, where's our logging camp? Our logging camp is here. I can actually tell these guys, which is kind of cool. I can tell these guys to actually just farm, like, this area. So they'll clear all the wood from around our, our 
our uh, our manor house. Yeah, cool. And the stone, to be fair, that's probably way too much stone that we need. Yeah, you're, you're at max level now, so let's go help with building. Go help with building. Nice. Let's get our mana up and running. Fuel is still such a big problem. Are you guys just, like, not cutting? You are cutters. Firewood cutters. You're transporting. You are producing. Yeah, I guess we're just consuming a lot. I, I am very nervous. I might honestly have to go up to three people here working. So I feel like we just don't have any fuel. Like, at all. But if we click this, we have 77. But I guess we have a lot of people now. Like, that's the thing as well. Like, we've basically quadrupled in size. The tools make your workers more efficient? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't actually know what tools do. I know they use for some stuff. But that's about it. That's about it. Um, the banners are looking very nice as well. Yeah, the harvest does look weird. But the yield? The yield should be, should be good. Okay, I want to... Okay, so I want to actually also... We can't buy livestock. We could buy a mule to help out. Or, yeah, a mule to help out. Stock damaged by weather? No, don't you dare. Like, store this. Store the field. Like, fucking rain, man. Yeah, and I feel like these are just gonna not do well. Do I need, like, more families? I think I maybe need more families doing this, you know? Does, like, having a, an assigned bull help as well, maybe? We've got plenty of planks. Now we no longer need something assigned to this, I don't think. Yeah, we have enough planks for now. Um, just looking around, seeing if we have any spare jobs anywhere that people need. How are we looking at the manor house? Manor house is coming along nicely. Uh, are they burning the fuel before cutting? I mean, yeah, they are burning the fuel for sure. But we have we have plenty left over, right? We have plenty. Like, I have lots of timber. I have a lot of timber. Maybe they... Do they have livestock? Do they need livestock? No, they don't even need livestock, right? And we're on a unlimited... Yeah, work area. Okay, they're cutting now. I mean, I imagine with three people cutting, like three people working, transporting everything, we'll, we'll, we'll get a lot more of this quickly. We have plenty, right? Yeah. You guys have most of your supplies, which is good. You better not lose out on my 86 corn. That's going to be, that's going to be, we're going to make so much bread. How, <laughs> how funny is that? It's like, oh my God, I'm going to make so much bread. It's going to be bussing. <laughs> That's what I'm excited for, is making bread. We should probably look to expand this soon as well. Ooh, we, oh, yeah. Let's do that as well. Let's start making tons of money. Let's establish uh, Warbo trading. Establish that. And then let's start selling, exporting. I want to go down to, I don't know, like 30? That's going to make us so much money. Could they just keep on making more firewood stalls? I feel like we have enough, though. Because obviously, uh, you know, like, of course, the bloomery is taking taking fuel. But I do also, yeah, that's something as well I should try and put down. I know the mana is our main focus, but I also should put down the charcoal as well. The charcoal burners. That'd be very good for us. Um, I feel like I always see this, like, really far away from civilization. So let's maybe build it like there. So this will really help with our fueling. That'll give us like coal, and I think that'll be much better for a lot of these buildings. So charcoal is done from it takes. So the charcoal takes. Um, what is it? Sorry, the charcoal takes the firewood and makes it. Uh, but yeah, we'll put that down over here. I remember it was in Kingdom Come Deliverance. The charcoal burners were so far away from like civilization because I guess it just stinks so much. So they're always like in a random place on a stream. Our market is looking nice though. Look at that. Like our market is building up. Um, and yeah, this is obviously number one priority. 
We need a little bit more resource. Our food is still six months worth of food, which is good. And, and we can make grain as well. Yeah, we have a lot of wheat. Collected all the wheat now. Is it in? Yeah, we've collected all the wheat now, which is good. And I guess we're just not harvesting the, the other stuff. Okay. I mean, to be fair, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be making a lot of money soon. So what else are we spending this regional wealth on now? Importing barley, probably, because I doubt we're harvesting this. I mean, I think I do force harvest this. Oh, you guys are still busy there, yeah. Hopefully we can get this before this all destroys. But I think we do definitely force harvest. Ignore harvesting seasons and harvest immediately. Minimum crop growth. That's like, that's a lot of barrels of barley. 73? Like, I think I force harvest all of this. I'll see if they do it automatically. We have four families here, for example. Oh my god, we only actually have 149 days until raiders attack as well. Come on, get this mana done so we can get in some battles, man. Taking them so long to transport the, the planks and the other stuff, but I guess. We can have all our families here. We have a lot of people harvesting, and we need it, though. Harvest quicker, okay? Okay, and then they meet. Okay, so I want to force harvest for barley then. Yeah, let's force harvest for barley. I think 75 sacks is more than enough. Yeah, force harvest that. I'll let the flax grow. The flax can grow for a little bit longer. But yeah, I think we definitely... Because they, they just started to plow it. And I think we definitely want to get this, this barley stored. So we can just make so much beer. Is our clay done as well? Yeah, no, it's not built yet. I guess everyone's focusing elsewhere. Uh, I'm actually going to go down a little bit on the iron now. Now we're no longer needing to produce weapons. I need more families to build. Can you build walls? Yeah, you can from your manor house. It has to be around your manor house and there's like a little bubble. I'll show you as soon as we, uh, as soon as we get this built. I can then show you. Yeah, them bandits, man. They're stealing all my food. I am definitely a little bit nervous on like, how I feel, I feel like we have so much firewood and yet it's telling me we don't. I guess it's like three months of fuel left if you weren't producing any fuel. Yeah, that's actually true. So we're going to go down one more here, I think, because I think it's more like telling you like, yeah, you have three months worth of, of, of fuel left if you don't produce any more. You know? Cool. So we're back to harvesting this. That's fine. We got our barley. We got our, our wheat. So, yeah. We can, we can really start making some alcohol now. We just need a brewery. So let's actually get that from running. Oh, I didn't, right? Because we need a tier 2. We don't have a spare tier 2. Oh, these can upgrade now, though. Perfect. Oh, no. You can't? Who can upgrade? Literally no one I need to, to utilize. Right? Uh, you, yeah, you, you can upgrade, but not in the way I need. Okay, cool. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, we need we need some places to upgrade. I don't understand. Well, like, this can't go up. It says it doesn't have enough food types, but there's plenty of food types here. Is it because like, I don't have enough people on the stools, maybe? But also, I feel like I need the families as well. Like, I need the families to, to help build. The manor house is almost done. It's going to give us our retinue, and then we're going to war, boys. The manor house is just finishing. Boom! Lay Manor House has been completed. Yeah, love to see it. So yeah, how the Manor House works is you can build from it. So if I wanted to, I could like expand the borders like this. And that would allow me to build out a bit further. Uh, you can build like a bunch of stuff. You can do like really cool stuff like that. I and mean, then have like a uh, like a double fort, if that makes sense. Kind of going around. Yeah, you can do like all this cool stuff, you know. But it has to be in this area. However, other expansions also improve it. So if I stuck down a tax office, I'd also expand it out. So you can like kind of build this area of your 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 Moth and Bailey, if that makes sense. Which is super cool. Um, we obviously have our taxes. So we can now start doing a tax on the people to start getting us some more money. And we can also do a tithe as well if we needed to. Um, one thing I really want to start doing now, actually. Um, yeah, one thing I really want to get down is a livestock trader. Because I want to start purchasing... Um, I want to start purchasing, uh, like, goats and cattle and stuff to put in the pasture. 
Uh, cool. And I mean, the boys are ready. We can customize these. Uh, so retinue. Uh, sorry. Retinue? I want to... Oh, because I've rallied them, maybe? Did I rally them? Cool. So I think first one, of course, let's do the big... Oh my god, do we get no we got one two-hander? Wow. Uh, this has to be Swedish. Swedish. We'll do uh, Jake. We'll do Carl. We'll do Carl. Uh, and uh, who else gifted member? Squiddy. Do I, am I missing anyone who's gifted members this stream? Oh, did it not change? Oh, it didn't change. What? Do I need to, like, confirm? Swedish. Jake. Uh, Jake. Uh, who else was it? Swedish, Jake. Squiddy. Uh, Carl. And then we have one more left. Yeah, so anyone anyone who gifts members can get the last one. Um, dibs? Uh, I mean, yeah, Josh, if no one else, if no one else gifts some members, uh, then yeah, you can 100% have the last one. To be fair, you can, you can just have the last one anyway, to be, to be honest, actually, scratch that. I feel, like, I feel like as long as you've been a member, you, you, you can kind of earn dibs. There you go, boom. Right, cool, let's rally the boys then. Let's rally the boys and go on a little bit of a crusade. Um, so let's just, yeah, literally sex everybody. We'll rally them, uh, like here. And we'll go. Do the boys rally right? So we should see them, I believe, yeah. So they'll basically, like, just start mustering. All the boys will be like, shit, let's get, get to battle quickly. Form up. You see everybody running around. All the archers are like, quickly, get the bows. We're under attack. Which is, I think, like, really dope, right? Just seeing everybody, like, kind of just be like, oh, shit, let's get to war quickly. Good thing it saved as well, just before we lose our entire army to the militia. Uh, so let's make our way over. Where are they? They're here. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a decent band of brigands. They're not heavily armored, but neither are we, really. Okay, we'll, we'll form up and then, yeah, time for battle, boys. Came back and you got a dude? Hell yeah, Carl. I mean, you gifted 10 members, right? That's, that's worthy of it. So I feel like we have a very nice army. Our, our militia is going to take a while. To, sorry, our, our retinue is going to take a while to get down here. To be fair, I, think, I feel like these guys could have killed them a long time ago. But I'd rather not lose people. Because if people die, that's not a good situation. And yeah, the bakery. But the problem is with the bakery, we need somewhere to level up that can have a garden. Here? Uh, no, yeah. Like, for some reason, we're not getting this last food type. Is it because we don't have, like, someone else? I wonder if it's like we don't have someone else, like, making a stall, maybe. We do, though, because we have two. No, we don't. Yeah, let's do something like that and see if that helps. Uh, we also need to... Yeah, we, we should also start on the... Whilst we're off to war. Sorry to, to cut you guys. We should also get the windmill up and running. So we should get the windmill, like, here. Over the farm looks kind of cool. Oh, but it's going to be covered by that. Uh, yeah, no, that'll be fine. Efficiency up? What does that mean? I don't know what that means, but I'll take it. Yeah, we'll get the windmill up and running, uh, and then we'll start getting some more food. And by the way, guys, if you are enjoying the stream, please drop a like down below. It really helps out the channel, and I very much do appreciate it. We're also closing in on 500 members, so if you, you know, want to help support the channel a little bit, you've had a good time here, you can become a member for as little as $2 uh, by hitting the join button, and you can even give some members as well, which I really do appreciate it. So when, when we get here, so yeah, so your, all, your forces also have a fatigue bar as well, so, you know, the... Um, the more they move, the more tired they get. So by the time we get here, we're going to have to rest as well before we move over in the camp. So let's just set up like here and then the boys can rest. And then our militia, sorry, our retinue can get over here and obviously need to rest as well because they'll be exhausted. Are they coming out to fight? Oh my God, they're rallying up as well. Okay, maybe we, uh, maybe we just chill here then. Do they also rally the other camp? Well, there's two camps here as well. Doesn't look like it.
Yeah, I really don't know why my houses aren't getting the extra food because there's... Mm, there's actually not that much food type. Okay. Yeah, we need to get this bread up and running then immediately. Uh, and also, I think we also need to stick probably a family back. Um, I don't think we need as many families on that now. We also... Yeah, I mean, they actually can work hard. Uh, and then we need to get back on the food here. You go for oh yeah, what happens if we do do this? I'm so far away, but I don't know if I can be bothered to run. We're all oh no, we should already have a mine. I'm on the way, boys. Can I lead them into battle? I wonder. <laughs> I doubt. I doubt. Yeah, I got the game a little bit earlier, Mario. Thanks to the devs, which I really appreciate. Um, yeah. Yeah, we've already got we've got two vegetable patches, David, and we also have uh, eggs, chickens as well. I don't know if it's maybe just a little bit bugged. Maybe we should try reload our save quickly, see if that kind of sorts it out because we can't upgrade any of the houses now. Uh, you guys are all resting. Our retinue, yeah, it's taking a while. We'll get here soon enough. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't like. I feel like yeah, I just don't know. But we have we have all of that. The berries are out, but yeah, as soon I guess as soon as this is done, we'll be we laughing. The livestock will be upgrading will be good as well. Because we have a lot of regional wealth now as well. Um, yeah, we just, for some reason, they just don't have the extra type of food, which we have, though. Um, yeah, that we do have. I guess we can make some more. And we have, have the stuff for it. Like, we are pretty rich, so... Yeah, maybe have some more chickens over there. Um, I wouldn't mind some more housing, though, honestly. Um, yeah, people, we have a lot of people building. The manor house also gives you some building capacity as well. Um, do we have anything? Like, maybe I just chill on the iron for a little bit. Yeah, we have plenty of iron there now as well. Oh, my God, they're coming at me. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, oh God, I can't believe I missed that. My bad. Um, okay, so you guys need to get in front then. I need the archers to, to let loose. So I'm so sorry. I can't believe we almost missed that. I didn't realize they were charging me. And the retinue's not here either. Oh my god, I mean, by the time the retinue gets here, they're going to be exhausted. Uh, their fatigue is fine, and our effectiveness isn't great. Okay, they're going to get a shot off, and then we need to pull them back, right? So yeah, fall back and then run. We already killed one? Nice. So like I can't go slow-mo, you know? Okay, you guys need to get the head out of there now. Fall back. Can I get you guys on full back? Uh, run to position, which is what you guys are doing. Yeah, and then our spears set up to, to fight them. Oh my god, please run. I'm going to lose. Oh, I'm so just an idiot. Um, I guess you guys just have to charge in. And oh, I'm going to lose so many. No, we reload. We reload the save. We reload the save. Because I, I was busy chatting to you guys. And the auto save was like four minutes ago. Good. Okay, cool. Completely my bad. We'll reload and go back in. I just wasn't, um, I was busy yapping and d talking to you guys. Okay, where are our boys here yet? Oh, the manor house, yeah, so we've just, we just rallied up, cool, okay. I'll, I'll triple speed it up here though, so don't worry. Let's go here, and like here. Go here and rest, cool. I'll triple speed it up, are we missing anything else? Yeah, no, we're building that. We have our two families. I did put another family on this. And I'm probably going to get off the, the, the farm there. We're at max storage capacity there. We're still making our stuff, which is nice. Okay, you guys are resting. Cool. We're in a much better position here. Cool. Sorry. Sorry about that. I do apologize. I'll sort it out now, though. Should drink and drive. Yeah, literally. Okay. So everybody's just resting now, which is good. Uh, let's make our way up here. Oh, nice as well. Cool. So we finally finished the, this. This will really help us out of our, our fuel problems. I have so much... Yeah, and then... We, did we force this as well? We did, right? Yeah, we did force that. That's being harvested still. So I think we're going to harvest one more year, and then we're going to probably switch over to harvesting here for, for grain. We'll go down a little bit there. Um, just making sure I've, I'm not missing out on anything else. We have quite a few construction projects going, so we should probably leave three people there. I might also honestly upgrade this to a stable um, and get another ox coming there. 
Sorry, no, you didn't miss the first battle. I just, I just, I was busy yapping. Um, so we, uh, they charged me and I just wasn't in position. So let's set up properly now. So they're going to rally. I think, as, I think I just got a bit too close and it kind of encouraged them to come at me. There you go. Cool. So they're setting up. So let's sort this out. So let's get our infantry and our spearmen. They can set up here. I mean, ideally, what I want is actually I want my spearmen to hold the line, right? Because that's, that's our strongest line. So we'll go for a double line there. The retinue can then be, like, on the flank. And then the archers can just be, like, volleying in from, like, the side here, I think. No, they... So someone in chat... I mean, I, I'm taking their... I'm taking their, their word for it. But someone in chat said that they've already said that this game isn't going to cost the triple A price. I think something like $40 is realistic, um, you know, for an early access game. And then when the game is fully out, they can then put it up. But yeah, I think $40 would be... I have no idea, by the way. That'd be sensible. Also, we only have 100 days until Raiders come. So we need to, like, really pump our military after this. But to be fair, we're going to get a lot of money when we clear this. So that's going to be big. Um, yeah, we also want our windmill up and running, right? Yeah, so charcoal is up and we're getting more fuel now, which is going to really help out. The charcoal is double efficiency. Oh, the, uh, sorry. I'm going to pause it so we don't miss it. I'm going to pause it so we don't miss it. And I'm going to get my, my mill up as well. Um, yeah, let's get our mill up and our, our, our oven because that we need food. We like, we need food desperately. Um, so it can go like, it's like... Like here? Because the logging camp is going to move. So I can go like there. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I like that. And then you can go like that. Boom. Uh, and then we can have our bakery. Um, yeah. The oven can then go like here. Cool. Uh, nice. Uh, and then we have our manor house is looking fine. That's fueling. Our logging camp is still busy at work. It's cleared a lot of the stuff. So let's... Uh, prob not relocate it. Sorry, let's clear its work area. Clear work area. Okay, cool. We're upgrading the stable as well, right? Yeah, we're upgrading a stable. We're going to need to upgrade this soon as well. Yeah, we're really starting to get to, like, the next stage of the campaign. I mean, cool. Back to battle. Let's maybe bring the archers forward a little bit. So, yeah, I'm hoping they're going to, like, really just, like, clash in here. And they just don't go after my archers. And I guess we'll bring these guys in here. I'm hoping they're going to, like, aggro. It looks like they're, they're aggroing in on on me. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Archers fire. I think our archers are going to slaughter them, by the way. Because they, they don't have many shields. Look at the arrows going in, man. Yeah, I think our arrows are going to demolish them, you know. Our spears have now set up here as well. Our spears are ready. Um, okay, cool. So then you guys, I guess, charge. And then I guess you guys fall back a little bit, you know? Here they come. Oh, no. Oh, my God. They're just ignoring me. Uh, I guess the spears come in as well. Yeah, the spears move in. In formation, though. Oh, my God. They're charging my archers. How can they do this, but I can't? There we go. Good job. Okay, archers turn around. This is a bit of a messy battle because I think they really wanted to go after my archers. But look at that. I'm now hitting them in the side. We've now reformed. Good, good, good. What do we want tactics-wise? We go stand your ground, push forward, missile alert. Luckily, they have no missiles. Or give ground. So give ground would mean that we fall back. Which might not be the worst idea, considering we're literally shooting them in the back. But I also don't want to then give up my militia. Like, my retinue are, are stuck in. So I think we just go kind of aggressive here. The arrows should get. Yeah, the arrows are demolishing them. Oh, my God. The arrows in the back, and they're running. Can it finish them off, though? Don't give them a second. Uh, no, they're just fully routed. Boom. Only a minor battle. So, the, so by the way, so the bigger battles, that's just a brigand camp, right? Nothing crazy. I think I was way over prepared. I think I could have gone in with that with like, basically your beginning militia. You can basically go around and start clearing them. Archers seem really powerful. Um, so let's, let's, we can basically, I think we're going to disband these boys. Uh, there's another camp though. I think we carry on and we go for the next camp. Yeah, let's do it. So, yeah, so this is like the smallest battle possible. We're fighting one unit. The, the biggest battles possible are about 600 men or uh, 300 on either side. And it's six total units. So you can have up to six total units um, here. And these are all the different types as well. Um, I might make some like... 
Yeah, and you can hire mercenaries as well if you need to for like more elite soldiers. Uh, we can actually easily afford it as well. We're like ultra rich. All right, cool. Let's get over there then now. Um, yeah, the boys are pretty tired though, so they are going to need to rest. But yeah, the good thing is now we can actually clear out this camp. And that's going to give us a billion gold. It's going to give us like 200 regional wealth. And then I think I'm going to go hard on on producing uh, like like livestock. I'm just going to bump this up for production, I think. Yeah, and we, we kind of need all these families as well. Do we have any? What are our, are we, our stable upgraded as well, right? So let's get another ox on the go. Yeah, let's get another ox because that'll be a big boon. Did we upgrade any of these houses yet? Um, I don't understand why they're not getting more food, um, to be honest. Yeah, I don't understand why we're not getting more food. They should all have enough to go up to the next tier. Oh, right now we have enough. If they're just not getting that second type of food, I don't know why. Maybe like the vegetables just don't count? Did we, stick some, we did stick someone back on the farming, but yeah. Yeah, we need to get this bread up and running. Because now, now that we've got 23 families, that's what, yeah, seven, almost 100 people we're trying to feed. We need more food. Yeah, I, I might just let it cap, though, Al, Al, um, Alex. I might let it cap at 25. Uh, cool. So we'll let the boys rest quickly. Uh, we'll clear the camp, and then we'll go and clear this one. Uh, we are still selling bows as well, right? Oh, we're not probably... No, we're probably not because I don't have anyone here. No, we do have someone here. Yeah, so we, we are trying to sell iron ore and we're trying to sell... Um, yeah, we're trying to sell weapons as well, right? We made too many bows. We're yeah, we're exporting down to 30. Nice. Um, God, all of these have gotten so expensive now. Wow. Okay, that's fine. I'm um, also, I guess, hmm, yeah. No, we have a lot of building. Yeah, I, I need to put someone on the mining pit as well over there. Should probably take you off as well, just to help with construction. We have, we need a lot more construction. Uh, you guys fully rested? No, uh, you guys are. So we'll send you guys out to go clear that, and you guys can rest. So the reason I'm leaving them in my territory is you gain a lot more. Um, I think you gain a lot more fatigue back if you're in your yeah in home territory. Oh, that's morale. Sorry. Okay. Look at you boys as well. Oh, out of interest. Oh, we can't see yet. I want to see if you guys have got any kills or anything. It'll probably show, right? Is your marketplace big enough? Yeah, we have like a billion stores. Oh, I could build another marketplace to see if it would help. But yeah, like we have... Is the food variety there? I'm not sure if the eggs and vegetables count. But they do in some houses, but just not in others. It's kind of weird. Maybe they're on, like, different stools. That could be it, right? Like, maybe they're... So let's demolish a few of these, like, crappy ones. We just don't have anything. Like, these do have stuff. Leather, it's firewood, which is fine. Like, maybe I should get down a few of these as well. A uh, new message has arrived. Oh, okay, so we've raided the camp now. We've raided the camp. So when searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. They could be sent to your people. Uh, you should know, or we can take them ourselves. We can take them for ourselves. I think we're going to take them to the town because boom, look at that. 300 regional wealth now. That is pretty, pretty goddamn nice. Okay, and nice, cool. So now the livestock is done. Boom, so we can now start buying some uh, some livestock. So let's start importing some sheep, I guess. Like free? Free sheep could be kind of cool. Uh, and then I guess we'd need a sheep farm as well. We have the charcoal burning, which should be helping out massively, right, with coal. Um, that's being built now. Yeah, we have four families built here. We're, we're pumping buildings as well. Clay will be built soon as well. We need the clay to upgrade buildings. Do we have like excess weapons? I feel like I've told like no one should like none of my weapon dudes should be building. 
Um, we probably... Yeah, general storage is full, though. So there and here. We don't have the timber for it, though? Wow. Okay. Uh, the logging camp. I guess we have just built a lot of stuff as well, yeah. Yeah, you guys need to need to start start chopping. Boom, 50 gold as well. God, we have so much money now. But I have no way to spend it. Oh my lord. I have no way to spend it. Cool. Let's go to the other. So the other camp is coming. We need the archers over here for sure. We can also see what this windmill's all about as well. Their force is now moving. Yeah, people are just unhappy because they can't get firewood. I don't know what more you guys want from me. Like, I. Maybe we try a different marketplace? Uh, where is it? It's here, yeah. It's too small. But like here. Another marketplace right outside your house. I mean, again. And we can build one down here as well. And maybe that will help, like, because it's closer to them. Because like, it's technically the same marketplace as well. We have bread. We have berries. Like, that should be enough food. The meat as well is not there, but we have vegetables. Like, we can take another animal. Yeah, we can, we can obviously hunt some more animals again. We actually already have someone here hunting animals, okay? I want this place to be my brewery, so I don't want to build there. But we, I guess we could build here as well. Get some more eggs on the go. Uh, oh, yeah. Ship the army. The army. The army. I keep on forgetting. Okay. They're still coming. We're resting as well. Uh, okay. Cool. Let's get our infantry in a good position. As I said, the archers seemingly just like absolutely hammer. So let's get them behind. And then you guys can go here. I guess I go for a bit of a thinner line. But I kind of like the idea of like having that strong stall line. And we'll get the arch I guess the arches. I feel like the arches are way better to like go in front. So we'll do something like that. Yeah, let's get the arches in front and then we'll push the infantry forward. Please remind me about regional wealth. What does it do? So regional wealth lets you uh, trade. It lets you. I think, oh, we must have just sold all our weapons, maybe. Yeah. Uh, uh, we need to upgrade the storehouse. We just have the logs. Um, yeah, it, it lets you upgrade your your plots of land. It lets you upgrade um, basically like anything in your village. Okay, the bows are doing a good job. Maybe get one more volley off and we push you guys forward. Okay, one more volley. Now push off. And we'll get you guys around. Okay, we've already whittled them down. Okay, you guys get on defensive. So you guys get on stand your ground. Soldiers will try and stand their ground. Defense is doubled, but attack is frequently halved. Okay. So you guys are all about the defense. The archers can probably hold fire now. Um, friendly fire mode. So I assume that means they don't fire. I don't know. I don't want them to shoot my dudes in the back. I mean, you guys get around and you guys go on push forward. Okay, I mean, you guys come stuck in. I don't want you guys to shoot in the back of my... Yeah, they're just cheering. Look at that. Okay, and then the boys come. Look at that. And then the aggressive boys come with their big old weapons right behind them. Let's go. Yeah, we'll let, we'll let the boys do their damage. The defense should be enough to hold. And we routed them again. Beautiful stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Um, cool. Well, that's another battle one. The brigand camps have been sent. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you guys to go claim that. You guys go check out that windmill. I don't know if it's something we can interact with. It's not something we can interact with, I don't think. And then you guys go back. Oh, I also wonder if we're not, like, doing too much. Because half the... Yeah, I think half the population is out fighting. So maybe, maybe that's why... Because, like, half the people aren't here working this because they're in militias. I feel like we were having this issue preemptively, but could actually be the case. Yeah, less production. Maybe that's it. I feel like we were still having that issue regardless, but yeah. yeah. You guys get back home and disband. You guys go clear that camp. Oh, we have another bringing camp there to clear, but we don't need to right now. And our livestock is now done as well. All right. Yeah, livestock is now done. So let's, we are trading. So let's stick someone else here as well. Cool. Uh, nice. 
Uh, is a problem accessibility and quantity. You don't have many vegetables and many eggs compared to the berries. So closest to market gets them. But do I don't know if they do, Alex. Because if we click it... Okay, yeah, maybe. But we have, like, some stopped. So you would assume. But yeah, you are right. Like, it is the surrounding area gets them, right? Oh, this place does, but we can't upgrade it. We don't have wood. Okay, so I think it's... I think it's a bit better. We can, we can upgrade this place. We just don't have any wood right now. Our timber is really struggling. Uh, over here as well. We have two families there. Um, what are our oxes up to? I think, yeah, I think it's just because the army's away. A lot of our production is, is depleted now. There's nothing to do there, right? Yeah, okay, cool. You guys just come back as well. But the rest of you can go clear that camp. It's a long march back. Yeah, so I, I think a lot of it is just simply... Um, uh, return, cover more ground. Yeah, and just stand. Okay, the boys, go back to work in, boys. Um, spoils of war again. Do we? I think we, we, we keep this to our treasury. 111 gold. So what does this do? Your personal money usually collected by taxes can be used to, for diplomacy, higher retinues, and mercy. So we can basically use that money to upgrade our army. Uh, which is going to be important. You guys are almost back. You guys come back now as well and disband. Uh, and yeah, run to position as well. Run, run, run. I need you guys back on the job ASAP. The village is falling apart. Okay, disband here. Good job. Good job, boys. Get back to work, Mo. <laughs> literally, winter is arriving. There is no one... There is literally no men to plow the fields. Okay, hopefully, you guys will be importing uh, sheep soon. Ready for the pasture. And yeah, we, we just need people building. Bought it, and we, oh my god. Villages for hallow ground. Oh, here we need to build... Bury, oh, we need to bury the bodies. So to do that, we need someone as a grave digger. Uh, so we need someone in our church to do that. That's cool, but we actually literally need someone to, to bury the bodies. Man, yeah, going to war is a little bit, like, dangerous, right? Because, like, you need your people. Uh, and then this army can obviously also disband. Uh, speaking of which, we can now look at this. So if we wanted to, we could recruit men at arms to get another militia. We could also upgrade, pay full price to import an armor set as well. So we could upgrade these guys if we wanted to. Yeah, future campaigns. Oh, you can also change the color of these guys as well. That's really cool. Promote one of your citizens to a retinue. That's nice. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I mean, we could recruit one, right? 50 to recruit another. Nice. Okay, well, we have another retinue. If you, if anybody wants to give some members, you will uh, gain it. And obviously, we have to name the character after you. We also need to go and actually, like, collect the bodies as well. Man, that's cool. That's really cool. I like that. Um, by the way, as well, so for anybody interested, um, the stream is still going to be going for a little while longer. Don't worry. Um, but And look at all the, the, the troops returning home. Um, yeah, so we'll be streaming more of this on Monday around 3 p.m. GMT my time. We'll be streaming more of this campaign. But I also have a Let's Play that's currently live uh, on the channel. First episode went up today. Another episode will go, go up tomorrow. And then another episode on Sunday. Um, so make sure you check that out. And you obviously just check out both the campaigns. I'd really appreciate it. Especially the Let's Play would be really awesome if you guys can show it some love. Because obviously there's so many out there right now. So, you know, it is a, is a struggle to, to make your Let's Play get to the top. We're running out of fuel. Are we? We have 90 fuel though. Um, I guess what we could do is... Yeah, stop the stop this. We don't need a family doing this anymore because it requires fuel. So we'll stop that. We have like the charcoal as well, you know, like. I feel like it's like the family's owns a store. I feel like like, oh, because most of the men are away. Yeah, sorry. But now it's just all messed up because all the men are away. Like we literally took half. We, we literally took 40 of our, our male population and ran away. We also do have uh, policies as well. Um, but I don't think any of these policies are good, right? Like, wild animals and rich deposits breed twice as fast, um, but crops are, are worse. We don't want that. And the, the the citizens skipping every meal, but we decrease approval isn't good either. So, I don't want any of that. 
Okay, back to work, boys. Back to work. The men have returned home. The field, the, the, the settlement can continue to, to build up. Is someone building the bodies? Yeah, someone is literally coming to grab these bodies as well. That's cool. Yeah, the fuel's getting sorted. Families are moving in. Construction firewood stall is all good. Okay, food variety is going back up. Don't know why these back towns, like these can't be too far away though. Okay, winter is here now as well. Okay. Did we manage to sow these? We didn't. I guess we just sow them again in the in the day. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, cool. So what we're going to do as well is we can now start making bread. So we'll immediately get on that bread hype. And we can immediately start making more malt. That's all my families though. What families can I get off of stuff? We need the firewood. It's goddamn winter. The planks? How many planks? We're on a lot of planks. So we can actually get rid of that now. Uh, to have a family for production. Uh, are we still on iron? No, we're not on iron. And we haven't built, but we need clay now. Clay's our, clay's our next own, are really our only next big thing. Um, and we have enough, let's just get a horse here as well. Why not? After placing an order of lives, yeah, like a horse here would just be good. I did not mean to click that, but it's clicked. Oh, look at that. We even have some sheep now. We have some little sheep. I assume, yeah, there's no... Yeah, we're not going to be able to get enough meat now either. Okay. Okay, I mean, it's going to take a little bit of time just to kind of re reconsolidate the settlement now. Uh, you want to save the game? If you're... If you're if you, you just click save game. Yeah, so as an enemy lord, he doesn't build... Oh, we also really need to build up this as well. Yeah. Uh, first things first, let's upgrade this immediately, right? That's like the only town we can actually upgrade. And we can get our brewery going. You're making the, the malt, which is good. We've now got, yeah, bread making and flour being made, which is great. Uh, I guess we can also go down there as well. Yeah, we have a lot of grain, wheat and grain being made as well. Nice. So we can just basically start pumping bread now. We have two spare families. All the firewood is being made as well. Um, lots of leather, grain, etc. I just got some taxes. Oh, yeah. What we should be... Oh, we don't... I feel like we need to wait a little bit. Um, and, yeah, we need to obviously upgrade this storage as well. Upgrade that storage immediately. Because we're about to start making, like, unlimited bread. Yeah, have we, uh, have we dug everybody's grave yet? Look, there's actually dead bodies. Are they, do they get like, oh my god, oh my god, we're literally burying the, the, two, the bandits in our church. That is funny. Yeah, so he's literally burying them. Has he buried all of them? I guess so, because the notification is gone. If not, the wolves have him now. Yeah, if not, the wolves have him. Okay, cool, so we don't need him on, we don't need another grave digger there, which is cool. Um, so one thing we can do as well is policies, but I feel like none of these are good. Um, yeah, literally none of these policies are something I want, so I'm just gonna just leave it for now. I wanna have a, I wanna have decent approval. So we're just gonna rock with that. This is built now, cool. So this is built, so we can now get a brewery. Yeah, we'll get a brewery here. Um, and then the tavern is the tavern's pumping. And that's gonna that's gonna skyrocket our approval. We have enough barley to last us for a while. Yeah, we're making plenty of flour. We have so much flour. Wow. Yeah, and the baker is what transporting, making some bread. Right, you're making some bread here? I don't know. I feel like there might be a bug, you know, where like people, like they're just like making stores and they're not like doing anything. I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. Like this village has got like a billion things. We should probably just upgrade these anyway. No, we really have a lot of wood. Oh, we've got enough timber now. Okay, cool. And our, our big storehouse is also... Yeah, our big storehouse has now been upgraded as well. I'd love to see that. Yep, 
Yeah, like, actually upgrading these isn't the worst thing in the world because I do want to get to the next tier kind of quickly. I really want that brewery to be done um, for sure. How's our clay pit? Clay pit has been done, so let's start. I think I'm actually going to start farming some clay so we can get make a clay, clay firmus. Um, why play it for... I, I'm not. I, I play, I've been playing pretty slow and then we speed up during the boring bits. I feel like that's the best way of doing it uh, when there's not a lot going on. I feel like that's what you do. Uh, we could also get a sheep farm down as well, you know. Because these guys can obviously go to the pasture and grab the sheep. And I think they start making wool, which will be really good for our tier threes. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't, you Obviously, I'm not going to, like openly say that you should pirate this game dude so uh just leave it at that otherwise i'm gonna probably time you up from the chat i don't really want to promote that you know this is an indie dev so i'm not gonna like you know like promote anything so yeah please don't talk about that in the stream uh yeah so more houses might not be a bad idea if you've somehow managed to get this game then you know on you, but I'm not going to promote that in the chat. And that's the last thing I'm going to say. If you talk about it again, I'm going to probably yeah, time you out. Uh, cool. So the saw pit. Do we need more planks? We don't need more planks. We've got so many. Timber is backing up and running again, which is good. The windmill is going. Yeah, the windmill is going good. Our oven is like, I feel, I don't know, like, uh, they, they, it says they're baking though. It does say they're baking. Just can't see them. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure I'm just like, you know, the, the whole sending troops off to war probably really hurt. We also, also only have, okay, fuck. We only have 42 days now until we get attacked by raiders. I'm not sure how scary the raids are going to be. So let, let's, uh, let's start making uh, some more spears, right? Spears are the only thing we're lacking. Yes, yeah, so let's start making some spears. I think I wanna. I think I wanna make sure we get up our, uh, some more soldiers here, and probably even buy another retinue. Yeah, let's also probably get another retinue. Um, yeah, we will go up to seven retinue. So these guys are really good. Uh, yeah. So there, there are a few. You can place statues. There's a couple. You can either erase strawberries or you can build a shrine, which is like a little visible thing, which I guess would be quite cool. Like in your um. You know, like in the middle of like a market or something, you know? I'm going to put it there. You know. We actually have to build it. I'm not wasting anything building that. Oh, we got our first ale. Hell yeah. Okay, now we just need a family to... We got our first barrel of ale. Good job. Um, yeah, I mean, e either way, uh, either way, Kevin, this isn't the place to ask, you know, uh, if you did get it from the devs, I would probably ask the devs, right? Um, more so, but yeah, um, yeah, cool. So our, our oven is now building, uh, hopefully, yeah, our oven is, is going right. We are getting bread and stuff. We have so much grain here as well in the storehouse. I think we do just need to build up some more families, you know? I feel like we just could do with some, some more houses. So I think we might do is something like that. We just need, like, houses and houses, you know? Yeah, let's get some more houses on the go. Because we're at our limit right now, and I think we're, we're fine on food, especially with... Yeah, we just need more people now. We have enough food, we have enough fuel. Our fuel should be fine now that we've got the charcoal burner going. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Uh, we are now a large village. We have another development point. So this is where things get kind of interesting. All right, so we can either deep mine so we basically never run out of iron, but I feel like we're never going to. We could maybe look to get a basic armory to start improving some of our soldiers. But I feel like the, 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 the trade logistics would just be good. This basically means that we can we can make trades like constantly now. So 
So I can sell like a lot of stuff. Um, out of interest, how much does ale sell for? Um, is that something we could like export? Because I feel like I have a lot of barley. Probably we need money. Like we are, we are rich now. So it means we could import some stuff. Is there anything we'd want to import? Like right now? I don't think so. I feel like we're we're pretty good. I guess we could import some cloves, maybe. Weapons are fine, I think, for now. I, don't know, I, I, I guess like we just like kind of spend this on like upgrading any plots that we have, you know? Like having some more of this stuff on the go, whether it's like, yeah, ba another bakery here or something. The tailor, the tailor shop would be good, but I don't think we have the resources. We're going to be able to get a full, yeah, we're going to get a massive flax delivery here, though. That's going to be good. The sheep farm is going to be done. Yeah, we just kind of need population. We need someone in the tavern as well, right? Oops, sorry. So is there anywhere we can cut someone? I think the fuel is fine now, so we're going to cut someone there and put them in the tavern. That's going to probably boom a lot of people's uh, happiness around us, I would assume. Uh, is there anywhere else we could cut someone? Probably going to need planks again soon. The tannery is the only person giving clothes right now, so we need them. The granary needs someone. Um, the farm? But I don't know if a farm is like tending these these sheep or not. The sheep will give us wool as well. Which is going to be really good. Um, charcoal is important. Yeah, hunting. I guess hunting. Yeah, let's take someone off hunting. Uh, and we'll stick them. Oh, we have two people on wood as well. Because, yeah, I assume the sheep farm will just uh, keep on going. And we should probably buy some more sheep as well, I feel like. Um, let's go up to six. Let's go up to six. Why not? Would be cool if you could name your tavern. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can. Uh, yeah, no. No naming of the tavern, unfortunately. And we can have, like, another road off here. Connect him there. Be good. Just making sure, like, all these houses are, like, connected as well. I wonder if this is why. I wonder if there's, like, no actual path, but I can't imagine that's the case, right? I'm curious if it's, like, oh... They can't actually get to the market because they're like, there's like no path in between them. Could that be it? Because yeah, they literally just like can't get there. But then so neither can this one and it's right there. Hmm. I don't know. And there is like a path there as well. Of course, we can start having some more families. I know the policy is available, but I, I literally don't want any of these. I'm just going to select like that, just so it gets rid of it. We actually get attacked in 20 days as well. That's a little bit scary. But I mean, we have a decent setup, and we can buy some mercenaries for this as well. Uh, logging is back up to full strength now, which is great. It means we can probably take a family away. And nice, you're making wool. Okay, cool. So what can we do with wool? Wool weaving, right? Uh, yeah, how's it going, Christopher? Welcome. Um, so yeah, we can start doing a weaver's shop. We already have a tannery, so yeah, we get a weaver's shop up and running. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're doing it, boys. We're doing it. I guess we'll have it, like, down here. It's kind of far away, though, right? It's on, uh, so, like, on the berries as well. Um, I mean, we have, like, a lot of our... Tannery and stuff here. As I said, I did want more stuff here as well. Not like that. That's fine. As you know, that's not a good idea, right? Because it's literally... We demolish this as well because it it's not helping. Uh, yeah, we can like stick it over here, maybe. Let's do that. Why not? Okay, cool. So we're up to 25 families now. Um, it's obviously a lot of lot of mouths to feed, but we should be pumping bread now, right? Uh, we should be pumping bread. We actually don't have as much bread as I thought we would. By now. 
Uh, so this maybe stick another family on it. Cause we have we have like a lot of like we could probably even get stop our windmill now as well. We have so much flour. Thirty three flour, and then some in the granary as well. Yeah, forty flour there. Yeah, so I think that's probably enough there for now. Which means I can probably like fellow these fields on the second year, you know. And then we're 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 weeding up this year. You can probably fellow, and then yeah, we're doing that cool. Uh, tavern has beer now, so that should be every yeah everybody's pub everyone's bussing everyone's bussing bussing. That's what we like to see. Uh, by the way, guys, if you are enjoying the stream, please do drop a like down below. I really appreciate the support. Make sure to drop a like and obviously subscribe for more. I have a Let's Play on the channel. I'm going to be doing some tips and tricks up until launch. And we'll be streaming this campaign again on Monday. Monday this time, like five hours ago. Or maybe even six hours ago. Does it have a card mod? No. No multiplayer. They have said though that they want to do multiplayer. So that's pretty interesting, I would say. Maybe, like, my market's too big here, and I need, like, a bunch of small markets. I just feel like this isn't that crane. The view doesn't simply show physical location of goods, but instead it shows the availability. Berger plots nearest the market have the best availability, and therefore can upgrade faster. It creates a... Always have the worst time upgrading. Okay, so maybe it is just that, like, they're struggling to get the food. That's a nice tavern name. Yeah, that's a nice tavern name. But like, I, I guess I built this a bit too big then. Because we need some more like stalls like over here than I get. I, mean, I feel like that's not even that far away though, you know? It's like literally like the same road. Okay, this place can upgrade as well. So we'll upgrade this place and I think here... Here we'll get like an armor smith maybe. We have a lot of money as well. I don't even really know what we need though. Okay, we're starting to produce some spears in excess, which is fine. Um We have spare planks, we have spare weaponry here. I mean we're getting attacked soon. I'm not sure how big the enemy army is though gonna be when it does arrive. Don't worry, boys, though. We will defend our home. I feel like we have a nice little set. We just need more population. Like, 25 archers, 25 spears, and then seven these like seven really good retinue. Heavily armored, ready to scrap. What did you miss? Uh, not too much. Not too much. Uh, we're literally just sorting things out. Is our, uh, is our, clay, our clay's on the go. Okay, so we also need a clay furnace now. So we're, we're going to be hitting tier 3 very soon, I think. Yeah, we, we need a clay furnace down. And we could probably stick it by the blacksmith and bloomery, right? Yeah. Something like that. Um, oh, yeah. And we should also start giving a bit of food to the church. To start getting more influence so we can unlock the next... Uh, uh, let's give like 5% of our, our food to the church. Should be fine, right? Um, so that'll start bumping up. Oh, we, have, we, have, we always have enough influence, man. I guess clearing them brigand camps helped. So we need a thousand influence to claim another village. I'm not sure where I'll go though. What do we need? Let's think about what we need. Um, the stone could be good. Food is also bad. Like maybe this region? I mean, it doesn't have to be so close to us as well. We don't need iron, right? Clay's probably going to be a little bit important. But if we just import it back, there's no expert clay deposit on the map. No. Oh, there is over here. So maybe we can grab this region, honestly. And then we have, like, all the clay, and then we can obviously take this and go on. Uh, yeah, so I've only crashed once in about 15 hours of gameplay. We actually literally crashed, like, two hours ago. And that's the first time I've ever crashed. Yeah, I think the battles are good. They're, it was a little bit fast, but I think the archers just demolished. And we were fighting at least a, a, a small group of brigands, right? We outnumbered them two to one, so it wasn't really a very close battle. And you do get into big battles towards the end of the game when you start claiming territory, so... Um, that is something to obviously keep in mind. Uh, we, do we have building on the go? Um, yeah, we do. We have that clay furnace, which is fine. We have no one on the bloomery right now. We're building the clay furnace. We have two people on logging still, because I feel like I still need wood. 
stopped that. We're, we're pumping bread. The farms still have a lot of barley. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got all of our, our, gra all our grain set up, though. Cool, 16 days then. I feel like I'm prepared. Like, I don't really know what more I can do. We've got the ale bussing. Yeah, the ale's bussing. I might even expand the, the, the storage right there as well. We have room for more families. We've got a small population growth, almost at 100 people now. Got install RBM for longer battles. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Uh, and yeah, a few of these other... We have lots of money as well. Regional wealth is something that we have a lot of. Um, So we can expand for like... More, more hides. I feel like more. Yeah, let's go. Let's get some goats. Uh, and we got old oh, our wool weaver build as well, right? We were building a wool weaver. There's a tannery. A wool weaver's here. That's clay furnace. Where did we put our wool weaver? Over here, right? Yeah, it hasn't built yet. Okay. Um, yeah. So right now, the, so the, the, in early access, the only goal to 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 win the win the campaign is to conquer his land. So he has land here. He'll send armies to defend them. So that's it. He won't, like, he doesn't build on the campaign map or anything along them lines. I assume as the game comes out of early access, he will then be able to build um, and, and like, obviously build up his own villages and stuff and interact with that way. But that's just not in this build of the game. Um, and the objective is to go and conquer these. He will send soldiers to go and defend it um, to stop you. So that's something to obviously keep in mind and, and plan for. Um, but yeah, conquering, you need influence. Influence is gone by winning battles and by giving food to the church. And then you can obviously stake a claim on a region. And then you basically start building a, a brand new city next to your next one. And then you can send resources between them and stuff. So you get in a bit more of a trade feel of it. Which is always cool. Okay, 15 days. 15 days until they arrive. Upgrading our settlement nicely. We have 28 houses, which is good. Our approval is okay. I'm surprised our approval wasn't better kind of feel like yeah this 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 is just too um yeah bandit stole okay i kind of feel like we need like another marketplace out here but i feel like it's also like not in that far away you know i mean i'll stick another marketplace down in the hopes that we do get some more people out here like i, I feel like you should be able to set, set like a priority of like marketplace and goods you know I'm um, just checking. Yeah, both both our important buildings are still building. I have no idea, by the way, how many bandits are going to turn up. Is it going to be like a, a, just a full one one brigade for now? Is it going to be multiple brigades? I have no idea. I don't think there's much more I can do with my army, though. Population is the main. Yeah, we're, we're missing people at the moment. Uh, yeah, so this video, uh, will you put this video in a video or live? So this will just be a, a live video. However, if you want a more of a structured campaign, Gastor, I have a Let's Play on the channel. Granted, I am a little bit more learning the game, but I still think it's great. It's a really chill experience. I put in cool cinematics and stuff. So yeah, you can watch this entire stream back if you want to. Um, but you can also just watch my Let's Play, which is actually pinned in the top comment, which I'd really appreciate everybody go over and show some love, um, you know, after the stream's done, of course. If you're not sick of uh, you're not sick of this. Uh, also, building a forager hut when you're here wouldn't be a bad idea. Grow some herbs. Glow some herbs. Yeah, yeah. So some resources I'm running out of already. Like stones running very low. My clay is dropping down. You know, a decent amount as well. So that's all stuff we have to be pretty cautious on and careful of. Look at our sheep go, man. That's amazing. What's my favorite aspect of the game so far? Um, I, fi I think I just love the, like, the theme of it. I, I think, well, I mean, obviously the game just looks gorgeous, right? You, like, you can literally go, like, I'll, I'll close my eyes and I'll move my camera around. I'm closing my eyes, moving the camera around. 
And like, it looks beautiful, right? Like, no matter where you go in the game, like, the game just looks great. Um, and just the theme, like, it's just a, a medieval city builder. Like, that's such a cool idea. It looks great. Um, and yeah, it, it, it doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel, like, super arcade -y. I feel like the game could be more harsh in winter and stuff. Like, there's still way more stuff they could improve. But I feel like if, like, something like Bethesda or, you know, another game studio like that, like, um, made a game like this, it would be, like, very kind of just, like, arcade -y and it's just, like, very basic and there's not much, like, to it, if that makes sense. Whereas this just feels, like, a lot more, like, you know, grounded and a bit more... A bit more... I don't know. A bit more, like, up my street, at least. Um, uh, yeah. Fires can start. Fires can start in the game. And I believe... Um, I believe, yeah, you can get, like... Um, I don't think you can get flooding. But there are, there are definitely a few other events. Uh, nice. So, this is now built. So, let's start getting some clay on the go. Yeah, let's start getting some clay on the go. And we have two people pumping food here. In the bakery. I think I definitely made my market way... Um, way too... Way too big. Okay, so it seems like a lot of these houses are now being affected. So yeah, I think I just didn't maybe have enough to cover them. I think that was it. Yo, how's it going, Queek? Welcome to the stream, man. So yeah, I think that I think that was what I, I I had enough of them resources, but maybe I just didn't have enough enough if that makes sense. Um, how long will it take to muster? I'm gonna give it like a day before. I don't think it'll take too long to muster, so we'll, we'll watch it down to a day before. But I also don't assume just the raiders like appear, right? I assume we have a little bit of time to prepare, and I don't I don't want to like un. So there you go. So let's drop a save. Uh, Raiders Stream. Yeah. So, Raiders are a ping, but I also don't want to muster my soldiers because that means they all stop doing their jobs. And we're, we're busy bees here. Also, shout out to my regional wealth, by the way. Shout out to my regional wealth. All right, see you later, Cole. Thank you so much for the uh, the gifties today. I really do appreciate it. And have a good time at your friend's birthday, man. Have a good time. And obviously, you can always catch the rest of the stream as well. Okay, enemy units sighted. There they are. Where are they? So they're pretty... Oh, they're so far away. Oh, I've got ages. To... I've got ages. I ain't even scared, man. That was that was anticlimactic, man. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna get attacked. And it's like one squadron. We're good. I think we're good anyway. Okay, we'll see. I imagine the attacks ramp up, but considering this is the first attack, it might be a little bit easier. So okay, we'll see. We'll see what they do. People are still unhappy. How are you guys possibly unhappy? Clothing. Okay. Well, we are actually sorting out the clothing because our weaver workshop has just been completed. So we can now start making some uh, different stuff. Um, yeah, we probably don't need two people on that anymore, so we'll leave one for housing. Good approval. Okay, this should really help to boom us now. This should really help to boom us. And all of these can have extra plots. I swear we have a spare tier two plot somewhere here. Yeah, here. Which I think... We start doing clothing? Yeah, I think we start doing clothing here. So let's get a tailor's workshop there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we're going to have enough just from, like, shearing the sheep, but... I think it'll be fine. Does the pasture need to be, like, here as well? Uh, mission complete. Raiders near, yeah. They are coming, right? But they're, they're far enough away, yeah. Yeah, it's literally just how many of them? Okay, so it's two squadrons. Okay, so it is a little bit scarier. Two squadrons of 18. Okay. I mean, again, I can't really do much. I've got, like, I've got my limit, I think, for now. So, um, am I still making weapons? I'm not. I'm still making spears. We should probably make some sidearms. Yeah, let's make some sidearms in our blacksmith quickly. 
Let's do that. So our blacksmith is over here. Like, remembering where, like, this stuff is as well is actually a little bit hard. Uh, cool. Let's start making some sidearms. I imagine tools as well. Yeah, as you say, tools are probably a really good idea. Yeah, the ale workshop is down over here. It is pumping beer. They are, they are pumping. Um, actually struggling to keep up with demand, but I guess it is, is what it is. Yeah, so now we just need cloves, really. Everywhere is happy. We have food. Our harvesting setup is done. Yeah, more people now would be kind of what we're, we're relying on. Um, yeah, more people. Uh, we probably have enough clay now as well. So to upgrade our church, we need basically just clay tiles. And then that'll be a tier two church. This is epic. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, you didn't say you were enjoying it. You just said it was epic. But hopefully you're having a good time. Yes, yeah, so we've got someone on the clay furnace. He's making our tiles now. Boom. Do we need two people on bread now? I'm not sure. Because we're going to have to get back to farming soon as well. Yeah, the barley here is messy. We actually might go wheat here. Uh, we still kind of need barley though, you know. And then we just we just leave this field. Yeah, I think then we just fell over this field for the season. So we go, we go wheat here. We go barley here. And we go flax here. It'll be a less of a barley. And then the flax will just also set up. Okay, cool. Explain the game in detail. I mean, you should watch the beginning of the stream, honestly. It's a medieval city builder with military combat mechanics. Um, you build up your city. You expand. You upgrade them. You get more resources. You build weapons. You fight battles. You conquer land. There you go. Done. Okay, the problem is with this now is that we are going to need more people on, on the field. Like, it's just, we just do. We just definitely need more people farming. Do we have anyone spare? Yeah, we need someone there. Oh, actually, do we, though? Do we have any? Are we? Yeah, we still have barley, so I don't know why these guys aren't making more. Yeah, you are... You are transporting, so you are doing something. Uh, we do need people, though. Yeah, we need someone spare, honestly. Do I have anyone spare? Still kind of need clay. We have no one on the iron. Um, yeah, no one trading right now. Wood we definitely still need. I kind of still need my food. I feel like we don't have a lot of food because we have so many people now. Yeah, we just don't really have anyone spare. I guess we could spare someone off of the... Uh, the oven right now. I kind of feel like we, we can't also at the same time. Uh, why? How do you know that? Does it say it? How do you know it's only running at 75% efficiency? Is there like a, a button? Yeah, like how do you know that? Trying to see. Can you be a character? You can, like, take a look around the village like this, which looks really cool. Especially now the village is quite big. You can go around and see people doing their jobs, but you can't really interact with anything. At all. Okay, this, this is it. Okay, the flax is going to be harvested this season, which is very good, right? Yeah, the flax is going to be harvested. We grab the ball there as well. Can you fight? Yep, battle. I think we actually got a battle incoming, right? Where are they? We should actually probably check that. Okay, the brigands are, are closing in. Uh, yeah, I can't believe I have so many people doing stuff. I feel like I don't. I have enough people to do everything. I feel like I have way too many jobs. Um, take the sheep trader off. Yeah, true, 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 true. 
That's that's a family, and it just did, he just went and did something immediately. Okay, well I took him off, and it just didn't give me the person back. Okay, fair enough. Do I need to like get these sheep into like the sheep? I feel like this needs to be pastured. No, can I like connect up for livestock? Going somewhere, waiting. I feel like like the sheep, like these sheep need to be like moved to the sheep farm. He's weaving right now. Cool, cool, cool. So we're getting some some stuff. Uh, no Viking invaders invading, just like bandits and stuff. Like brigands, medieval brigands. We can clear a lot of this stuff now, but I think our army's more than capable of dealing with it. Like, we can clear a lot of this shrubbery out now. Yeah, we've really, like, deforested this area, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, you're making clothes now, right? Out of linen? Oh, so we need dyes for that. Okay. You're making gambesons. That's fine. If you, if you can, that is, make them. Can you fight as a character? No, you can't. So we have enough food. We have enough fuel. That stuff is all fine. We're making enough bread to last us a year. We have enough grain to last us a long time. Plowing these fields. We're going to harvest this field for a lot of flax, which will give us a lot of equipment. Right, because that's what this makes. Yeah, the weaver uses flax, I assume. Flax and wool. She has no families. Uh, we're basically at our wood limit now as well. So yeah, we're at our timber limit. So let's actually just stop someone from working that. Gives us a free family. Um, and why are you guys unhappy? Uh, church level and clothing, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to deal with both of those. I'm happy that food is now sorted. Okay, which actually makes me think as well. We should build some more houses, but like around... Oh no, we crashed again. Oh no. Well, we'll make sure we send that. Yeah, we'll make sure we send that. Uh, yeah, send and... Um, send and restart, because I at least want to finish off the bandit. Yeah, I at least want to finish off the bandits. So that's our second crash in how many hours? For those of you interested, in 13 hours. I don't know if it's updated, though. The autosave was a little while ago. Uh, did you get a key for the game, Jackie? Yeah. As you can see. <laughs> yeah, I at least want that, uh, invade, that attack to happen. So we're still back here in December. So what do we do? We just sort out families, right? See, I think I have enough wood there. So we'll do that. Um, and then... Yeah, the Weaver's doing their thing. The family member just joined us, which is good. Yeah, we got the beer. We got the pub going, which is nice. The pub. And the brigands have only just started coming. So we'll speed through this guy. I don't think we really did much, right? We were just chilling. Oh, yeah. We also had uh, someone working the, the livestock as well, right? I kind of what happens, like, what happens if we destroy this? I'm kind of interested because I feel like right now they're not really doing anything. Does someone come and collect the sheep or do we lose the sheep? There is a shepherd right there. There is a shepherd. I kind of want to move them over to this pasture. I'm interested to see what they do. We have six sheep right now. They go like back here. Do they go to this pasture? Or is this not where we want them? There you go. Okay, cool. No, they're just... Okay, some are going over here. But not all of them. Did I lose some probably? I'm, I'm a little bit scared I'm going to lose some. So I think all the sheep should go here, right? In in the sheep farm. And they go back here. I'd rather them over here though. So we can shear them and stuff. Make more wool so we can sell. Okay, we were changing this, right? We were going wheat there. You were being fellows for the season. Uh, you were... Yeah, you're being harvested in a little bit of time. I mean, you're going to barley. Was it the other way around? Yeah. Cool. Dump. 
Nice, nice, nice. Oh, the berries are all back as well. So we should definitely start getting the berries back. Um, 100%. I didn't even realize they grow back that quickly. And we need more people on the farmhouse immediately. We have our ox there still. Yeah, what are, the, what are the rest of our oxes doing? Because I think we just got one ox tied to that. Yeah, only one ox tied. Our food situation, we didn't build anymore, right? And yeah, we just need our clay furnace as well, which is pumping. Oh, can we do it? Oh, big. Yeah, let's do this. Upgrade the, the church. Hell yeah. We've just, we've just upgraded the church now. So this is going to be a tier two church. A stone church. That's going to be big. That's going to really help approval. And I think we'll start pumping more families in as well. Our food is a little bit worrying. I'm not going to lie. People are making more food stalls. <laughs> I guess as we expand, we should probably grab, you know, as many, as many of these upgrades as possible. We did upgrade. This is our tailor, right? Yeah, this is our tailor. They probably just don't have anything to make. We have some linen, I guess. We have linen, though. But if we do have a, an income of linen. We could import it, though. Yeah, we could import it. Like, I have a lot of money. Um... I want to build like a small pasture as well. Um, so we want to go farming, right? Yeah, farming, a small, like literally just like. Cool. So hopefully the sheep will go there. It's just 12 sheep, but it'll be fine. We're upgrading that. There's going to be, oh, I can't wait to see what this looks like. That's going to, that's going to help like all of our tier twos be super happy. Yeah, super, super happy. But yeah, any any extra gardens we have, we should really look to be upgrading them, I think. Don't think we have any more. Because you've already got goats for leather. You can have more people, but that's it. I mean, not the worst thing in the world. Okay, so we're going to need probably to upgrade some houses with gardens next. Or you guys can, cool. So let's just make these like basic vegetables and you can be chickens. You know? So yeah, ideally, I feel like what you really want is you want the you want the houses closest to your your market to be tier, like to be your best houses. So ideally, I, like I probably should have destroyed these and like built like bigger ones of gardens. And like these should probably change out to be something a little bit different when we upgrade them. Yeah, um, we could probably do as well. As we're getting a tier 2 church, which is our highest priority, of course. Um, brigands are still, like, so far away. Do I have to... Am I even worried about them? I feel like they're just not even coming towards me. No, they're not. <laughs> okay. You guys do you, then. Uh, we have fought some battles as well earlier on in the stream. So, if you, I don't think we're going to get another one in, honestly. But if you guys want to go back and check that out, you can. There is, a, uh, you know, there is uh, combat footage on the stream, so... That is there. Oh yeah, there's a lot. There's been a lot of improvements for sure. The game is still very much early access, but yeah, there's definitely been some big, been some big improvements. Getting more berry. I feel like we should be having like way more bread, you know. Uh, oh god, we need more families on this as well. Uh, I mean, to be fair, a lot of it is already plowed. It's April, right? March, April, May. Uh, can we can we get rid of a family anywhere? Kind of feel like I need a spare family somewhere. We probably have enough clay at this point, right? How much clay do we have? Twenty. Uh, I think for now we get rid of some because we need someone else on the. We need we need more, more people farming. Yeah, we definitely need more people farming. We constantly obviously need firewood. And I feel like we should have, like, way more bread being made. We have 10 here, I guess. How's our granary looking? Yeah, still fine. We might end up having to build, like, a secondary uh, oven, honestly. Yeah, we, I think we definitely need more family here, for sure. Uh, we're doing wheat there, barley there, cool. And then this is being fellowed, cool. 
good. Getting some wool as well, which is helping with the weavers, I think. Does that give us a secondary clothing type yet? Yeah, we have some yarn. Okay, so what's the yarn used for? This is a secondary clothing type, right? Yes, yeah, it's a secondary clothing type, which is good. New family moved in. Good. Immediately go to farming, please. Check army drop. Yeah, we'll check the army again. Yeah, they just glitched out, maybe. They must have bugged when we crashed. We can go kill this brigand camp, though. I don't want to do it right now because I don't want to stop recruiting, but I, I assume you guys want to watch a battle. Like, I want to keep on... Okay, as soon as our fields are sowed, as soon as we, ha we have our fields completely sowed, I'll go fight a battle and then we'll wrap up the stream. We'll go clear that last, that last camp. How about that? We're also very close to actually getting the next bit of influence to, to claim the settlement as well. That's going to be exciting. Uh, no, there's no... So is the family system still the same? Yes, yeah, so, so I'm pretty sure it's still the same from the demo. You have families, you put them on jobs. So basically one family equals one job. And they do separate things like the, the, a lot of the time the, the women of the family will go, go to market and sell the goods, whereas the men will work on the stuff and the son will help out as well. Yarn yeah, makes winter clothing. Yeah, I don't think it's a type though, right? It's not something I need to adjust. Yeah, we need linen. And I assume linen is made through flax and dyes as well. Yeah, let's get this church going, man. I want to see the upgraded church. It's going to really boost my uh, my happiness, I think. Something as well you don't really realize is like, I'm kind of still producing the same amount of fuel. Like I only have one guy on wood cutting, but I have like triple the families. I have like five times in, 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 in size. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, when we wrap the stream up, we'll continue this on on Monday. Monday is the next stream. I might do Sunday, but I don't think so. So yeah, Monday will be the next stream day uh, that we do. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to watch more Manor Lords, I have a Let's Play on my channel, which I'd really appreciate if you could check out. It's kind of like, you know, everybody's doing a Let's Play, so I'd really appreciate after the stream. Sorry, 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 sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, my uh, stream crashed. Streamlabs just decided to close. Sorry about that. Uh, we're back. We're back. Don't worry. We're back. Uh, all that. Sorry. We should be back though, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll just quickly speed this up though. Um, oh. Don't get automated. Yeah. Boom. Cool. Done. Sorry about that. Yeah. For some reason, Streamlabs just closed. We should be back though. Just let me know if we are. Uh, we should be though. God, so annoying when it does that. Luckily, that was towards the end of the stream, though. Yeah, we're back. Cool. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, my, I have, I have tech issues. <laughs> I have tech issues. Uh, cool. Is everything nice? All of our fun. No, this hasn't been sewed yet. Okay, cool. This is still yet to be sewed out. Yeah, okay. Is there a way to, like, assign the sheep, you know? Like, I, I want to assign the sheep over here to the... Maybe I need more people here. Space for your sheep to lamb and graze. Without enough space, the animals may run away. Yeah. I want to, like, bring more here. It's connected to the road. The herder is just, like, chilling. Cool. So let, let, let's just, uh, yeah, we'll wait till this farm is, is, is fully done. And then we'll, we'll go clear the last brigand camp. It doesn't look like them brigands are moving towards me. Unless it's, like, fog of war. And I, I think they're there and they're going to appear on my doorstep. That'd be really bad, right? <laughs> Uh, how's our church doing as well? Church is getting there. It just needs a few more resources when people can get building on it. That's going to be juicy. And honestly, we could do with some more housing as well, you know? Uh, we really could. So let's maybe build like a big housing plot around here. And this will be like all big tier twos. Let's do that quickly as well. So let's, uh, let's get rid of this road. And this road. Uh, and then let's build, like, one that just kind of curves around a little bit. Maybe even like that, you know? And then this can go like that to, like, there. And like that to there. So the stable is in a nice little position right there. I actually prefer this road to be removed. And then we go kind of, like, around. 
And then this, sorry, yeah, this road to be removed as well. So yeah, go around it, please, like that. Can you get around? Yeah, something like that. Cool, let's build a big, like I want a, I want a bunch of houses. Could be these are right by the church. These are right by, um, these are right by everything else, right? So I want a bunch of houses with a bunch of gardens. Like that, but I want it the other way, but I guess it can't go the other way. Yeah, I mean, there's two more big houses with gardens right by the supply. I guess that's fine. Because, yeah, we're actually almost at our limit, which is kind of crazy, right, considering... You know, how we are. are we, oh, are we, are we... Are we harvesting this yet? No, we're not. We're close to both, it's May, right? Um, cool. Berries are being done. The wild animals are ready to be uh, attacked, I think, soon. I think I have a really good idea now on how to like fully output my village, you know. A hundred more, yeah, a hundred more of this as well and we're good. Yeah, tannery is still pumping. And the leather that we get from the goats. Sheep's producing wool nicely. I think I probably need like a family to work this to move the, the sheep from here. Um... There's no more livestock we can get. Like, get some more sheep, you know? We have the money. Um, and then we're not really trading, so I might just get rid of this family and put them on the livestock. Yeah, let's do that. And then a few of these houses can also, like, expand as well to get more families in. Same with this one as well. Because, yeah, I guess as well with the market being, like, you having to be close to the market is important. I guess also that does make it so that, like, you don't want to, you know, having these expanded houses is good. Okay, is that field sowed? Can the men go to war? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, all of our fields are sowed. Which means we can do, like, boom, boom. Right, boys, rally up. Rally up. Let's go clear that, that bandit camp. Happened? Uh, resources added to the granary. Why? Don't know why. Oh, the church. Sorry, we need to keep on keeping on the church as well. So this is a stone church as well. So you can actually start to see the, the whole settlement coming together. But we have now just taken basically all the workers. And we're going to war, boys. Is there multiplayer? So multiplayer currently isn't in the game, but is planned for it. Look at the arches. That looks so cool, right? Going through the forest. Alright, boys, get over there then. Yeah, and the retinue's coming as well. My seven retinue. I mean, to be fair, this is probably overkill, right? I probably don't need this. I could probably just go over, like, the knights and the other infantry. There's quite a few bandits here. There's quite a few bandits. Everybody help in on the... Uh, I mean, again, we just kind of brought a lot of the men to fight, but still. We've got plenty of roof tiles now. So, yeah, that's a lot of roof tiles. We can probably upgrade. We, again, probably don't need a family here as well. But we might as well use all the clay that we have. Um, yeah, and I, I probably want to go back to start boosting planks now as well, actually. Yeah, let's start let's start pumping some planks again. Because I want to actually build, like, a bit of a fort next stream. Okay, we'll just get everybody over here. It is January now, so I think we'll be yeah, we're growing and we'll be harvesting soon enough. 30 families, though. Like, I feel like we've done a pretty good job. We need some tier 3s. What do we need for tier 3 now? We have alcohol, right? So to upgrade, we just need wood. Oh, we actually... We could actually go up now. We have enough... Yeah, we could go up to tier 3 soon. That's pretty amazing. Once, once the church is done, I assume. Uh, where's our army here? You guys just resting. You guys are all rested. Cool. Right, let's go. Let's, let's go into enemy territory, then. 
Okay, this is not going to be as good of a battle, I don't think, for us. Because we are... We're, like, not on open terrain. We fought the band brigands last time in open terrain, which was great for us. Spearmen kind of gain back their energy again. Okay, they're forming up. They are forming up. So, yeah, I don't think the archers are going to be as effective. We also do have the terrain advantage. Is this where we want to fight them? Yeah, let's set them up here, then. The archers can be in the forest shooting, and these guys can be in front, like, defending. Let's do that. You guys can be defensive again, and we'll use the retinue to be super aggressive, like push forward, for sure. Okay, they're going to march towards me. I mean, to be fair, we could also go a little bit closer as well. My God, look at this one man about to run through a battlefield, you know? This one man's just like, I'm having the time of his life, you know? He's just like, yeah, I'm just traveling through these parts. And then my boys turn up. Look at my militia as well, looking pretty dope. Yo, Daniel, how's it going? Happy Friday to you too, man. Thanks for the stream. I'm glad you had a, hopefully had a good time. You can customize all of these guys as well. We should probably customize them a little bit. If they walk, can't they be fatigued? Yeah, so they get fatigue as well. So you can see your fatigue bar there. The more you move, the obviously more tired you get. Luckily, there's no missiles incoming, so that's fine. Um, how's the village looking as well? Just obviously going back. Cool. Let's get back to the combat. They are coming. Yeah, I'm hope I think the archers are going to be way less effective, though, when it comes to combat. So, yeah, you guys move up and get some shots in. Hopefully, this will be... Yeah, I doubt they'll be able to get too many good shots in. Yeah, you can change basically everything they're wearing. Come on, boys. Archers seem really OP, by the way. Okay, here they come. Spear lines fighting. Charging the retinue. You guys are reforming. The arrow fire is coming in as well. There we go. And they just bleed right away. Yeah, these brigands are no match. Lay brigands are no match. When we start claiming territory, though, so very... We actually claim territory now after winning that battle. Okay, so next stream is gonna be is gonna be pretty crazy. Because yeah, when we start claiming territory, the lord of these lands um starts sending proper soldiers at us. Um yeah, so I might look to build another another unit of something, which means we need more weapons, right? Yeah, we need more weapons. We actually could be able to do another spear unit pretty happily, actually. Is there friendly fire? Yeah, you can turn friendly fire on. Say if you want to go full Ramsey Bolton. You can click friendly fire mode and they'll shoot into friendly units. If they, uh... I'll oh, we'll just spam them now. And we'll send you to go clear the brigand camp. If, for example, you, uh... Yeah, don't care of your soldiers' lives, then you can do that, yeah. Okay, so the growing is, is hopefully on the way. Oh, it doesn't look like we're going to get much yield at all here. Why? Apparently we're harvesting in six days. I mean, it's June. This is growth time. I don't know why we're harvesting in six days. <laughs> and yeah, the barley and the, the flax is fine. I'm looking forward to yielding the, the flax. So that'll basically allow us to get tier two clothing. Which will be awesome, man. Enemies spotted. Oh, are they moving? Yeah, I can see them. They're just like glitched out. Um, I imagine bugs like this where the AI just glitches out will be fixed by the type of build you guys get. Just because that's like the type of stuff you would you'd be fixing now. The content one. There's going to be like no new content added, obviously, but like that's going to be big. Is it better than Bannerlord? It's, it's not comparable. It's a completely different game, in my opinion. Um, let's clear all the shrubbery away here. I like this being nice and clear so I can see what's going on. Yeah, there we go. More houses. A church. Oh my lord, look at that church, man. That church is looking sexy. Holy... That church is looking really nice. Uh, oh, we got a new message. Spoils of war. Yeah, so I think we... Do we do... Do we take it ourselves to get more... Do we need more money? I feel like we're quite rich already. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it to the treasury so that we can purchase more, um, more retinue. So when we do start claiming land, we'll have 12 very good soldiers. Like right now, if we go to the castle planner... Sorry, not the castle planner. Wrong one. My bad, my bad. If we go to the 
retinue, which I can't do yet because they're up, they're up here conquering that. Okay, get back now, boys. I'm in disband. But we can actually purchase some more retinue for that squadron, uh, which would be really nice. Look at that church, baby. That looks nice. I mean, 200 authority. Okay, we can claim. Okay. What do they do? Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. I love it. Uh, we could even ma maybe make us some graves out here as well. Yeah, I'd like a little bit of a grave station out here as well, if you wanted to. Like, that's going to be a corpse pit. A corpse pit sounds fucking brutal, actually. Yeah, I don't think we need that because we... Yeah, we don't need that for now. Okay. Nice. Well, I think that is where we're going to wrap up the stream, man. Like, we got our tier to, like, good damn, look at our village. We're about to get some more houses put down here as well. Like, these are going to be big upgraded villages. We've got yeah, 21 normal ones, 8 tier 2s, and we we can literally get tier... We just need the wood now, actually. Yeah, so we need to put people back on logging. Forgot about that. Uh, people back on logging. We have enough farmers for now. You're getting us some more sheep with our money. We can basically purchase what we need. Um, and yeah, then we go up to tier three. Like tier three is the next thing we need to do. Obviously, all the boys are still away. So yeah, when you're so when you like levy your soldiers, none of these people are working. So we literally just took like half the population off the war. Uh, do you force harvest on it on the field, especially? No. Yeah, I I I'm not, I feel like it's gonna tick over. Like I feel like it's still gonna grow. I feel like this thing. Oh I oh god yeah you're right sorry. Thank you. You're right, Alex. I did not, can't believe I missed that. Thank you. I completely missed that. I was forced harvesting like an idiot. Hopefully, that's not going to be a bad... That's not going to be a problem. Hopefully, that's not going to be a problem. Cool. We have lots of wool as well. We have lots of wool. Yeah, there you go. Okay, good. So, now it says 70 more days to grow like the rest of them. Cool. Perfect. Thank you for pick. That, that could have been really bad. <laughs> Oh, nice. Another Berger plot built. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what else we, we want, like, from here, really, at the moment. Like, maybe just more food is going to be good. We have chickens. We have other stuff there. Our blacksmith. Like, we kind of have a bit of everything. Like, we still need clothing. Clothing's our biggest problem. That's going to be our biggest problem going to tier three. For sure. But yeah, that's going to be it for the stream. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It's been an insane stream. We had um, like a hundred and something gifted members today. A couple donations. I really appreciate that. It goes such a long way. And I am I am very grateful. We'll be back live streaming more of Manor Lords um, on Monday. So if you guys want to see more Manor Lords on the channel, Monday. If you guys could, before leaving, obviously drop a like on the stream. And then make sure to go check out my Let's Play that I've done in it. Um, whether you watch it now or you just watch it later, go check out. Sorry, I need the chat to, YouTube chat to catch up. Um, yeah, go check out my new Let's Play. I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like and a comment and just watch it the whole way through. Even if you just have it on your second monitor, um, I'd really appreciate it because it, it will really help just boost it in the algorithm and go a very much a long way. So yeah, thank you guys so much for the support today. You guys have been incredible. Uh, see you guys Monday. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the content. I'll see you guys. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.